It hurts so much. How is this going? A sharp pain woke Zhang Yu up from his sleep. Zhang Yu covered his head and started doing it. Then he found that he was in a cage with chains on his hands and ankles. This, what's going on? This is where? How come I'm here? I'm sleeping at home. Zhang Yu was startled and stood up suddenly. He clearly remembered that he was playing games at home last night. He was too tired and fell asleep directly. Why did he wake up in such a strange place? Could it be that he was kidnapped? Ah! Just when Zhang Yu was confused, a chaotic information poured into Zhang Yu's mind, making Zhang Yu couldn't help but let out a burst of pain. One Piece, Shampoo Islands, Pirate Group, Slaves. I, I actually traveled through time. In the world of One Piece. Through the scattered memories in his mind, Zhang Yu already knew that he had traveled through time. And he came to the world of One Piece and took over this body. As for the identity of this body, he was very unlucky to be an ordinary person captured by the Blood Wolf Pirates. The Blood Wolf Pirates are a very cruel pirate group. In addition to robbing families and homes, they also help capture slaves. Today the Blood Wolf Pirates just plundered a village and massacred everyone in the village. Zhang Yu's predecessor was lucky enough to survive because he was very handsome. He was captured by the Blood Wolf Pirates and sent to the auction house in Champu Islands for sale. You must know that many women just like this one. A handsome young man like Zhang Yu can definitely buy it at a good price. What a cheat! How could this happen? How could I come to the world of One Piece and be about to become a slave? Zhang Yu's heart suddenly became heavy. Traveling to the world of One Piece, you will soon become a slave. This is definitely a nightmare. Just when Zhang Yu was desperate and helpless, a mechanical voice suddenly sounded in Zhang Yu's mind. Ding, the most powerful Wanja role-playing system is activated. Start binding host. Binding successful. A series of sounds made Zhang Yu stunned for a moment, followed by a burst of ecstasy. Now that Zhang Yu is in trouble, the mechanical sound of the system is like the sound of nature. System, what are your abilities? After calming down his inner excitement, Zhang Yu immediately asked. Ding, this system is the most powerful role-playing system, allowing the host to play characters from all over the world. The more similar the host acts, the higher the acting progress, and the more powerful the host gets. As the system's voice fell, a series of system information appeared in Zhang Yu's mind. Play as a character from all over the world. A trace of excitement flashed in Zhang Yu's eyes. I have to say, this is definitely a powerful ability. Zhang Yu believes that with the most powerful Wang Kai role-playing system, he will definitely get rid of his current predicament and gain a place in the world of One Piece. Ding, it is detected that the host opens this system for the first time, and a drawing opportunity will be rewarded. Every time the host reaches 90% of the progress of playing a character, he will get the next chance to draw characters from all realms. Host, whether to extract the first role character. The system's voice appeared in Zhang Yu's mind again. What are you waiting for? Quickly extract it for me. Zhang Yu said to the system expectantly. Ding, start drawing the first role character. As the system's voice fell, a series of figures flashed through Zhang Yu's mind, making Zhang Yu dizzy for a while. Just when Zhang Yu was confused, the picture in his mind stopped at a figure wearing black clothes and red clouds. Orange hair, handsome face and ears covered with black iron rods, a pair of cold circle eyes, wearing black clothes with red clouds. This is... Pain. Seeing this figure, a name came to Zhang Yu's mind. As a two-dimensional enthusiast in his previous life, he was familiar with this character. This figure is the leader of the Akatsuki organization in the world of Naruto. This is a famous figure in the world of Naruto. The founder of the Akatsuki organization, the holder of the Samsara Eye, captured the Nine Tails and destroyed the Leaf Village. One piece of information about Pain appeared in Zhang Yu's mind. Pain's strength is definitely not weak 
and he is even said to be the top existence in the world of one piece where there are so many strong men. For such a powerful person, starting as the first character to play as a character does not mean he is invincible. Ding, congratulations to the host for drawing the character Kalfin Six Paths. Ding, it is detected that the host plays a character for the first time, and the playing progress will be rewarded 50%. Whether to start playing Pain Six Paths. The system's voice rang in Zhang Yu's mind. Use. Zhang Yu didn't hesitate at all and decisively chose OK. As Zhang Yu's voice fell, Zhang Yu felt a force burst out of his body. At the same time, the system panel in Zhang Yu's mind also changed. The most powerful world playing system. Host, Zhang Yu. Current role, Pain Six Paths. Play Progress, 50% Activation Ability, Pain Six Paths Clone Clone of Heavenly Deo, Clone of Shura Deo, Clone of Human Deo, Clone of Animal Deo, Clone of Hungry Ghost Deo, Clone of Hell Deo As the voice of the system fell, a powerful force emerged from Zhang Yu's mind, it was Pain Six Paths Strength. The Six Paths of Pain have a total of six abilities, namely the Heavenly Path, the Shura Path, the Human Path, the Animal Path, the Hungry Ghost Path, and the Hell Path. These abilities can be controlled by Zhang Yu in the form of summoning clones. Each clone represents this power. The Shambord Islands, an island close to the Red Earth Continent, is a must-pass island in the first half of the Great Channel, so it is very prosperous. Various merchant ships and pirate groups docked at the docks of the Shambord Islands. The entire Shambord Islands were bustling with people conducting various transactions, including illegal slave trade. In the huge slave auction house in the center of the Shambord Islands, a slave auction is taking place. Ladies and gentlemen, next up for auction is our grand finale, this is a very handsome little guy. Especially ladies, you have to seize the opportunity. Look at this handsome little guy, he is a perfect work of art. Ladies, are you excited? The host pointed at Zhang Yu and praised him without noticing at all that Zhang Yu at this time was no longer the Zhang Yu he was then. Oh oh! Many ladies in the auction house screamed when they saw Zhang Yu's handsome face. My eyes are filled with excitement and my heart is filled with excitement. Zhang Yu's looks are indeed a bit high. Shut up, everyone! I want this slave! Only such a handsome slave can be worthy of my status. A woman wrapped tightly, wearing a glass cover and a veil said in an unmistakable tone. Hearing this, everyone present was as silent as a cicada, not daring to make a sound. There is no doubt that this woman is a celestial dragon. When the Tianlong people speak out, who dares not to listen? It is this slave's honor that Lord Tianlong has taken a liking to this slave. Quick! Bring this slave to the Lord. The host said with great humility, like a pleasing dog. After hearing the host's words, the surrounding staff did not dare to show any signs of neglect. However, just when they were about to approach Zhang Yu, Zhang Yu suddenly opened his closed eyes, and his dark eyes turned into circle shaped reincarnation eyes. Get out of here! Shinra Tian Zheng. A powerful repulsive force burst out from Zhang Yu's body. The powerful repulsive force instantly destroyed the iron cage holding Zhang Yu into countless fragments. The guards who were about to approach Zhang Yu didn't even have a chance to react, and were knocked away directly. Ah, uh, what's going on? How did the slave break free of his chains? How did your auction house do this? That's right. A slave actually broke free from his chains. Now there is a good show. Seeing Zhang Yu break free from the chains and knocking away the surrounding guards, the people present not only were not afraid, but instead started making noises. In previous auctions, slaves also broke free. But these slaves were usually suppressed outright. In their opinion, Zhang Yu breaking free from the chains only added a little more laughter to the entire auction. Haha, <laughs> you are indeed worthy of the slave I have fallen in love with. He is really good. Little devil, be my slave. The Tianlong people looked at Zhang Yu and said with a very arrogant laugh, 
without any fear at all. Are you a Tian Long? It's really rubbish. Now you can die. Zhang Yu's right hand shook the Tian Long people hard. A powerful gravitational force burst out, and the chain fragments on the ground around Zhang Yu levitated, flying towards the Tian Long people like sharp blades. Ah! Poof! With a huge scream, the Tian Long man flew backwards, and his whole body was turned into a hornet's nest. This Tian Long man who was so arrogant just now died in Zhang Yu's hands. Quiet. Silence. Silence. Everyone in the auction venue was dumbfounded and looked at Zhang Yu in horror. The celestial dragon is dead. Someone actually dared to kill a celestial dragon. The world's noble celestial dragon was actually killed in public. As the nobles of the world, the Tianlong people have an absolute status. Anyone who dares to take action against the celestial dragons will be attacked by the world government CP organization and naval admirals. Not to mention, now the Tianlong people have been killed. The celestial dragon is dead. Run! Ah, the admiral is coming. Help! Hurry up and leave the Shampoo Islands. After a brief silence, everyone in the auction venue fled in panic. For fear of harming the fish in the pond. After 800 years of rule by the world government, the power of the world's nobles, the celestial dragons, has long been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. And now the Tianlong people actually died on the Shambord Islands. For them, it's like the sky has fallen. Hey hey! The celestial dragon is dead. Now it's your turn. The corners of Zhang Yu's mouth raised, revealing a sneer. For these people who auctioned him off as a slave, Zhang Yu had no good feelings in his heart. Now that the celestial dragons are dead, it's their turn. Six paths of Avatar. Bang bang bang. A burst of smoke enveloped Zhang Yu. The smoke dissipated and Zhang Yu had turned into the appearance of Pain's Six Paths of Heaven, wearing Akatsuki organization clothes with black background and red clouds. At the same time, five figures also wearing Akatsuki clothes appeared next to Zhang Yu. And these five figures represent the six avatars of Pain's Six Paths. Attack! Kill them! After hearing Zhang Yu's order, the six clones rushed out quickly. The Six Path clone represents the six powers of Pain's six paths. Among them, Tendo Pain can use the power of gravity and repulsion. Shura Deo can use special psychic skills to summon a variety of powerful weapons, serving as the main attack mission among the six paths of Pain. The human world can capture memories and souls, and is responsible for intelligence collection and close combat missions. The animal path is good at necromancy and can summon various powerful beasts to fight. The hungry ghost path can absorb various energy attacks and is responsible for defense tasks. The hell realm can summon and control the king of hell, and resurrect several other six path clones to serve as auxiliary tasks. Pain six paths launched attacks at the same time, which was extremely powerful. Boom boom. Rumble. With a huge explosion, the entire auction house was reduced to ruins, and a cloud of dust enveloped the entire area. The huge shaking spread throughout the Shampoo Islands. How is this going? What happened? It seems to be the movement over at the auction venue in Area 1. Let's rush there quickly. The navy stationed on the Shambord Islands heard the noise here and rushed over immediately. When they arrived, the auction house had completely disappeared, leaving only ruins. Zhang Yu, who transformed into the Six Paths of Pain, slowly walked out of the ruins. Who? Who are you? It was you who destroyed the auction house. The navy that rushed over also immediately noticed Pain's Six Paths, and all the weapons in their hands were pointed at Pain's Six Paths. Haha, <laughs> I am the Xia Organization. Pain of God. Feel the terror of the Akatsuki Organization. Shinra Tianzheng. Tiendeo Pain suddenly burst out with a powerful repulsive force and rushed toward the navy in front of him. Ah, ah, ah! Amidst a series of screams, these marines were sent flying away without even a chance to react. When Tiendeo Pain attacked, 
several other pain clones were not idle either, and also launched attacks on the Navy. Five Finger Missile Strange Bullets and Fire Arrows Psychic Beast Cerberus A series of explosions and screams rang out, and countless pirates were directly killed by Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu showed no mercy in killing these marines. Because Zhang Yu knows very well that the world of One Piece is a dangerous world. There is no distinction between justice and evil in this world, only power is the most real. As long as you have the power, even a pirate can be a king. As Zhang Yu continued to kill these oncoming marines, Pain's proficiency in the Six Paths was also rapidly improving. Damn, he's a capable person. Everyone, hold on, I've already notified the Navy headquarters. The Admiral will come to support you immediately. A Marine shouted loudly to boost the morale of the surrounding people. Unfortunately, before he could finish his words, a missile fell and was blown to pieces. Pain Rokido, the founder of the Akatsuki organization in the Naruto world. Although Zhang Yu has not yet fully grasped the power of Pain's six paths, it is not something that these navy can stop. While Zhang Yu was fighting on the Shampoo Islands, the navy headquarters also received news of the death of the Celestial Dragons. What? The Celestial Dragon is dead. The Celestial Dragons were killed in the Shambord Islands. The murderer claimed to be Pain, the god of the Akatsuki organization. Admiral Sengoku was also shocked when he heard the news. The Celestial Dragon, this is a noble of the world, who dared to kill the Celestial Dragon. And it's still on the Shambord Islands, for fear that others won't know. Could it be that the Revolutionary Army did it? Or the Yonko? Akatsuki Organization. What kind of power is this? Why have I never heard of it? As a naval marshal and a wise general in the Warring States period, the first thing he thought of was whether there was any conspiracy here. With the opening of the Age of Discovery, countless pirates swarmed to the sea, making the situation on the sea extremely chaotic. Every day, the Warring States period was busy with the pirates in the sea, and now there was an Akatsuki organization, killing the Celestial Dragons in public. This is simply a slap in the face to the world government. This matter must be dealt with seriously. If we continue, it may undermine the majesty of the Navy and the world government. Damn pirates, so arrogant. Warring states period, leave this matter to me. I will let these pirates know the justice of the Navy. Akainu Sakaski, one of the three admirals of the Navy, stood over and said with a look of hatred. Um, Sengoku glanced at Akainu, thought for a moment, and finally agreed to Akainu's request. Sakaski, then you should go there. What happened this time was different from the previous times. It was a big deal for a celestial dragon to be killed in public. It must be dealt with seriously to demonstrate the power of the navy. Among the three generals of the navy, Akainu is the most powerful and has the most determined attitude towards fighting pirates. It would be appropriate for him to go to the Shambord Islands. Soon, a huge naval warship left the naval headquarters and rushed towards the Shampoo Islands. The Navy headquarters is very close to the Shambord Islands and has a special channel. Therefore, it did not take long for the huge naval warship to arrive in the waters of the Shambord Islands. At this time, the Shampoo Islands have completely turned into chaos, and countless Navy and World Government CP teams are launching attacks on the Six Paths of Pain. Many pirates heard the news of the Tianlong people being killed and fled frantically from the Shampoo Islands. Abominable pirate. Give me an attack and destroy them. Seeing these pirate ships on the sea, Akainu directly ordered the navy warships to launch an attack. Boom boom boom. The huge artillery directly destroyed these escaping pirate ships. Ah. No, the admiral is here. Run away. Help. As the huge naval warships docked, countless navies rushed down, frantically arresting pirates and the Shambord Islands became even more chaotic. Are you a Navy General? I don't know who it will be. Akainu. Green Pheasant. It's still Kizaru. Upon hearing the arrival of the Admiral, 
Zhang Yu was not only not afraid at all, but also filled with excitement. Now that Zhang Yu has the power of pain's six paths, he also wants to see the strength of the admiral in this world. And this is also a perfect opportunity to brush up on proficiency. In the distance, there was a sudden burst of heat on the horizon, and a huge fist of lava quickly attacked Zhang Yu. Um. Shinra Tian Zheng. Feeling the incoming lava fist, Tian Dao Pain burst out with a powerful repulsive force, and the huge repulsive force rushed towards the lava fist. Boom. With a huge explosion, the lava fist exploded and turned into fragmented lava, scattered around. After the lava fist passed by, a man wearing a dark red suit, a navy hat, and an admiral's coat, with his hands braving the rolling lava, and a gloomy face walked over from a distance. There is no doubt that this person is Admiral Akainu. One of the highest combat capabilities of the navy and world government. Are you the criminals who killed the celestial dragons? Akainu looked at Zhang Yu with a gloomy face. Lava kept rolling down his body, and the temperature around him suddenly soared. Admiral, you came very quickly. A lackey of the celestial dragons. Zhang Yu looked at Akainu and said with contempt. At the same time, five other six path clones came to Tian Pain's side. Asshole, go to hell. Akainu's temper was very explosive originally, but now that he heard Zhang Yu's contemptuous words, he felt even more angry. Dog bites Gurin. Akainu's rolling lava arm turned into a huge lava dog and rushed towards Zhang Yu. Along the way, the huge high temperature and powerful corrosive ability of the lava dog devoured the surrounding materials. Everything. Some people around them became thirsty due to the high temperature. Some unlucky people were directly swallowed by the rolling lava along the way of the lava attack, and not even the slag was left. Admiral, it was so terrifying. But facing Akainu's attack, Zhang Yu did not dodge. Instead, he controlled the hungry ghost Dao clone and rushed forward, grabbing the huge dog head with both hands. Hungry Ghost Path, Energy Absorption The moment Hungry Ghost Dao's hands touched the lava dog's head, Hungry Ghost Dao's ability to absorb energy was released. I saw this huge lava dog shrinking rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye, and finally disappeared without a trace. Among Pain's six paths, the ability of the Hungry Ghost path is energy absorption. Akainu is a natural lava fruit user, and his lava attack is also a type of energy. Therefore, the ability of the Hungry Ghost path can be used to restrain those with natural devil fruit abilities. This is the power of an admiral. So weak. Zhang Yu sneered, his expression full of ridicule. What? He actually blocked my attack so easily. Akainu's expression became serious. Looking at the entire sea, there are not many people who can block his attack so easily. Without exception, every one of them is a monster level figure who is famous throughout the sea. But now an unknown person, claiming to be from the Akatsuki organization, is actually able to block his attack. This organization must not be underestimated. Today we must capture these people in front of us and get information about this Akatsuki organization. Your attack is over. Now it's my turn. Pain 6 Lane Offense Under Zhang Yu's control, Pain 6 Path clone attacked Akainu from all directions. Go to hell. Big fire. Akainu's hands turned into rolling hot lava and sprayed out towards Pain Six Paths clone. Hungry Ghost Path, Energy Absorption. The Hungry Ghost Dao clone rushed forward, and Akainu's lava was directly absorbed. My attack is gone. What kind of ability is this? Akainu's expression was stunned when he found that his attack failed again. Just when Akainu was stunned, the other six path clones had already rushed in front of Akainu. Head laser cannon. Psychic, rhinoceros. Boom boom boom. With a huge crash, Akainu flew backwards. From area 1 of the Shampoo Islands we flew directly to island 20, destroying countless buildings along the way. When the pirates in area 20 saw this scene, they were all shocked. Their mouths were wide open 
and their jaws almost fell to the ground. That's General Akainu. How can this be? Just kidding. The Admiral was actually beaten out. The Admiral is invincible on this sea. It has a powerful deterrent effect on pirates. But at this moment, the Admiral was actually beaten out. Is this person who killed Tianlong a member of the Akatsuki organization? This so-called Akatsuki organization actually has such great strength. Unconsciously, the name of the Akatsuki organization has penetrated deeply into the hearts of these people. But as an admiral, is Akina really so easy to defeat? Obviously impossible. Boom! A piece of lava surged out from the ruins, and the lava gradually gathered into the figure of Akainu. Although Zhang Yu's attack just now was very powerful, Akainu's reaction was also very fast. His body immediately transformed into elements and turned into lava, avoiding the attack. Rao is so. Akainu's expression also became serious. Before coming to the Shambord Islands, he didn't take the so-called Akatsuki organization seriously at all. Akainu just thought it was a fledgling pirate group and accidentally killed the Tianlong people. As long as he captured all the pirates on the Shampu Islands, he would have completed his mission. But now, after fighting with these few people in front of him, Akainu discovered that the members of the so-called Akatsuki organization are very powerful and strange, and they are definitely not ordinary pirates. Hades Akainu's hands crossed the rolling lava, sprayed out directly, and went straight towards the Six Path clone. Hungry Ghost Path, Ability Absorption The Hungry Ghost Path clone rushed over and absorbed Akainu's lava. This weird ability again. It actually absorbed my lava directly. Akainu frowned when he realized that his attack was ineffective. Akainu is a natural lava fruit user, so his main attack is lava. And now that the hungry ghost path can absorb lava, Akainu's combat effectiveness is equivalent to a direct reduction of 30%. While you are sick, I will kill you. Zhang Yu immediately controlled Pain's six paths and continued to beat Akainu violently. Boom boom boom. The fierce battle between Pain Liudu and Akainu caused the entire Shampu Islands to shake. In the corner of the Shampu Islands, there is a bar, and Pluto Rayleigh, who has hidden his identity, is here. I really didn't expect that the newcomers are so bold now, they actually dare to kill even the Tianlong people. What is the origin of this Akatsuki organization, and it can actually fight Akainu for so long? Xiaochi, have you heard of the Akatsuki organization? Rayleigh asked the short-haired woman holding a cigarette in front of him. Never heard of it. However, I think after today, the name of the Akatsuki organization will be spread across the entire ocean, Xiaochi said with a smile. On the Shampu Islands, they openly killed the celestial dragons and fought with the admiral. It was hard for the Akatsuki organization to become famous. Boom boom boom. The battle between Pain's six paths and Akainu continues. From time to time, there were loud explosions, and lava continued to splash along with the explosions. Akainu is worthy of being an admiral. Even though the ability of the hungry ghost path restrained his ability to use the lava fruit, Akainu still relied on his powerful strength to destroy four clones of Pain's six paths. Now there are still Pain of Heaven and Pain of Hell. However, Akainu paid a heavy price, and he himself was seriously injured. Blood oozed out from the rolling lava on his body. This is the strength of the Navy Admiral. His strength is really amazing. Zhang Yu looked at Akainu and the four shattered six path clones and couldn't help but say. But, do you think you can defeat me like this? Rebirth Hungry Ghost Dao Pain activated his ability, and a King of Hell was summoned. The King of Hell opened his mouth, stretched out a long tongue, and rolled the four defeated Pain clones into his mouth. After some chewing a complete clone of Pain walked out of the mouth of the King of Hell. What? What ability is this? Seeing the four resurrected Pain clones, Akainu finally lost his composure. He had spent all his strength to kill the enemy, and now he was resurrected. This is too perverted. 
how can we fight this? But what makes Akina strange is that after the resurrection, Pain's six paths did not attack immediately. Instead, they turned into smoke and disappeared one by one. Only Tiendao Pain was left, and the whole thing levitated, flying quickly towards the sky. What is he going to do? Did you run away? Looking at Tiendao Pain flying high, Akina couldn't help but frown. Not only Akina was very confused, but the pirates on the Shampoo Islands were also very confused. They were still waiting to see members of the Akatsuki organization beat up the Admiral. Now suddenly retreated. It's clear that Pain's six paths have the upper hand, why should he run away? But is Zhang Yu really running away? Obviously impossible. When Tian Dao Pain flew into the midair, overlapping with the sun in the sky, Zhang Yu opened his hands. Feel the terror of the Akatsuki organization. Super Shinra Tenzin. A powerful repulsive force centered on Tian Dao Pain in the sky and spread rapidly to the surrounding areas. A huge repulsive force hit the Shambord Islands, causing the entire Shambord Islands to shake. Centered on Area 1 of the Shampu Islands a huge repulsive force began to spread, destroying everything in its path. Countless buildings collapsed, and countless pirates and marines were sent flying without even a chance to react. What power is this? Not good. Even Akainu himself was knocked away by the powerful repulsion. Boom boom boom. From a distance, it seems as if there is an invisible force that is cleaning everything on the islands centered on the Shampu Islands. Countless buildings and ruins are being pushed away from the center. Rumble. The whole process lasted for half an hour. After the repulsive force disappeared, the entire Shambord Islands had completely changed its appearance. The entire island became bare and exposed, looking like a deserted island. If it weren't for the ruins around it, no one would believe that this was once the prosperous Shampu Islands. Among the ruins, some people who were lucky enough to survive emerged and stared blankly at the greatly changed Shampu Islands in front of them. This, is this really the Shampu Islands? The Shampu Islands disappeared. Is this the power of the Akatsuki organization? It's really too powerful. No, I want to join the Akatsuki organization. And me, I want to join too. This is the world of One Piece, a world where power is paramount. As long as you have power, you can get everything. Although it was the first time for these people to hear about the so-called Akatsuki organization, they knew that the Akatsuki organization had super power. Even the Admiral is no match for the Akatsuki organization. In their minds, the Akatsuki organization is equivalent to the existence of the four emperors. As long as they can join the Akatsuki organization, they can be protected by powerful forces. Ahem, damn it. Akainu also stood up from the ruins, coughing out a trace of blood from the corner of his mouth. The justice commander on his back had flown to someone unknown, and the suit on his body was also in tatters. The whole person was in such a state of embarrassment that the majesty of the admiral was nowhere to be seen. Damn it, where did the Akatsuki organization come from to have such great strength? No, this incident must be reported to Navy headquarters. Akainu immediately took out a phone bug and contacted the Navy headquarters. Do do do, I am warring states. Akainu, is the mission accomplished? Did you catch the target? The voice of the Warring States period came from the phone bug. Marshal of the Warring States period, mission failed. The enemy is very powerful and has already escaped, Akainu said with a gloomy expression. As an admiral, it is indeed a shame to let the pirates escape. What? How can this be? After hearing Akainu's words, Sengoku, who was at the Navy headquarters, also had a look of shock on his face. Sengoku was very clear about Akainu's power. If Kizaru and Aokiji failed in their mission, it would be somewhat excusable. Because Sengoku knew very well that both of them were fishermen at work, and they even said they would not pursue the pirates when they saw them escaping. But Akainu is different from these two people. He severely cracks down on pirates and will never let any pirate go. 
He even said that in order to crack down on pirates, he would even destroy the island. And now Akainu actually said that the mission failed, then there is only one possibility. The enemy is very powerful and defeated Akainu. Marshal, the enemy is very powerful. I suspect that killing the celestial dragons this time is a conspiracy of the Akatsuki organization, Akainu asked immediately. After hearing Akainu's words, Sengoku, who was opposite the phone bug, also began to think deeply. Well, you're right. Now there is a powerful organization in the sea, we must take it seriously. Akainu, returned to the Navy headquarters immediately. Convened an emergency meeting of the Navy headquarters. Today, the atmosphere at the Navy headquarters is not what it used to be. There were dark clouds in the sky, looking like a precursor to a storm. All the generals with the rank of Vice Admiral and above at the Navy headquarters kept silent and rushed towards the Navy headquarters conference room. Among them are the more famous Lieutenant General Ghost Spider, Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit, Lieutenant General Garp, etc., each of whom is a senior general of the Navy headquarters. The three Navy generals cannot be absent. The entire Navy conference room was filled with senior generals from the Navy headquarters. If all these people were mobilized, they would be enough to overthrow two Yonko pirate groups. Of course, this is impossible. These people need to guard the Navy headquarters. Unless something important happens, they will not appear here at the same time. Everyone, I have summoned you here today. We have something important to announce. Just yesterday, something important happened on the Shampoo Islands. The warring states marshal sitting in the main seat spoke with a heavy tone and a very serious expression. The solemn tone made everyone in the conference room feel tense. Even the usually carefree Garp and the lazy Kizaru became serious when they felt something was wrong in Sengoku's tone. Could it be, something bad happened? A celestial dragon was killed in public, warring states said in a solemn tone. What? The celestial dragons were killed. What a joke. This is what that pirate group did. This is too arrogant. Upon hearing the news that the Tianlong people had been killed, everyone in the conference room was in an uproar. Although the people present are the strongest combatants in the Navy headquarters, they usually don't take the celestial dragons into their hearts at all. But they also know what the celestial dragons represent. The Tianlong people are the nobles of the world. Anyone who dares to attack the Tianlong people will be pursued by the generals. And now the Tianlong people are actually killed, which is indeed a very bad thing. But the Tianlong people were killed, and the general should be dispatched. Why is an emergency meeting of the navy being called now? For a moment, everyone was very confused. In the Warring States period, since the Tianlong people were killed, the admiral should be dispatched. What kind of meeting are we having here? If the worm of a world government dies, is it necessary to mobilize so much force? Garp asked with some confusion. Not only Garp, but other admirals as well. Although the status of the celestial dragon is very noble, there is no need to hold a naval meeting for a dead celestial dragon. Shut up, Cap. I'm going to say something important next. After receiving the news that the Tianlong people had been killed, Sakaski immediately rushed to the Shambord Islands to capture the pirates. Result, the enemy defeated Sakaski and destroyed the Shambord Islands. As soon as Warring States finished speaking, there was a burst of exclamations in the entire conference room. What? How can this be? Just kidding. Someone can actually defeat General Akainu. Who is he? Although everyone present is the elite of the Navy headquarters, Akainu is also one of the best among many naval generals. But now that the pirates can actually defeat Akainu and escape calmly, the first thing they think of is the Yonko pirates. Warring states, who did it? Is it the four emperors of the New World, Red Hair, or Kaido? Garp's expression also became serious, and he immediately asked. Neither. But a person who claims to be from the Akatsuki Organization, Warring States continued. Akatsuki Organization. What kind of power is this? 
never heard of it. Hearing this name, everyone present frowned. Because they have never heard of this force on the sea. The Akatsuki organization has the person who can defeat Akainu. There is no doubt that this organization already has the strength of the four emperors, warring states said in a solemn tone. What's more important is that with the intelligence organizations of our navy and the world government, there is actually no information about the Akatsuki organization. It's really unsettling to have the strength of a Yonko level and yet hide it so deeply. The world government and navy are the most powerful forces on the sea, and their intelligence systems are also very powerful. It can be said that all the famous forces or pirate groups on the sea will have detailed information. But now there is an Akatsuki organization with the power of the four emperors, but the navy and the world government have no information. What does this mean? It shows that this Akatsuki organization is either keeping aloof from the world, or is planning some ulterior conspiracy in the dark. Now, the Akatsuki organization first killed the celestial dragons in public, then defeated the admiral, and finally directly destroyed the entire Shampoo Islands. No matter how you look at it, this Akatsuki organization is not indifferent to the world. Such a mysterious and powerful organization is plotting secretly, and I'm afraid it has a very big plot. Their naval headquarters has to guard against it. Marshal of the Warring States period, this Akatsuki organization is indeed a destabilizing factor on the sea. Are we going to put a bounty on the Akatsuki organization? Lieutenant General he asked at the beginning. That's right, we're going to issue a reward for members of the Akatsuki organization. Not just a reward, but a huge reward, Warring States thought for a while and said. Since the Akatsuki organization wants to hide it, then we let him expose it. The extremely high bounty will definitely attract the attention of all the forces on the sea. As long as they investigate the Akatsuki organization, even if they have a little information, with the intelligence of our navy, they will be able to follow the clues and find clues about the Akatsuki organization. Warring states thought for a while and said with certainty. Hmm, how much bounty should be offered? After hearing what Warring States said, Lieutenant General he immediately asked. Hmm, killed the Celestial Dragons and gained the strength of the Four Emperors. Bounty 5 billion belly, Warring States thought for a while and said. 5 billion. Yonko level bounty? Everyone in the conference room was shocked by this bounty. The bounty of 5 billion berries is a bounty that only the Yonko level pirates of the New World can possess but it makes sense to think about it. This Akatsuki organization first killed the Celestial Dragons in public, then defeated the Admiral, and finally destroyed the Shampoo Islands. The Akatsuki organization is no less dangerous than any of the Yonko pirates. It is even said that the Akatsuki organization is carrying out ulterior plots secretly, and that the Akatsuki organization poses a greater threat than the Yonko pirates. It is also appropriate to have a Yonko level bounty. That's it decided. Akatsuki organizes pain and offers a reward of 5 billion berry. Others should also pay attention to the information about the Akatsuki organization. A reward order quickly spread across the sea. Reward order. Name, pain. Charge, killing the world's noble celestial dragon and destroying the Shambord Islands. This person's greatest malice. Reward amount, 5 billion berry. In addition, there is a reward for information about the Akatsuki organization, and each person who provides information can receive a reward of 1 million berry. In the early morning, everyone who opened the newspaper was stunned when they saw the huge reward information on the front of the newspaper. Holy shit! I read that right. 1, 2, 3. Here are a few zeros. Am I dazzled? There is a reward of 5 billion berries. This, is indeed 5 billion berries. Who is he? To actually have such an exaggerated bounty. There is a bounty of 5 billion berry, which is already more than the bounty of many Yonko. Akatsuki Organization. What's this? Why have I never heard of it? Killed the Celestial Dragon. The courage of this Akatsuki organization is too great. 
The first reaction of everyone who picked up the newspaper was shock and disbelief. The first bounty was five billion belly, which has never happened before. In the world of pirates, the amount of bounty also represents strength. What is the concept of five billion berries? This is a bounty that only Yonko level pirates can have. It is even said that not all of the current four emperors are qualified to have a bounty of five billion berries. For example, Charlotte Lingling, Kaido, and others only have a bounty of more than four billion berries, and only Whitebeard has a bounty of five billion berries. And now suddenly a member of the Akatsuki organization appeared out of nowhere and offered a bounty of five billion berry. Although this was done intentionally by the Navy, it also shocked everyone. This is already the bounty second only to Whitebeard. It is simply the peak of his debut. The second half of the Great Channel is in the sea area called the New World. The Whitebeard Pirates, one of the four emperors, is stationed here. Dad, Dad! Oh no, a great person appeared on the sea. Marco, who had a pineapple haircut, was holding a newspaper, staring at the wanted notice in the newspaper, and screamed. In front of Marco, there sat a giant, who was about six meters tall. He has extremely powerful and huge muscles, and the most eye-catching thing is his two raised white beards. He is the captain of the white beard pirates on the sea. The most powerful man in the world. Whitebeard, Edward Newgate. Kerala, an incredible person. You can't be that kind of little kid who is just starting out and doesn't know the heights of the world. Marco, how much is the bounty for this guy? Whitebeard held a large bowl and poured a sip of wine into his mouth. Although Whitebeard's body is covered with various infusion tubes, his heroic aura has not weakened. After finishing the bowl of wine, Whitebeard's voice continued. If this guy's bounty is large enough and his character is decent, maybe I can take him as my son, Kerala. After Whitebeard finished speaking, he took another sip of wine, as if the injuries on his body had no effect on him at all. Marco gave a bitter smile, his father's habit of accepting his son happened again. And because of the injury, the doctor warned Whitebeard not to drink, but his father just didn't listen. Marco said helplessly, Dad, this man offered a reward of five billion belly for the first time. Five billion berries. Marco, you read that right. How can this be? This has caught up with Dad's bounty. After Marco finished speaking, the captains of the other divisions were all shocked. They even said that they suspected that their ears were wrong, or that Marco was dazzled. Not only these squad captains, but even Whitebeard's hand holding the wine couldn't help but stagnate. I also hope I'm wrong. But this is indeed a bounty of five billion, Marco said, pointing to the newspaper. The squad captains immediately gathered over and looked at the newspapers. Oh my god! It's really five billion berries. Akatsuki organization. What kind of power is this? Why have I never heard of it? All the division captains also screamed in surprise. In the entire ocean, the only person with a bounty of five billion is his father Whitebeard. And now suddenly another person appears with a bounty of five billion. Doesn't this mean that this person has the same strength as his father? What made them even more confused was what kind of force this Akatsuki organization was, and why they had never heard of it. A person with such great strength cannot be an unknown person on the sea. Dad, have you ever heard of the Akatsuki organization? Marco asked Whitebeard. Akatsuki organization. Never heard of it, Whitebeard also frowned and kept thinking, but there was no information about the Akatsuki organization. I really want to meet this person who has the same bounty as me. Kulala. Whitebeard laughed and poured a sip of wine into his mouth. Cake Island, the territory of the Big Mom Pirates. Payne's reward order from the Akatsuki organization also appeared in the hands of Charlotte Lingling. Akatsuki organization. Payne. Bounty 5 billion. Where is this organization located? If I can get the power of the Akatsuki organization, I can definitely conquer the sea. Charlotte Lingling asked with a ferocious expression while holding the newspaper, 
spitting out acidic water from her mouth. Mom, we have no information about the Akatsuki organization. Never heard of the Akatsuki organization. A man came out and said carefully. As soon as this man finished speaking, a bolt of lightning struck him, directly chopping him into coke. Bastard, go find it for me right away. I want all the information on the Akatsuki organization, Charlotte Lingling's voice spread like thunder throughout the Cake Island. The country of Wano, the territory of Kaido of all beasts. The bounty is five billion berry. Haha. <laughs> I hope you can kill me. Search for me, I want to get all the information about the Akatsuki organization. Kaido of the Hundred Beasts also roared and shouted, his voice like rolling thunder, spreading throughout the entire Wano country. Red Force, the ship of the Yonko red-haired pirates. Captain, have you heard of the Akatsuki organization? The members of this organization are too arrogant. How dare you kill a celestial dragon in public, Beckman, the vice-captain of the red-haired pirates, asked red-haired Shanks. Akatsuki Organization Never heard of it. The first bounty was five billion belly. When did such a terrorist organization appear on the sea? Looks like we need to investigate this organization. The red-haired Shanks frowned when he looked at the wanted notice from the Akatsuki Organization. It can be said that the whole sea is boiling because of Zhang Yu's role as Pain Six Paths. The first bounty was five billion, directly becoming a Yonko level existence. Killed the celestial dragons, defeated the naval admiral, and directly raised the Shambord Islands to the ground. It is difficult for Zhang Yu not to become famous. At the same time, the name of the Akatsuki organization spread throughout the sea. All major forces are activating their own intelligence systems to look for traces of the Akatsuki organization. Zhang Yu also saw his wanted notice. The first bounty of five billion belly. Seeing such a high bounty, Zhang Yu just smiled and didn't take it seriously. As the leader of the Akatsuki organization, Pain Six Paths should also have such a high bounty. Zhang Yu has more important things to do now. Through the battle with Akainu and the destruction of the entire Shampoo Islands, Zhang Yu's playing progress has also changed. The most powerful playing system in all worlds. Host, Zhang Yu. Current role, Pain Six Paths. Playing progress, 75%. If you want to start the next playing character, you need to increase the playing progress of Pain Six Paths to 90%. As the Six Paths of Pain, how to improve the progress of the performance is of course to establish the Akatsuki organization and let the Akatsuki organization appear in this world. To establish the Akatsuki organization, you need to control a country. Just like in the world of Naruto, Pain Six Paths control the land of rain. Zhang Yu also plans to control a country in the One Piece world and develop the Akatsuki organization. The Scorched Lois, the Blazing Sun, the Dry Sand. As a desert country, Alabasta's climate is mostly hot and dry. There are very few people in the vast Goga Desert. A man wearing red clouds, black clothes and a bamboo hat was slowly advancing in the desert. The figure's speed is not fast, but its speed remains unchanged. There is no doubt that this person is Pain Lai Yudeo played by Zhang Yu. The country Zhang Yu wants to control is the Kingdom of Alabasta. If Zhang Yu remembers correctly, Alabasta at this time was being controlled by the Baroque Working Society established by Crocodile Crocodile. It was the time when the Kingdom of Alabasta was at its most chaotic. And such a chaotic country can be used as a base camp for the development of the Akatsuki organization. Boom boom boom. At this moment, a series of huge explosions rang out not far from Zhang Yu. The two figures were directly blown away flying high, and then landed in front of Zhang Yu. Um. It can't be such a coincidence. Could it be her? Zhang Yu looked at the two figures in front of him with some surprise. A karam. Are you okay? The clear voice is as beautiful as a lark. Princess Wei Wei, who has blue hair combed into a ponytail and a stunning face, is looking anxiously at the injured figure lying on the ground. Your Highness. 
please leave me alone and leave quickly. The tall, weird-looking Akaram was seriously injured and said eagerly. No. Akaram, I will not abandon you. It's all because of me that you are like this. Princess Waiwei's beautiful big eyes flashed with tears. Your Royal Highness, you, you are the future of the Kingdom of Alabasta, you must leave here, you must. Ikram's injured right hand tightly held Princess Waiwei's command and said. But before he finished speaking, there was a sneer in the distance. Walk. You go there. As the sound fell, a man with an afro, a windbreaker and sunglasses chased him from a distance. Yes. No one can escape from our Baroque workshop. At the same time, a mocking voice appeared in the sky, and a woman dressed very fashionably fell from the sky. These two people are Mr. Five Jim and Miss Valentine Makita, members of the Baroque working group. You too. Seeing the two people chasing after her, Princess Weiwei clenched her teeth with a look of reluctance. Could it be that all these years of hard work have been in vain? Is it true that no one can save the Kingdom of Alabasta? Is my Kingdom of Alabasta really going to end? Princess Weiwei, leave quickly, I'll stop them. The seriously injured Akaram struggled to stand up and stood in front of Princess Weiwei. As the guard captain of the Kingdom of Alabasta, Akaram's duty is to protect Princess Vivi. Ha ha ha, so loyal. It's a pity that your loyalty is not to Baroque Working Society, Miss Valentine's Day said jokingly. Say any nonsense to them, anyone who betrays our Baroque Working Society will die, Mr. Five pressed his nose and said with disdain. Facing the two people approaching quickly, Princess Weiwei and Akaram's expressions became serious. They had just experienced the strength of these two people, and they were simply not able to fight against them. What's more, Akaram is now seriously injured. Tap tap tap. Just when the situation was tense, there was a sound of heavy footsteps. Six figures walked out of the yellow sand and the first thing that caught their eyes was the black clothes of Hong Yun. There is no doubt that this is Payne's six paths. Who are you? Seeing the sudden appearance of the figure, Mr. Five and Miss Valentine immediately became alert. Are you two from Baroque Works? Send me the details of Baroque Works immediately, Zhang Yu said while looking at the two of them. Zhang Yu's purpose in coming to the Kingdom of Alabasta is to defeat the Baroque Work Society and occupy the entire Kingdom of Alabasta. Unexpectedly, members of the Baroque Working Group came to my door right away. Bastard, how dare you talk to us like this? Hearing Zhang Yu's question, Mr. Five frowned. As a senior agent of Baroque Works, when had he ever been despised like this? The attitudes of the people in front of him instantly made him unhappy. Hum, since you have seen something you shouldn't have seen, then go to hell, unhappy, Mr. Five directly attacked the six people in front of him. Mr. Point Five, who has an explosive head, is a superhuman explosive fruit user, and everything on his body can be turned into explosives. Mr. Five pressed his nose directly and a ball of yellow-orange-orange harmony bounced directly towards Zhang Yu. Boom! Mr. Five seemed to be trying to disgust Zhang Yu. The yellow harmony object exploded directly on the sand not far away, raising a large amount of dust. The powerful impact rustled against Zhang Yu's Akatsuki clothes. Um! What a disgusting guy! Seeing Mr. Five's attack, Zhang Yu's face suddenly darkened. Although this kind of attack cannot cause harm to Zhang Yu, it is very disgusting. Even though he had known for a long time that this afro was a wretched guy, when he actually faced him, Zhang Yu still wanted to blow his head off. Since he wants to die, let him be fulfilled. Zhang Yu's eyes couldn't help but reveal murderous intent. Mr. Five still doesn't know that he has been sentenced to death by Zhang Yu. Still teasingly said, oops. I missed the target, let's do it again. Mr. Five continued to press his nose, and a ball of harmony bounced towards Zhang Yu. Shinra Tian Zheng. This time, before it was his turn to take action, Zhang Yu took action in advance. The powerful repulsive force directly knocked MR.5 away before it could react. 
but this is not the end yet. Among Pain's six paths, Shuradeo takes decisive action. Five Finger Missile The missiles were unable to attack directly towards the Mr. Five that had not yet landed in mid-air. Boom, boom, boom. With a series of huge explosions, Mr. Five didn't even have a chance to scream, and turned into dregs in the sky. What? Mr. Five. Looking at Mr. Five which was blown to pieces, Miss Valentine exclaimed with deep fear in her eyes. She has partnered with Mr. Five for many years and is very aware of each other's strength. And now Mr. Five was turned into rubble in an instant. You, who are you? We are from Baroque Works. You actually dare to kill people from our Baroque working group. Our president will not let you go, miss. Valentine's Day said threateningly to Zhang Yu, but her trembling tone showed no hint of threat. Haha, I am Akatsuki Organized Pain, Zhang Yu said in a solemn voice. Akatsuki Organization. Pain. Wait, is it that person? The man with a bounty of five billion, miss. Valentine's Day seemed to have reminded her of something, and her expression suddenly became even more horrifying. He couldn't help but think of a wanted poster he saw some time ago. Kill the Celestial Dragons, defeat the Admiral, and destroy the Shambord Islands. Akatsuki organizes pain and offers a reward of five billion. The terrifying pirate on the bounty order looked exactly like the person in front of him. In his mind, their president, Sand Crocodile Crocodile, who offered a bounty of 81 million berries, was already a super strong man. She simply couldn't imagine how powerful the person with a bounty of 5 billion was. They were all legendary people. But today, she actually provokes such a terrifying and powerful man. Thinking of this, Miss Valentine's Day got up and ran away quickly. In front of such a super strong man, she didn't even have the thought of resisting. Hum, I want to run. Can you run away? All things Tianyin. Looking at Miss Valentine who was escaping, Zhang Yu clenched his right hand, and a powerful gravitational force burst out. Ah, help! Miss Valentine, who was escaping, suddenly felt that her body was out of control and flew back into Zhang Yu's hands with a scream. Hand over the information about Baroque works. Extract soul. Human world Dao took action decisively and grabbed Miss Valentine's head. Her soul was directly extracted, all her memories were read, and all the information Zhang Yu wanted was obtained. After losing his memory, Miss Valentine's body fell softly on the sand, too dead to die. Died. Not far away, Princess Weiwei looked at Pain Lai Yudeo in disbelief with her beautiful eyes. She and Akaram combined were not beaten by Mr. Five. But now these two people were actually killed by the person in front of them in just a few seconds. This person's level of strength is too terrifying. This is. How can it be? How could such a terrifying person appear in the kingdom of Alabasta? At this time, Akaram also recognized Zhang Yu's identity, and his whole body could not stop shaking. Akaram, what's wrong with you? Do you know this person? Princess Weiwei looked at Akaram who looked frightened and asked. Princess Weiwei, I have seen this person's wanted notice. He is a super pirate with a bounty of five billion. Such a terrifying person actually came to the kingdom of Alabasta. Our country is going to be doomed, Akaram said with a trembling voice. Bounty five billion. Hearing Akaram's words, Princess Weiwei's beautiful eyes widened and she was also shocked. A King Shishibukai with a bounty of 80 million has already shattered the entire kingdom of Alabasta, and now there is an even more terrifying person with a bounty of 5 billion. Is it true that the kingdom of Alabasta is going to perish today? After solving Mr. Five and Miss Valentine's Day, Zhang Yu looked at Princess Weiwei again. Feeling Zhang Yu's gaze, Princess Weiwei and Akaram jumped immediately. You, what are you going to do? Do you also want to destroy the kingdom of Alabasta? Destroy? No. I will put an end to the chaotic kingdom of Alabasta. This is my mission as a god. 
the entire kingdom of Alabasta will be reborn under the rule of the Akatsuki organization, Zhang Yu looked at Princess Weiwei and said Payne's classic sayings. Although the Akatsuki organization is a terrorist organization, its philosophy is also to build a peaceful world. And now that Zhang Yu plays Pain Six Paths, of course he will also establish the Akatsuki organization with this concept. Zhang Yu came to the kingdom of Alabasta not to destroy Alabasta, but to rule the entire kingdom of Alabasta and make the entire country the headquarters of the Akatsuki organization. Now lead the way. Take me to the kingdom of Alabasta. I need your help to rule all of Alabasta, Zhang Yu said to Princess Weiwei. No. I will not hand over the kingdom of Alabasta to you, after hearing Zhang Yu's words, Princess Weiwei immediately refused. Although what Zhang Yu said made Princess Weiwei very excited. But Princess Weiwei still didn't believe Zhang Yu's words. Because Crocodile once gained the trust of the kingdom of Alabasta for this reason. Now there is a person more terrifying than Crocodile. Princess Vivi really can't believe what will happen to the entire country if this person in front of her is allowed to get the kingdom of Alabasta. Haha, <laughs> Princess Weiwei, I think you are mistaken. I'm not discussing this with you, I'm ordering you. I don't mind the real destruction of the kingdom of Alabasta if you don't obey my orders, Zhang Yu looked at Princess Weiwei and said threateningly. You and I. I agree to help you control the kingdom of Alabasta. After hearing Zhang Yu's words, Princess Weiwei reluctantly agreed. Princess Weiwei, how could you agree to such a thing? A Karam next to her looked at Princess Weiwei in shock. Princess Vivi's current behavior, at best, is giving away the entire kingdom of Alabasta, and at worst, she is willing to be the puppet of the person in front of her. A Karam, do we still have the right to choose now? Princess Weiwei said with a wry smile. If there is no choice, who would want to be a puppet? If he disagrees, the kingdom of Alabasta will be destroyed directly. Now I have no other choice but to agree. Hearing Princess Weiwei's words, Akaram also fell silent. Princess Weiwei is indeed right, now their Alabasta kingdom has no choice at all. This is the sorrow of the weak. Without strength, it doesn't matter if you are a princess. Without strength, you can't even protect your own country. Now Princess Weiwei only hopes that what Zhang Yu said is true and can really treat the Kingdom of Alabasta well. In the Kingdom of Alabasta, not far from the Royal Palace, in an extremely secret room. Crocodile, who has a slicked back hair, scars on his face, a cigar in his mouth, and a golden hook in his left hand, is sitting in front of the long table. His fingers kept tapping on the table making a crisp sound. Behind him stood an intellectual and beautiful woman with glasses and long black hair. At this time, Crocodile was in a very bad mood. Two traders actually appeared in the Baroque working society he established. These two traders turned out to be members of the kingdom. What was even more unacceptable to him was that these two people actually followed Robin and discovered his true identity along the way. Crocodile's purpose in coming to the kingdom of Alabasta is to occupy the entire kingdom as a hero and obtain the ancient weapon Hades. If his identity is leaked, not only will his many years of plans be ruined, but his status as a Shishibukai may also be cancelled. Mr. Five and Miss Valentine have gone to chase them both. The two of them shouldn't be able to escape, Robin said with a twinkle in her beautiful eyes. Robin deliberately let these two people come here but they actually found them in Crocodile. It seems that the two of them are doomed this time. Hey, I hope so. Crocodile snorted coldly and glanced at Robin with some suspicion. Crocodile was originally a hero who didn't trust anyone. What happened today made him somewhat suspicious of Robin. Robin also felt Crocodile's suspicious gaze and immediately picked up a newspaper and changed the subject. President a great man has appeared on the sea. Will he affect our plan? Robin took out a newspaper. On the newspaper was Payne's wanted order. Five billion. Already caught up with Whitebeard. Seeing such a high bounty, Crocodile shrank his eyes and was very shocked. He is someone who has ventured into the new world, 
and he knows very well what the five billion bounty represents. This represents powerful power, the combat power of the four emperors. Such a powerful strength cannot be resisted by oneself at all. But when he thought that he was about to get ancient weapons, Crocodile was full of confidence. He believed that as long as he obtained the three ancient weapons, he would be able to conquer the sea. Rumble. At this moment, there was an explosion and there was violent shaking all around. Damn it! What happened? What happened? Crocodile was originally in a bad mood, but now there was a sudden explosion, and the angry crocodile rushed out. He wanted to see who dared to be so presumptuous in front of him. When Crocodile rushed out, he found that all his men fell to the ground, and six people wearing black clothes and red clouds were standing there. Who are you? How dare you attack my men? Crocodile asked angrily. I am Pain of God, I want the kingdom of Alabasta, you can go away, Zhang Yu ordered Crocodile with a godly tone. God's Pain. It's you. At this time Crocodile also recognized Zhang Yu's identity. Isn't this the pirate on the wanted poster with a reward of five billion? Could it be that he also wants ancient weapons? Crocodile's first reaction when he saw Zhang Yu's appearance here was that the reason why these people appeared in the kingdom of Alabasta was because they had powerful ancient weapons. Hum, I will not hand over the kingdom of Alabasta to you. The ancient weapons are mine. Crocodile said very firmly. Since you don't plan to leave, then you can go die. Accept God's judgment. Zhang Yu looked at Crocodile and pronounced his verdict. Crocodile once went to the New World, but unfortunately he failed. The power of the New World exceeded his imagination, and he returned to the first half of the Great Channel from the New World in despair. But he still did not give up. In order to obtain powerful power, he aimed at the legendary ancient weapons. Legend has it that ancient weapons possess great power. Whoever can obtain the ancient weapons can conquer the sea. After learning that the kingdom of Alabasta possessed ancient weapons, Crocodile began to lay out his plan. His plan was about to succeed and he was about to get ancient weapons. How could he be willing to give up? Even if Zhang Yu's bounty is an exaggerated five billion berry, Crocodile has no intention of giving up the Kingdom of Alabasta. The Kingdom of Alabasta is mine, and so are the ancient weapons. Go to hell! Now that he knew that Zhang Yu was very powerful, Crocodile didn't hold anything back and used his most powerful attack as soon as he came up. Desert Diamond Sword Crocodile's hands quickly transformed into elements and expanded rapidly. After a moment, his hands turned into a huge sand blade and violently attacked Zhang Yu from all directions. Crocodile is a natural type sand sand fruit user. His body can turn into sand, and sand is his best weapon. Moreover, the kingdom of Alabasta is originally a desert country, and its shasha fruit can exert its most powerful power. Facing these overwhelming sand blades, Zhang Yu did not dodge at all, but said with great contempt. How dare you attack God? Then feel the power of God. Shinra Tian Zheng A powerful repulsive force burst out from Zhang Yu's body. The huge repulsive force easily defeated the surrounding sand blades, and at the same time, the offensive continued unabated towards Crocodile. What, is bad? Boom! A powerful repulsive force bombarded Crocodile's body. However, Crocodile also reacted very quickly. Sensing that something was wrong, he quickly transformed into elements and turned into a piece of yellow sand. However, the strong repulsive force directly defeated the yellow sand, causing the wind and sand to scatter and the sand to fly. The splashed yellow sand quickly gathered not far away, and a gloomy-looking crocodile appeared somewhere. Damn bastard! Reincarnation Erosion after the first attack failed, Crocodile did not give up. Everything he touched with his hands quickly turned into desert. Whether it was buildings, rocks, or trees, all the moisture was drained in an instant, turned into yellow sand, and poured towards Zhang Yu. Hungry Ghost Path, Energy Absorption Facing Crocodile's fierce attack, 
Hungry Ghost Dao immediately rushed forward and activated energy absorption. The boiling yellow sand was directly absorbed by the Hungry Ghost Path. Hungry Ghost Path's ability is energy absorption, which can absorb all energy attacks. It can be said to be the natural nemesis of the natural devil fruit. What? How can this be? What ability is this? Why did my ability fail? Crocodile was also shocked when he found out that his ability failed. Nothing is impossible. Feel the power of God. Under Zhang Yu's control, Pain's six paths also launched an attack on Crocodile. Absorbed by the energy of the Hungry Ghost Path, his Shasha Fruit ability failed, and other Pain clones took the opportunity to launch a fierce attack on Crocodile. Five Finger Missile Psychic Beast Desert Scorpion Facing Pain's six paths attack, Crocodile simply had no ability to resist. You know, the six paths of pain unite, but even the admiral can beat up someone, let alone Crocodile, Ashisha Bukai. Soon Crocodile's whole body was covered with injuries, and his body was crumbling. Damn it, what kind of power is this, this feeling that completely crushes me? This is impossible, even if he fought with Whitebeard back then. Crocodile, who was covered in wounds, shouted unwillingly. Facing Pain's six paths attack, Crocodile felt that he had no power to resist. His powerful Devil Fruit abilities and powerful moves are now useless. I feel like I have nothing now, just like a fledgling little pirate. Now he felt extremely frustrated. Even when he fought with Whitebeard, Crocodile had never felt so aggrieved. As the battle continued, a trace of fear suddenly emerged in Crocodile's heart. He found that so far in the battle, he had not even touched the corners of his clothes. He had been pressed and beaten from beginning to end. A thousand meters away, Robin's pupils were staring at the boss, watching the battle here. This. Crocodile actually has no ability to resist at all. Robin looked at Crocodile in the battlefield in disbelief. Robin has been following Crocodile for some time, so she is very aware of Crocodile's power. This is a natural devil fruit user, a powerful pirate recognized by the world government and granted to the Shishibukai. And now this Shishibukai, who was extremely powerful to her, was being beaten violently. This is a crushing, completely crushing battle. Crocodile had no power to resist at all. The fighting here quickly attracted the attention of everyone in the Baroque Working Club. Members of the Baroque Working Club rushed over one by one. When they felt it, they saw that the president, who was extremely powerful to them, was being beaten violently. They all stared with wide eyes and were shocked. This is divine power. Anyone who dares to offend God will be suppressed. After Tiendeo Payne's words fell, a powerful force fell from the sky and struck Crocodile. Crocodile, who was already seriously injured, had no resistance at all and fell directly to the ground. Crocodile, one of the king's seven martial arts, was completely defeated by Zhang Yu in a crushing manner relying on the power of Pain's six paths. The people from Baroque Works who were watching the battle from a distance saw Crocodile being easily crushed. There was a look of fear on each of their faces. Our president was actually defeated like this. What should we do? Run. Baroque Works is finished. The president has been defeated. It's our turn next. Run quickly. I don't know who shouted, and the people from the Baroque Working Group began to run away. The reason why these people joined the Baroque Working Group was all because of Crocodile, the king of the Shishibukai. And now Crocodile, one of the seven warriors under the king, was defeated in a crushing situation, lying on the ground like a dead dog. What are they still doing here? Are they waiting to die? Crocodile has been defeated, so it's their turn next. Thinking of this, these members of the Baroque working group looked at each other and quickly ran away into the distance. Hum, want to run. Can you run away? Bring them all back to me. All things Tianyin. Zhang Yu saw these people who were running away. He clenched his right hand hard, and a powerful gravitational force burst out. Ah, ah. 
Amidst the shouts, these people all flew back and landed in front of Zhang Yu. Everyone was in a state of embarrassment and looked at Zhang Yu in fear. Are you going to kill us? Kill you? No. Xiao organization welcomes anyone with ideals to join. From now on, Baroko, Limited has disappeared, and you are all peripheral members of the Akatsuki organization. Zhang Yu looked at the people in Baroque works and said. We agree to join the Xiao organization. See leader. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, the people from Baroque works didn't hesitate at all and all knelt down in front of Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu's strength is so powerful that not even the Sand Crocodile, one of the king's seven martial arts, is Zhang Yu's opponent. Do they still have the right to choose? Moreover, Zhang Yu has such a strong strength, and it is not a loss in any way to be able to get a powerful Akatsuki organization. After hearing that the people from Baroque Works agreed to join, Zhang Yu looked at Robin again. As for you, just be God's angel. Responsible for conveying God's will. Zhang Yu looked at Robin and said, and with a wave of his hand, a set of Akatsuki clothing fell into Robin's hands. Zhang Yu is now playing the role of God Pain. As a god, how can he not have a divine messenger around him? And Robin fits the position of this divine messenger very well. Yes, sir. After taking over the clothes from the Akatsuki organization, Robin put them on directly without any hesitation. The black clothed Hong Yun costume still has a unique flavor when worn on Robin, a beautiful woman. Ahem, what are you going to do with me? Do you want me to join the Akatsuki organization and become a cotter of the Akatsuki organization? Crocodile, who was seriously injured, asked immediately. Crocodile knew very well that he was no match for this person. He defeated himself with crushing power, but did not kill himself, which shows that the Akatsuki organization intends to recruit him. You. Our Akatsuki organization does not want a weak member like you. You are only a peripheral member of the Akatsuki organization, Zhang Yu glanced at Crocodile and then said. What? Asshole. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Crocodile immediately became angry. What does it mean? This is simply looking down on yourself. No matter how you say it, he is still the king of the Kaiwohei. Even in the New World, he is one of the strongest. Even if you join the Yonko Pirates, you can still be a Cotter. And now this Akatsuki organization actually wants me to be a peripheral member. Is this looking down on me? Damn it, aren't you afraid that I will kill the other members and take their places, Crocodile said loudly. If you have the strength, feel free to do it, Zhang Yu looked at Crocodile and said indifferently. Seeing the end of the battle here, Princess Wei Wei also rushed over from a distance. Seeing how easily Zhang Yu conquered Baroque works, Princess Wei Wei knew very clearly that the entire kingdom of Alabasta had fallen into Zhang Yu's hands. Even powerful men like Wang Xiaokaiwohei are no match for Zhang Yu, and he has no power to resist. Now he only hopes that Zhang Yu can really treat the entire kingdom of Alabasta well. Sir, the entire kingdom of Alabasta is in drought. Please save the kingdom, Princess Weiwei looked at Zhang Yu and asked. The kingdom of Alabasta is now the territory of our Akatsuki organization. God will save his country. Psychic Art Heretic Golem Rumble There was a huge shaking on the ground, the desert was boiling, and a huge figure was slowly emerging from the ground. The huge movement, like an earthquake, caused the entire kingdom of Alabasta to shake. Ah, what's going on? What happened? Look, what is that? So big. It's like a mountain peak. In the end, the mountain-like heretic demon statue stood in the center of the Alabasta Kingdom, like a mountain, overlooking the entire kingdom. Zhang Yu's body slowly flew up and landed on the head of the heretic demon. I am the Akatsuki organization, God's pain. God will save the whole country. Rain Tiger's Art of Freedom The loud voice spread throughout the entire kingdom of Alabasta. As the sound fell, light rain suddenly began to fall in the sky. 
the rain gradually became denser and fell over the entire kingdom of Alabasta. For the long drought kingdom of Alabasta, the rain in the sky is like dew. It's raining. Great, it finally rained. This is what the Akatsuki organization did. The Akatsuki organization literally saved our kingdom. All the people in the kingdom of Alabasta cheered, and they quickly accepted the rule of the Akatsuki organization. It's, it's really raining. He can actually control the weather, he is like a god. Princess Weiwei also looked at the rain falling from the sky in disbelief. Zhang Yu plays the role of Pain Six Paths, defeating the Baroque works with powerful force and occupying the entire kingdom of Alabasta. The Xia organization is completely rooted in this country. A huge heretic demon statue stood in the kingdom of Alabasta. Zhang Yu stood on the heretic demon statue, overlooking the entire kingdom of Alabasta. At the same time, Zhang Yu relied on the power of Pain's six paths to control the winds of the entire Alabasta kingdom. As long as anyone from outside the country enters the kingdom of Alabasta and is blown by the wind, Zhang Yu can sense the arrival of the invader. Lord Pain Princess Vivi leads all the people in the kingdom of Alabasta to ask for rain. At this time, Robin came to Zhang Yu and said very respectfully. Robin's current identity is the divine envoy of the Akatsuki organization, responsible for conveying the will of God's God Pain. Hmm, I know, rain will fall on the kingdom of Alabasta tomorrow at 10 noon, Zhang Yu said looking at Robin. The kingdom of Alabasta is a desert kingdom. For the desert kingdom, water is a very precious resource. Even making rain using dancing powder from the kingdom of Alabasta is a drop in the bucket. Therefore, they can only pray to the gods of the Akatsuki organization. Lord Payne, are there any other members of our Akatsuki organization? Robin asked Zhang Yu cautiously. It has been some time since Robin joined the Akatsuki organization. It is said that the Akatsuki organization has a super strong man like Zhang Yu and should be a very large organization. But what makes Robin feel strange is that except for Zhang Yu, she has not seen anyone else from the Xia organization. You can't see other members just by meeting them. By then, you will naturally be able to meet the other members, Zhang Yu glanced at Robin and didn't explain much. The Xia organization does have other members, but Zhang Yu has not yet drawn the character cards of other members. After hearing Zhang Yu's answer, Robin did not ask any more questions. He now felt even more mysterious about the Akatsuki organization he had joined. Occupying the Kingdom of Alabasta and establishing the Akatsuki organization, the performance progress has been rapidly improved and soon exceeded 90%. Ding, congratulations on the host's role-playing progress exceeding 90%, and getting a chance to draw a role-playing character. Whether to draw new role characters. The system's voice sounded in Zhang Yu's mind which immediately made Zhang Yu feel happy. Finally, we can draw a new role character. I don't know what kind of role character I can draw this time. Ding, it is detected that the host has established an Akatsuki organization. Do you want to extract related characters? Extract related characters. What does it mean? Just when Zhang Yu Zhang was confused, the system message rang again. Related Character Extraction, Extracting Relevant Character Roles from the Organization Established by the Host After listening to the system's explanation, Zhang Yu finally understood. Because Zhang Yu established the Akatsuki Organization in the One Piece world, Zhang Yu can now draw characters directly from the Akatsuki Organization. Extract Members of the Akatsuki Organization? It's really good. The most powerful Wanja role-playing system, the role-playing characters selected are random. Zhang Yu had a good start and got the powerful Pain Six Paths in the first draw. An invincible start. But Zhang Yu's tone can't always be good. It would be unlucky if the character drawn next is a character like Xi Yang Yang or a beautiful girl. But now it's different. Zhang Yu can perform related extraction and directly extract the tasks of Xia organization to play. The Akatsuki organization is a very powerful organization, and no one who can join the Akatsuki organization is weak. 
perform a related summons to extract characters from the Akatsuki organization, Zhang Yu said immediately. Ding, let's start extracting role players. A series of information flashed quickly in Zhang Yu's mind, and finally a figure stayed there. Ding, congratulations to the host for picking up a new character, Akatsuki Organization Kakuzu. I saw this was a middle-aged man wearing an Akatsuki Organization. He had a pair of green eyes and was wearing a mask. His face could not be seen clearly. Kakuzu. Akatsuki Organization, one of the immortal duo. Possessing the secret technique Earth Resentment You, you can take away the enemy's heart through black tentacles, and rely on the heart to control the enemy's power. Can have five hearts at the same time, control five powers, and have five lives. I really didn't expect that this time I actually got the Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization, Zhang Yu thought excitedly. There is no doubt that Akatsuki Kakuzu is also a very powerful figure. It is even said that the ability to gain the enemy's power by taking away the enemy's heart is even more powerful. You know, this is the world of One Piece. In the world of One Piece, there are many people with Devil Fruit abilities. Can Kakuzu also gain five Devil Fruit abilities at once by stealing the heart? Play as Akatsuki Kakuzu. Transformation After a burst of smoke, Zhang Yu turned into Kakuzu. At the same time, the system panel in his mind also changed. The most powerful role-playing system. Host, Zhang Yu. Current role, Akatsuki Kakuzu. Current progress, 10%. Possessing abilities, Earthly Resentment, Fire Attribute Heart, Thunder Attribute Heart, Earth Attribute Heart, Wind Attribute Heart, Water Attribute Heart. The Great Channel, Scarborough Shoal, this is a very ordinary island on the Great Channel. The Navy G16 branch is located on this island. Because of the Navy branch, this island is very peaceful and there are few pirates. Even if a pirate group passes by this island, their identities are hidden. However, Huanjun Island attracted many pirate hunters. A pirate hunter is a person who specializes in hunting pirates. Make a living by hunting down pirates who have bounties placed on them by the Navy headquarters in exchange for bounties. Therefore, Huanjun Island, which has a naval branch, has become an island where pirate hunters often gather. Many pirate hunters who kill pirates will come to the Navy G16 branch on Huanjun Island to exchange for bounties. Today, a man wearing red clouds and black clothes landed on Huanjun Island, holding several heads in his hand. A chilling and bloody aura instantly attracted everyone's attention. Scarborough Shoal, because there is a Navy branch, is often visited by pirate hunters, who exchange pirates for bounties. But usually, Pirate hunters only need to get the iconic tokens of pirates, such as unique muskets, unique long swords, etc. Because pirates will not stay there for you to hunt, every pirate hunter needs a fierce battle to defeat the pirates. After a fierce battle, no one could guarantee that the pirate's body was still intact. It was even said that many pirates with devil fruit abilities were directly sunk into the sea. But like today, this is the first time for a pirate hunter to come directly to Huanjun Island with a human head. Therefore, this person instantly attracted the attention of everyone on Huanjun Island. Look, who is that person? He actually carried the heads of three pirates. New face, never seen before, could it be a new pirate hunter? Wait, look, those heads, aren't those the pirate Kuai Shaomuto? Bounty 2000W buries pirates. That's right, it's the heads of Quick Knife Muto, Gunner Komei and Black Fist Mike, all of whom are big pirates with a bounty of tens of millions. Who is this person? He can actually kill three of them at the same time. The pirate hunters on Huanjun Island looked at the man in red clouds and black clothes with shock on their faces. Four pirate hunters like them. They can't even think about being able to hunt down pirates worth millions, and hunt down pirates with bounties worth tens of millions. Because they are all powerful pirates who can be rewarded with tens of millions of dollars, pirate hunters like them don't dare to provoke them at all. 
And now a man actually came to Huanjun Island with the heads of three pirates with a bounty of tens of millions. How could they not be surprised? There is no doubt that this person is Zhang Yu. No, to be precise, it's the Akatsuki Kakuzu currently played by Zhang Yu. Kakuzu is responsible for serving as the financial controller of Akatsuki and is a person who believes that money comes first. The best way to improve your proficiency in playing Kakuzu is to earn it. As long as you have money, your proficiency will improve quickly, which seems a bit like using Krypton Gold to increase your proficiency. Do you want to become stronger? Then Krypton Gold. If you don't get stronger, then continue to earn money. In this world, there are many pirates with extremely high bounties. In Zhang Yu's opinion, this is simply moving gold coins. Therefore, Zhang Yu immediately killed several pirates with a bounty of tens of millions and came to the navy branch in exchange for the bounty. Zhang Yu carried the head and walked directly into the navy branch. The bloody smell of killing also stunned the navy in the branch. Who are you? What are you going to do? This is the navy branch. Facing this bloody killing atmosphere, these navy were also trembling with fear. Humph, this is the head of a pirate. Bring me the money right away. Zhang Yu threw the heads directly in front of the navy. The navy looked at the three heads in front of him in panic. This is. Quick Knife Mudo's head, as well as Mike and Kome, are also pirates with a bounty of tens of millions. After these navy were surprised, they quickly reacted. It turns out that the terrifying man in front of me is a pirate hunter. Sir, please wait a moment, I will handle it for you right away. Facing the powerful Zhang Yu, the navy did not hesitate at all and quickly moved out several boxes of gold coins and placed them in front of Zhang Yu. My lord, this is your bounty, a total of 42 million berries. Um. Zhang Yu opened the box, picked up the gold coins and counted them one by one. Seeing Zhang Yu's actions, the surrounding navy did not dare to disturb him. After counting for half an hour, Zhang Yu closed the box. Um. It's indeed 42 million berries. Zhang Yu was about to leave with the box, when a navy man looked at Zhang Yu and asked. Wait, I don't know what to call this gentleman. The navy will pay special attention to powerful bounty hunters. Akatsuki Organization, Kakuzu. Zhang Yu said and walked towards the distance. Akatsuki Organization. Why is this name so familiar? The Navy thought in confusion. He always felt that he had heard this name somewhere before. Ah, could it be that Akatsuki Organization? The Marine immediately rummaged through a pile of wanted posters, and soon he found Payne's wanted poster. That's right, it's the Akatsuki Organization. Hong Yun Hei must report this incident to the Navy headquarters. The Marine immediately took out a phone bug and contacted the Navy headquarters. This is the G16 branch of Huanjun Island in the East China Sea. Traces of the Akatsuki organization were discovered. The Navy headquarters and Sengoku are studying intelligence about the Akatsuki organization. The Akatsuki organization is simply too mysterious and powerful. First, he killed the celestial dragons in front of a large audience, then defeated the admiral, and finally destroyed the Shambord Islands. Regardless of that incident, it shows that the Akatsuki organization is definitely not a good person. But what worries Sengoku even more is that after these days, based on the intelligence of the world government and navy, no information about the Akatsuki organization has been found. It was as if there was no Akatsuki organization on the ocean at all. But is there really no Akatsuki organization in the ocean? Obviously impossible. The Navy and the world government have not discovered the Akatsuki organization, which can only explain one point. The Akatsuki organization is very mysterious and is carrying out more conspiracies in the dark. The thought of a powerful and mysterious person hiding in the dark and carrying out ulterior plots gave warring states a very headache. Report to the Marshal. The G16 branch in Donghai discovered information about the Akatsuki organization. At this time, a navy officer came to the Warring States period and reported. 
what? Information about the Akatsuki organization was found. Very good. This was the only good news I heard during the Warring States period. I quickly took the information and read it. But soon Sengoku's brows furrowed again. A new member of the Akatsuki organization. Kakuzu. Pirate hunter. In exchange for a bounty. This information made Sengoku even more puzzling, unable to analyze what the Akatsuki organization was doing. But now that the information about the Akatsuki organization has been discovered, it is always a good thing. As long as we continue to investigate this information, we will definitely be able to find out the true face of the Xia organization. Please continue to inform, all branches in Donghai will pay attention to the Akatsuki organization. If possible, arrest members of the Akatsuki organization directly. After getting 40 million berry, Zhang Yu was surprised to find that the progress of Kakuzu's performance increased to 15%, which increased his proficiency by a full 5%. As expected, I guessed right. For Kakuzu, a money-oriented person, money is the best way to improve his proficiency. Then the next thing for me is to make money. Rumble. At this moment, there was a roar in the distance. Um. Are there pirates? Zhang Yu hurried over towards the sea in the distance. In Zhang Yu's mind, these pirates are all mobile gold coins. Boom boom boom. The artillery roared, countless shells fell, bombarded the sea, and caused a wave. A pirate ship with a skull flag is bombarding a small boat in the distance. Haha, <laughs> damn pirate hunter. How dare you attack me? Today I will let you see how powerful I am. I'm a big pirate with a bounty of 10 million. A ferocious looking pirate on a pirate ship laughed heartily. Boys, keep the fire going. Let this blind pirate hunter see the power of our crazy wolf pirates. Yes. How dare he cause trouble for us. Doesn't he know that our boss is a big pirate with a bounty of 10 million? Let me send this stupid young pirate hunter to feed the fish in the sea. While chatting and laughing, these pirates controlled the cannons on the ship and continuously bombarded the small boats in the distance. On top of the boat, stood a man wearing a white t-shirt, a green belly band around his waist, dark green trousers, black boots and short green hair. There are three long swords hanging on his waist, indicating that he is a swordsman of the three sword style. In the world of One Piece, there is only one swordsman dressed like this, and that is Zoro. It's just that Zoro has not joined the pirate group yet, he is just an ordinary pirate hunter now. And this time his target is the wolf pirates. Puff Puff Facing the constant incoming cannonballs, Soran quickly unsheathed the three long swords on his waist. Each hand holds a long sword, and the mouth holds a long sword. Whizzing before these cannonballs could get close, they were cut in half by Soran's sword. Boom boom boom. The cannonball cut in half fell into the sea, exploded, and caused a wave of waves. Taking advantage of the cover of the waves, Zoro quickly approached the pirate ship and soon came within 10 meters of the pirate ship. Ah, no good, he's coming. Don't stand there in a daze, fire quickly and kill him. The pirates on the ship looked at the attackers and immediately adjusted their cannons, aiming a series of cannons at Zoro. Facing the dark and dense artillery, Zoro's face became serious. Water Escape Water Dragon Bullet Technique At this moment, the sea in the distance suddenly boiled, turning into a huge water dragon and crashing towards the pirate ship. Boom! With a huge crash, the pirate ship broke apart and the ignored pirates fell into the sea while screaming. What happened? What happened? Who? The sudden change made the pirates and Zoro stunned, and immediately attracted all their attention. A man wearing red clouds, black clothes, a mask, and green eyes slowly walked over from the sea. That's right, walking on the sea feels like walking on flat ground. As a ninja, treading water is the most basic ability. Boss. This man actually walks on the sea. Who is he? The pirates who were lucky enough to survive all stared with big eyes in disbelief. 
Not only them, but even Zoro looked shocked when he saw the man who suddenly appeared in front of him. You must be the captain of the pirate wolf pirates, Zhang Yu looked at the wolf. That's right, it's me, I'm the bad wolf, the big pirate with a bounty of ten million, the evil wolf roared loudly, as if to hide his guilty conscience. Ten million bounty? Although a little less. But I will accept your head. Disaster. Zhang Yu's right hand shook hard at the evil wolf, and a black tentacle emerged. The black tentacles flew out, and before the wolf could react, they wrapped directly around his neck. Poof! When Zhang Yu exerted force, the black tentacles quickly contracted, and the wolf's head rolled down until it stopped in front of Zhang Yu. Ah, boss! The boss was killed. Run! These pirates who were lucky enough to survive had already lost their fighting spirit. Now that they saw their boss die, they all ran away in panic. Seeing the death of the evil wolf, Soran came back to his senses at this time, pulled his face, and shouted at Zhang Yu with great dissatisfaction. Hello, friend. He is my prey, is it inappropriate for you to snatch him away like this? Zoro held a long sword in each hand and looked at Zhang Yu with a fighting look on his face. Zoro didn't care at all about robbing a pirate, but people as powerful as the one in front of him were rare. The reason why Soran came to the sea was to challenge the strong, improve his strength, and finally become the world's greatest swordsman. How could he let go of a powerful person he met now? If you are, weak, don't be a bounty hunter. Zhang Yu looked at Zoro in front of him with some surprise. Zhang Yu didn't expect that he would meet an acquaintance. It's a pity that Soran is too weak now and there is no bounty. Zhang Yu has no interest in him. What? Asshole. Look down on others less. Soran immediately became angry. He held a long sword in both hands and attacked Zhang Yu directly with a long sword in his mouth. Three sword style. Ghost slaying. Three long swords slashed violently at Zhang Yu. Facing Soran's attack, Zhang Yu didn't even dodge. He even said that Soran was not even qualified to let Zhang Yu dodge now. Bang, bang, bang. There were three violent collisions, and Soran's three long swords struck Zhang Yu's arms, making a sound of metal collision. Zhang Yu is now playing Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization. He has five hearts with different attributes in his body, so he can use five different powers of earth, fire, wind, water, and thunder. When destroying the pirate ship, water escape was used. But now facing Soran's attack, Zhang Yu didn't dodge at all. He just used earth escape to harden his arms and easily block Soran's attack. What? How can this be? Seeing that his attack was blocked so easily, Zoro also had a look of shock on his face. Boy, I'm not interested in you. You can get out now. Zhang Yu exerted his strength, and a powerful force burst out. Zoro didn't even have a chance to react and flew out directly, falling into the sea and losing his trace. As for whether Soran died or not, that was not a matter that he had any control over. Zhang Yu now wants to check his trophies. Although the entire pirate ship had been destroyed in half by Zhang Yu, the cabin was still intact. Zhang Yu slowly walked into the cabin. It was a mess, and it looked like someone had just rummaged through it. Humph, I really didn't expect that a little mouse would dare to steal my money. It seems he doesn't want to live anymore. Zhang Yu snorted coldly, and a powerful murderous aura burst out. Now Zhang Yu's role is Kakuto. For Kakuto, a money-oriented person, robbing him of his money is like killing his parents. Anyone who dares to pay attention to his money will die. In the gap of a cabinet, a pair of smart eyes were looking at Zhang Yu who was slowly walking in. The terrifying murderous aura made her feel that her blood had turned cold, and her whole body was trembling uncontrollably. Finally, she couldn't hold on any longer and fell out of the cabinet, half lying on the ground. Ah, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'll return all the gold coins to you. A pair of beautiful eyes stared at Zhang Yu with fear, and the gold coins in large and small bags were scattered on the floor. 
Uh, it's actually her. Sure enough, it's a little thief cat. Zhang Yu couldn't help but be stunned when he saw this beautiful woman appearing. Because this beauty is none other than Nami, the future navigator of the Straw Hat Pirates. Am I so lucky today? I just defeated Zoro and now I meet Nami again. At this time, Nami was very scared, especially scared. It turns out that according to her own control and relying on her talent as a navigator, she got involved with the wolf pirates and stole a wave of people away while everyone was not paying attention. But she never expected that Zhang Yu would actually appear here. With his powerful strength, he directly killed the evil wolf himself, and at the same time knocked away the famous pirate hunter Zoro with one move. Terrified, Nami knew she couldn't run away, so she hid in the closet. She originally thought that Zhang Yu would not discover her, but she did not expect that Zhang Yu actually had such terrifying murderous intent. Under this terrifying murderous intent, Nami finally collapsed and fell out of the darkness. Haha, <laughs> she is actually a little beauty. How dare you steal my money? What do you think I should do with you? Zhang Yu made a penetrating sound, looked at Nami and said with a smile. Ah, don't kill me. I'm not a pirate, I'll give you all the money back. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Nami was almost scared to tears. Nami is just an ordinary person now, while the character played by Zhang Yu is a murderous member of the Akatsuki organization. The terrifying murderous intent is simply not something that ordinary people can bear. Humph, anyone who steals my money will die. Facing the pitiful Nami, Zhang Yu remained unmoved. Instead, he stretched out his right hand, and a black tentacle emerged. Seeing these black tentacles, Nami fell into despair. She saw with her own eyes that the evil wolf died under these black tentacles. She doesn't want to die, she still wants to save Kakosia village from the evil dragon. Evil dragon. Got it. At this moment, Nami suddenly had an idea in her mind and immediately shouted loudly. Sir. I know where there are powerful pirates. Profound, a powerful pirate. Tell me, Zhang Yu suddenly stopped and looked at Nami and asked. Sir, there is a big pirate in Kakosia village with a bounty of 20 million berries. If you can kill him, you will definitely get a lot of bounty, Nami said quickly. 20 million belly. Worth the trip, Zhang Yu withdrew the black tentacles and at the same time the murderous aura on his body was gone. Seeing black tentacles disappear in front of her eyes, Nami breathed a sigh of relief, she was finally alive now. What are you still doing here? Collect all the gold coins for me immediately, if you dare to miss one. There will be one less part in your body, Zhang Yu looked at Nami and said threateningly. Yes, sir. Nami didn't dare to disobey Zhang Yu and immediately collected all the money of the entire wolf pirate group. A whole box. Zhang Yu started counting gold coins one by one without taking any trouble. Zhang Yu is now playing Kakuzu. As a money-oriented Kakuzu, every gold coin needs to be confirmed in detail. Seeing Zhang Yu counting money there, Nami didn't dare to say anything and just stood there obediently. An hour later, Zhang Yu finally finished counting the gold coins. Really poor, only 8 million berries. After confirming the number of gold coins, Zhang Yu closed the box, and then Zhang Yu looked at Nami. Lead the way. Take me to find that powerful pirate you mentioned. If you dare to lie to me, I think you know what will happen, Zhang Yu looked at Nami and said threateningly. Don't dare. Sir, please come with me. Nami said with a well-behaved look. But as a little thieving cat, is Nami really well-behaved? Only she knows this. Sir, I don't know what you call me, on a small boat, Nami looked at Zhang Yu carefully and asked. Akatsuki Organization Kakuzu. Zhang Yu replied. Akatsuki Organization. Why is this so familiar? Hearing this name, Nami was stunned and felt that this name was very familiar. Could it be that organization? At this time, Nami also suddenly remembered, isn't this the organization with a bounty of 5 billion people in the newspaper some time ago? 
the clothes of the man in front of me were exactly the same as the man in the newspaper. It seemed that he was really a member of the Akatsuki organization. The thought of falling into the hands of such a terrorist organization made me panic. But when she thought of the information about the Akatsuki organization offering a reward in the newspaper, she regained her energy. If I could take the opportunity to get some information about the Akatsuki organization from this person and report it to the Navy, wouldn't I be prosperous? Thinking of this, Nami looked at Zhang Yu and said very respectfully. Kakuzu-sama, I don't know who the members of the Akatsuki organization are, Nami asked with a smile as she looked at Zhang Yu. Seeing Nami's smiling face, Zhang Yu quickly understood that this little thieving cat was playing tricks on her. Little girl, what are you going to do? Do you want to know the secrets of our Akatsuki organization? Zhang Yu looked at Nami and asked with a half smile. No, no. Sir, I misunderstood. I'm just a little worried. The pirates are very powerful this time, Nami quickly explained. Well, there is no enemy that our Akatsuki organization cannot defeat. I'm not afraid to tell you. I'm one of the immortal duo in the Akatsuki organization, Zhang Yu looked at Nami and said. The immortal duo. Nami is very disdainful of this title. There are no immortals in this world. Lord Kakuzu, I wonder how you will treat the village occupied by pirates after you kill them, Nami asked worriedly. You know, the dragon pirates have now occupied his village, and the reason why Nami became a little thieving cat is to get money to redeem her village. Do they have money? Zhang Yu asked immediately. Um, no money. That village was very poor and had no money at all, hearing Zhang Yu's question, Nami quickly said. What can you say if you don't have money? I'm only interested in money, Zhang Yu continued, looking like money comes first. After hearing Zhang Yu's words, Nami finally felt relieved. He was really afraid that Zhang Yu would destroy his village when he killed the pirates. With Nami, the navigator, leading the way, we soon arrived at the island where Kakosia village is located. On the corner of the island, a huge pirate ship is docked. Is that the powerful pirate you mentioned? Zhang Yu asked Nami. Yes, sir, this is the dragon pirates. They are very powerful and the bounty is very high. We can sneak attack at night, Nami said with some fear. As long as there is a bounty, you don't have to worry about the rest. Wind release pressure. A strong wind gathered in front of Zhang Yu, and the huge strong wind was like a cannonball, attacking directly towards the pirate ship. Boom. There was a huge explosion, and the cannonball hit the pirate ship and blew him to pieces. Countless pirates screamed and fell into the sea. It's just that the members of the Dragon Pirates are all fishmen. They didn't suffer any harm when they fell into the sea. They were suspended one by one on the sea. Damn, what's going on? What happened? An extremely tall shark man emerged from the sea with a gloomy face. This is the captain of the Dragon Pirates, Shark Man Dragon. Captain, we were attacked and our ship was destroyed. Look, that's Nami. It was the person next to Nami who attacked us. Damn humans, should have killed him a long time ago. These fishmen in the sea also quickly discovered Zhang Yu. How dare Nami betray me? Come on, kill this human being, the evil dragon roared angrily, holding his own saw-toothed sword and rushing towards Zhang Yu. The other fishmen followed closely behind, and they all rushed over. Sir, be careful, they are all fishmen. No one is a match for the murlocs on the sea, so let's lure them to land, Nami looked at the rushing fishmen and said with a worried look on her face. Need not. They will soon turn into dead fish. Water escape water dragon bullet technique. Under Zhang Yu's control, the surrounding sea water surged, turning into a set of water dragons that rose into the air and rushed towards the fishmen in the sea. First among them is the dragon himself. The huge water dragon swallowed the evil dragon directly, and at the same time took several fishmen around him with it. Ah, what is this? The evil dragon boss was swallowed. How can this be? 
how can humans be our opponents in the sea? Seeing the huge water dragon devouring their captain, the evil dragon, these fishmen also panicked one by one, and some even planned to escape directly. The reason why fish people are called fish people is because they can live in the sea and have natural advantages in the sea. Humans are no match for fish people in the sea. It's a pity that they met Zhang Yu. Among Zhang Yu's five attribute hearts, one happened to be able to control water. Hey, if you want to run away, just leave them all to me. Thunder escape pseudo darkness. Of course, Zhang Yu would not look at the bounty shells he had obtained and immediately used the power of thunder and lightning. A sheet of boiling thunder and lightning swept across the sea from near to far. With every sweep, dozens of murlocs would be directly scorched to death by electricity. Ah, help! Ah, ah, ah! Amidst the screams, all the fishmen were electrocuted into charcoal and suspended in the sea like dead fish. The entire dragon pirates were easily wiped out by Zhang Yu. This, the dragon pirates were destroyed. The dragon pirates who controlled our village have all been wiped out. Nami looked at the corpses of fishmen on the sea with some disbelief. Unexpectedly, the pirate group that had been enslaving their village was so easily eliminated. Tears of excitement flowed from a pair of beautiful eyes. Great, our village is free. Not long after Zhang Yu had just dealt with the dragon pirates, a navy quickly rushed over from a distance. Colonel Mouse was in a very bad mood today. As a naval captain in the East China Sea, he did not fight against pirates, but instead colluded with the dragon pirates. The dragon pirates would send him a lot of money every month, and Colonel Mouse ignored the dragon pirates' rampant behavior in the East China Sea. But today, he got news that a powerful pirate hunter was attacking the dragon pirates and wanted to destroy the dragon pirates. This made Colonel Mouse unable to sit still. The dragon pirates are my own money bag. If the dragon pirates are destroyed, who will give me money? So after hearing the news that the dragon pirates were attacked, Colonel Mouse immediately led the navy and rushed over. Is the navy coming? I came just in time, just in time to go directly to the navy in exchange for this bounty. Looking at the rapidly approaching navy, Zhang Yu couldn't help but think. The reason why Zhang Yu killed the dragon pirates was for the reward. And now that the navy has arrived, it saves him from having to go to the navy headquarters to collect the bounty. The navy was very fast and soon surrounded the entire area. What happened here? Who are you two? Colonel Mouse walked out very arrogantly, looked at Zhang Yu and Nami and asked. Navy, you came just in time. I have destroyed the dragon pirates. Get the bounty right away, Zhang Yu looked at Colonel Mouse and said. What? You destroyed the dragon pirates. When he heard the news that the dragon pirates had been destroyed, Colonel Mouse was obviously stunned, and then he cursed again in his heart. Damn it, why is this bastard evil dragon dead? My money. Colonel Mouse doesn't care whether the dragon dies or not. What he cares about is that after the dragon pirates are destroyed, no one will give him money. But seeing the corpse of the evil dragon, he had new thoughts in his mind. The dragon pirates are considered a powerful pirate group in the East China Sea. If he embezzled the merits of destroying the dragon pirates, he might be able to get a promotion in his official position, or even get a rank in the navy headquarters. Thinking of this, Colonel Mouse's expression changed. Hey, what kind of pirate hunter? I think you are the accomplices of the dragon pirates. Come on, surround them, don't let them escape. After hearing Colonel Mouse's order, all the weapons in the hands of the Navy were aimed at Zhang Yu and Nami. Navy, how could you do this? We are not from the Dragon Pirates. We destroyed the Dragon Pirates. Looking at the surrounding Navy, Nami quickly explained. Before Nami could finish speaking, Colonel Mouse interrupted her directly. Humph, the Dragon Pirates were obviously destroyed by our Navy. You clearly have the symbol of the pirates on your body, you are the accomplices of the dragon pirates. Come on, take them down for me. Colonel Mouse said with certainty, 
directly confirming the identity of Nami and Zhang Yu's pirate accomplices. How can your navy do this, seeing the navy that confused right and wrong in front of her, Nami was a little at a loss. Navy, it seems you are not going to give me a bounty, Zhang Yu frowned and looked at Colonel Mouse with a cold tone. Bounty. What a bounty. The dragon pirates were destroyed by our navy, and you are all accomplices of the dragon pirates, Colonel Mouse said proudly. Colonel Mouse is the highest officer in this sea area, and he is used to being domineering, so he doesn't take Zhang Yu and Nami into his heart at all. As long as you kill the two people in front of you, the credit for destroying the dragon pirates will be yours. No one can embezzle my money. Anyone who dares to covet my money will die. Zhang Yu made a fist with his right hand at Colonel Mouse. The fist was connected with the black tentacles and flew out like a cannonball, directly piercing the chest of Colonel Mouse. Pfft, you actually dare to take action against the navy. Colonel Mouse spit out a mouthful of blood, looked at Zhang Yu with white eyes and disbelief, and fell directly to the ground. What? He killed Colonel Rat. How dare he attack our navy? Attack kill him. Seeing that Zhang Yu actually killed their commander, the rest of the navy were shocked, and then all the weapons in their hands launched an attack on Zhang Yu. Humph, it should be you who die. Fire escape head hard. A flame surged out and turned into a flame and attacked all the navy. Ah, ah. Amidst the screams, all the navy was reduced to ashes in the sea of fire. After killing all the marines, Zhang Yu looked at Nami with a pair of green eyes. Feeling Zhang Yu's gaze, Nami was startled, took a few steps back, and looked at Zhang Yu with a trembling voice. Lord Kakuzu, you, what are you going to do? Nami just saw Zhang Yu killing hundreds of marines. He looked so murderous. Even Nami felt very frightened. Little girl, you told me there was a bounty to be won here. But I haven't gotten a penny now, what do you think I should do with you? Zhang Yu looked at Nami with a bad tone. Lord Kakuzu, I'm not lying to you, there are indeed pirates with high bounties here. I just didn't expect that the navy here would be like this, Nami quickly explained. Hey, no matter what you say, I didn't get the money. Anyone who dares to deceive me will have only one fate, Zhang Yu looked at Nami and said in a cold tone while black tentacles appeared on his arms. Ah, Kakuzu-sama, don't kill me. I'm a navigator. If you have my guidance, you can sail unimpeded on the sea and better hunt pirates with high bounties. Feeling Zhang Yu's murderous intent, Nami immediately panicked and quickly expressed her worth. Navigator? I really need a navigator to lead the way. After hearing Nami's words, Zhang Yu thought for a moment and put away his murderous intention. Then I will save your life first. If you dare to run away, I will kill you immediately, Zhang Yu looked at Nami and said. I don't dare, I don't dare, please give orders from Kakuzu-sama, after saving another life, Nami breathed a sigh of relief. Now lead me the way to the naval branch. No one can covet my money. Since he won't give it to me. I'll get it myself, Zhang Yu said fiercely. It's, Kakuzu-sama, Nami didn't dare to have any objections. The 16th branch of the East China Sea is a base set up by the Navy in the East China Sea. Two people were welcomed here today. Among them is a very beautiful girl, and the other is a masked man wearing red clouds and black clothes. Kakuzu-sama, this is the place. Where is the Navy branch? Nami pointed at the navy branch and asked worriedly. Lord Kakuzu, do we really want to attack the navy branch? We may be wanted by the world government. Nami looked at Zhang Yu and asked carefully. Hum, no one can embezzle my money. Not even the navy can, Zhang Yu said nonchalantly and walked directly towards the navy branch. This, really costs money rather than life, Nami complained in her mind. Nami herself is also a person who loves money, but she doesn't want the member of the Akatsuki organization in front of her to love money more than she does. It's crazy to attack a naval branch for money. Although Nami was unwilling to do so, she had no choice but to follow Kakuzu. 
because she knew very well that if she did anything wrong, death would be waiting for her. Nami regretted it so much now. She shouldn't have gotten on that ship if she had known better. Otherwise, he would not have fallen into Kakuzu's hands. But Nami didn't give up, she was always looking for opportunities to escape. Let's hit. It would be best if he and the Navy both lose. In this case, you can take the opportunity to escape, Nami thought in her mind. Who? Stop. This is the Navy branch. When Zhang Yu and Nami approached the Navy branch, the Navy in the branch also noticed the two of them. When Zhang Yu came to the Navy branch, he launched an attack without any nonsense. Wind escape pressure damage. A strong wind gathered and turned into a huge cannonball, blasting directly towards the Navy branch. Boom! There was a huge explosion, the air cannon exploded and the entire naval branch was directly turned into ruins by the powerful momentum. Many marines didn't even have a chance to react and were directly buried in the rubble. Those who were lucky enough to survive were all injured. Ah, help! Damn it, who is it? How dare you attack our naval branch? Look, that kind of clothes! Isn't that the member of the Akatsuki organization that the headquarters asked us to pay attention to? What's your organization? That terrorist organization. Not good, reported to Dunghai headquarters immediately. Headquarters, headquarters, this is the 16th branch of the Navy. We were attacked by the Akatsuki organization. There was another person next to the Akatsuki organization members, presumably a new member. The members of the Akatsuki organization are very powerful. Please support. Please support. Ah, boom. Soon, the entire Navy branch was dying and running away, and the Navy branch was reduced to ruins. Zhang Yu easily occupied the entire Naval branch without any effort. This, you really destroyed the Naval branch, Nami looked at the Navy branch in ruins in front of her in shock. Originally, Nami wanted to escape from here while the battle was going on. But what she never expected was that the battle was over before she even started to run away. This is how to do. I'm going to be wanted by the Navy soon. Nami is just an ordinary person now. In his heart, the Navy is an invincible existence. When she thought that she might be hunted down with a high bounty in the future, Nami felt a sense of despair. Little girl, don't be stunned here. Find me all the money in this base immediately. Zhang Yu looked at Nami who was stunned and said. I understand, Kakuzu-sama, although Nami was very reluctant, she still obediently searched through the ruins of the navy branch. Nami is indeed a little thief cat, very good at collecting money. Soon she found all the money in the entire naval branch. And what about Zhang Yu? Still as usual, count money one gold coin by one gold coin. Roger Town where the pirate King Roger was born and executed, is known as the town of the beginning and end. Therefore, Rog Town has an important position for all pirates. In order to combat pirates in the East China Sea, the Navy headquarters established the Navy East China Sea headquarters in Rog Town. At the same time, a colonel from the Navy headquarters was stationed here to combat pirates in the East China Sea. Colonel Smoker I just got the news that Donghai Branch 16 was destroyed by members of the Akatsuki organization, the Navy soldier came to Smoker and reported. What? Damn Akatsuki organization! Gather the team immediately and follow me to arrest this member of the Akatsuki organization, after hearing the report, Smoker said angrily. Wait, Colonel Smoker, we have an important mission. The plan to eliminate pirates in the East China Sea has begun. We cannot give up halfway, a marine stopped Smoker and said. Damn it, then go ahead and execute the plan. After these pirates are eliminated, we can arrest the members of the Akatsuki organization, Smoker thought for a moment and said. With the opening of the Age of Discovery, countless pirates emerged into the sea. For a time, countless powerful pirates emerged on the sea. Even in the East China Sea, the weakest sea area, there are more than a dozen big pirates with bounties worth tens of millions. 
In order to eliminate pirates in the East China Sea, the East China Sea Navy headquarters formulated the plan to eliminate pirates in the East China Sea. Let the power of the Navy penetrate into the pirate groups in the East China Sea, grasp the traces of these pirate groups, lead all the pirate groups to one place, and eliminate them all. As long as the plan succeeds, the pirates in the East China Sea can be purged and these powerful pirate groups can be eliminated. And tomorrow is the last moment to close the net. Even if Smoker now wants to find trouble with members of the Akatsuki organization, he must complete this plan first. For this plan, all the navies in the East China Sea have been busy for about three years, and there is absolutely no room for failure. In the East China Sea, there is a hidden desert island, and countless ships are docked on the desert island. It is said that such a deserted island rarely receives ships, but today powerful pirates from all over the East China Sea gathered here. Among these pirates, the lowest bounty is around 10 million, and the highest has even reached 60 million. For the East China Sea, the weakest sea area, such a bounty is enough to pose a threat to the entire East China Sea. The reason why these pirates gathered here is to discuss joint matters. All the pirates in the East China Sea unite to defeat the navy in the East China Sea and turn the East China Sea into a world of pirates. Although this seems a bit whimsical, it also attracted all the famous pirates in the East China Sea. But they pirates don't know that not far from this desert island, a dozen huge naval warships are docked here. Report to Colonel Smoker that all the famous pirates from the East China Sea have entered the desert island. There are dozens of them. Do we take action, a Marine said to Smoker's report. Hold on. Our purpose this time is to eliminate the pirates in the East China Sea. It is best to eliminate all the pirates in the East China Sea at once, Smoker couldn't help but said. It's... Colonel Smoker. Continue to hide and wait for more pirates to enter the island. All naval warships continue to be hidden here. At this time, a small boat was also sailing towards the desert island. There were only two people on the boat. Kakuzu man, we've reached our destination. Today, this island will attract all the pirate groups in the East China Sea. If Kakuzu-sama can kill these pirates, he will definitely get a lot of bounty. Nami looked at Zhang Yu and said very obediently. Hmm, very good, Zhang Yu looked at the pirate groups on the island, and a smile appeared on his lips. Zhang Yu believes that as long as he kills these pirates and gets their bounty, his acting proficiency will be improved again. Nami looked at Zhang Yu and kept slandering her heart. Hey, you damn bastard, just laugh. Wait until you cry later. There are so many pirates. What do you do? Then I can take the opportunity to escape from here. As a little thieving cat, Nami never gave up escaping for a moment. When she heard that the pirates had gathered here, Nami immediately brought Zhang Yu to this desert island, hoping to rely on the pirates to stop Zhang Yu while she took the opportunity to escape. Can Nami's plan really succeed? Obviously impossible. In the face of absolute power, any conspiracy is useless. The small desert island was crowded with pirates from all over the East China Sea. They knew that these pirates were not easy to deal with. As soon as they arrived on the island, there were several scuffles, and several weaker pirate groups were directly destroyed. The remaining powerful pirate groups are discussing who should be the leader of the pirates in the East China Sea. You pirates, listen to me. I am the Tomahawk Pirates with a bounty of 50 million berries. You pirates should obey my orders. Humph, the bounty is 50 million berry. Is it very high? I will be the first to disapprove of you. That's right. Why should I obey your orders? Our Fire Pirates are not vegetarians either. Yes, there is also our Creek Pirates. For a moment, all the pirate groups started making noise and that pirate group was not willing to lag behind, looking tense. But none of them noticed that a shadow had fallen over. You don't need to argue, you are all going to die here today, Zhang Yu walked over slowly, looked at these pirates and said with great disdain. In Zhang Yu's view, these pirates in front of him are already dead, 
and they will all turn into shining gold coins. Nami looked at the ferocious-looking pirates around her with fear. This was the first time she had encountered so many pirates. She now felt as if she had walked into a pirate den. Bastard, who are you? How dare you speak like this? Only two people are so arrogant, don't they want to live? That's it. You're a member of the pirate group. If you want to die, just tell me and I will help you. Seeing that Zhang Yu and Nami were the only two people, the other pirate groups didn't take them seriously at all. Haha, I am the one who kills you. Let them all die. Turn it into gold coins. Fire escape head hard. Zhang Yu stopped talking nonsense with these pirates and launched an attack directly. Hey, boom. A flame suddenly burst out, like a wave of fire, rushing directly towards the pirates. Ah, what is this? No, get away quickly. They are capable. Where did the flames come from? No, retreat quickly. Could it be that we were discovered by the navy? Help us. Run quickly. These pirates in the East China Sea are very weak. Facing Zhang Yu's attack, they have no power to resist at all. Soon countless pirates were directly buried in the Sea of Fire. The other pirates, who were relatively weak, saw that the situation was not right and quickly fled in all directions. Seeing these fleeing pirates, Zhang Yu did not pursue them. Because their bounty was too small, there was no need to pursue them. Zhang Yu's target was still these pirates with high bounties. The Smoker Navy team, who were not far away from the desert island, quickly noticed the movement on the desert island. What happened? Where's the explosion? What happened? Smoker asked immediately. No, Colonel Smoker, the pirates on the desert island are escaping, a marine immediately said. What? Chase quickly. We must not let the pirates escape, Smoker shouted with an anxious look on his face. He speed of the navy was very fast. All the navy warships set sail and rushed towards the desert island. But the pirates on the desert island escaped faster. After all, an unknown enemy killed hundreds of pirates in one go. This kind of monster-like strong man was simply not something they could fight against. Facing such a super strong person, they had no choice but to run away, even wishing their parents would give them two more legs. When the navy warship came in pursuit, all the pirates had already disappeared. Damn bastard, who is it? Who sabotaged the navy plan, seeing all the pirates disappearing, Smoker shouted angrily. You know, in order to implement this East China Sea cleanup plan, the navy has been planning for three full years. The current plan is about to succeed, and all the pirates in the East China Sea can be wiped out immediately. Someone actually ruined the Navy's plan. Colonel Smoker, what should we do now? The pirates have all escaped, a Marine asked Smoker for instructions. But Smoker didn't answer, and his face turned gloomy. What to do? I fucking know what to do. Now Smoker doesn't know what to do. The original plan was very good. This operation could easily sweep away all the pirates in the East China Sea. But now that the plan has reached a critical moment to close the network, it has failed. Smoker is in a very bad mood now. After a bombing attack, all the pirates on the desert island died. At this time, Nami is counting the bounties of these pirates. Although Nami complained very much in her heart that she actually let this beautiful girl of hers do such a thing, Nami still kept statistics honestly. Because Zhang Yu's strength is so powerful, so powerful that it's unbelievable. Originally, Nami wanted to rely on these pirates to hold Zhang Yu back and escape by herself. But I didn't expect that these pirates would be so useless. His plan failed once, and now he can only listen to Zhang Yu obediently. This can't be blamed on Zhang Yu for abusing Nami, it's just because Nami is too sensitive to money. Zhang Yu collects money to gain proficiency in playing Kakuzu, while Nami is naturally sensitive to money. As long as it involves money, she never misses it. Lord Kakuzu, I have already calculated it. This time, 
we can get a total bounty of 500 million belly, Nami clasped her fingers and said. 500 million berries, great. This money can increase my proficiency by at least 10%. Zhang Yu thought excitedly. At this time, a group of naval warships appeared on the distant sea. Hey, the navy is here. Just give them these pirate corpses. Seeing the arrival of the navy's warship, Zhang Yu didn't think much and rushed directly towards the dock. At this time, on the naval battleship, Smoker was angry about the failure of the plan. Major Smoker, look, there's someone over there, a navy noticed Zhang Yu and Nami in the distance. That is. Red clouds and black clothes. This is a member of the Akatsuki organization. Damn it. It turns out that the Akatsuki organization ruined my plan. All artillery aimed, give me the attack. Seeing where Zhang Yu and Nami appeared, Smoker did not hesitate at all and directly ordered all the warships to attack Zhang Yu. The Akatsuki organization has long been defined as a terrorist organization by the world government. And now that members of the Akatsuki organization have appeared here, everyone will think that it was the members of the Akatsuki organization who ruined the Navy's plan. Boom boom boom. A dense barrage of shells flew directly towards Zhang Yu. Damn, what's going on? Facing the incoming shells, Zhang Yu was also very confused. He just wanted to find the navy in exchange for a bounty, so how could the navy silently and innocently attack him? Water escape flow wall. Zhang Yu's reaction was also very fast. The sea surface surged in front of him, forming a wall of water to block the attacks of these shells. Navy, what are you doing? Do you also want to embezzle my money? Zhang Yu asked, looking at the navy with a gloomy face. From Zhang Yu's point of view, the navy's attack on him must be an attempt to default on the debt and deny him the bounty for killing the pirates. What money? How can our navy give money to pirates? Keep attacking me and kill him. Smoker didn't think much and directly ordered the navy to continue attacking Zhang Yu. Damn navy, you guys are so dishonest. Since you dare to embezzle my money, then you will die today. Zhang Yu is very angry now, very angry. I didn't expect that the navy in this world would be so untrustworthy, repeatedly embezzling the bounty they earned from killing pirates through hard work. Since these navy dare to embezzle their own money, then they must die. Water escape great waterfall technique. The surrounding sea surface suddenly surged, and the extremely high water flowed towards all the navy like a sky-high waterfall. No, take cover quickly and stabilize the ship. Damn it, he's a capable person. White Fist Smoker is a user with the smoke fruit ability. Facing the incoming huge waves, Smoker also activated his ability, and his hands turned into fists emitting white smoke to face it. Finally, after the efforts of many navy, the attack of the huge wave was finally blocked. But is this the end of Zhang Yu's attack? Obviously impossible. Not only is this not the end, it's just the beginning. Wind escape pressure damage. The strong wind gathered and turned into cannonballs, attacking the naval battleship. Boom, boom, boom. Each violent cannonball will easily destroy a naval warship, and countless naval forces will fall into the sea. Thunder escape earth walk. At this moment, Zhang Yu's attack came again. Countless thunder and lightning danced wildly on the sea, attacking all navies. Ah, ah, ah. After a scream, all the navy were suspended on the sea like dead fish. After destroying all the naval warships, Zhang Yu's anger finally subsided a bit when he looked at the dead fish like navy floating on the sea. Let's go. Zhang Yu greeted Nami and walked towards his boat. Nami's face turned pale all the way. Because she knew she was doomed, and now she followed Zhang Yu to destroy the navy warship. No matter what the reason, the navy would want her. I just hope that my bounty is not too high, otherwise, there will really be no place for me in the entire sea. Not long after Zhang Yu and Nami left, Smoker climbed out on a piece of battleship wreckage on the sea. Although Zhang Yu's attack was very powerful, 
Smoker still had some strength as a Devil Fruit user and managed to survive. However, even so, his whole body was scorched and he was seriously injured. Enduring the severe pain in his body, Smoker took out a phone bug and directly contacted the Navy headquarters. Brew. Brew. Brew Brew. In the Admiral's office at the Navy headquarters, Admiral Sengoku was processing documents when a phone bug suddenly rang in front of him. I am Warring States. Just as Warring States connected the phone, Smoker's weak voice came from the phone bug. Marshal of the Warring States period, his plan to eliminate pirates in the East China Sea failed. Ahem, all the naval fleets in the East China Sea were wiped out. Warring States frowned and asked quickly. How could the pirates in the East China Sea be so powerful? As a naval marshal, Sengoku was also very clear about the plan to eliminate pirates in the East China Sea. Because this plan was proposed by him. As the Pirate King was born in Tokai, after the Age of Discovery began, all the pirates in Tokai became active. For the stability of the East China Sea, these pirates in the East China Sea must be eliminated. According to his plan, after three years of planning, he should be able to catch all the pirates in the East China Sea. However, Smoker actually said that the plan failed, and even the naval warships sent to the East China Sea were destroyed. This made Warring States unable to believe it for a while. He is still very clear about the pirates in the East China Sea. This is the weakest sea area, and the pirates are not that strong. Smog himself is a natural devil fruit user. For Donghai who does not have domineering power, this is an invincible existence. And in order to ensure the completion of the mission, a powerful naval fleet was dispatched. And such a careful arrangement, actually failed. Smoker was seriously injured and the entire naval fleet was wiped out, which Sengoku couldn't accept. This situation is so unexpected. What's going on? What's going on? Faced with Warring States questioning, Smoker did not dare to hide anything and immediately told what happened. Before we took action, someone arrived at the destination ahead of time. Not only ruined our plans but destroyed the entire naval fleet. After listening to Smoker's words, Warring States frowned and asked quickly, Who? Smoker said in a deep tone, Members of the Akatsuki Organization, Akatsuki Organization Kakuzu, Akatsuki Organization. Hearing this name, Warring State's pupils couldn't help but shrink. He knows very well what the organization represents. This is an extremely mysterious and terrifying organization. It's terrifying because this organization has a general who can fight against the Navy, which is equivalent to the strength of the four emperors. It is mysterious because this organization is very secretive. Even the Navy's intelligence network does not have any information. Some time ago, the Navy headquarters just held an important naval meeting for this organization. Unexpectedly, this organization took action again. Moreover, the Akatsuki organization caused huge losses to the Navy as soon as it took action, directly destroying the Navy's important plan that had been carried out for three years. Smoker Please provide detailed information on this member of the Akatsuki organization, Sengoku continued to ask. The Akatsuki organization is so mysterious. Even the Navy headquarters knows very little about the Akatsuki organization. Now that another member of the Akatsuki organization has appeared, how could Sengoku not pay attention to it? Yes. Mr. Marshall. This member of the Akatsuki organization is very powerful. He can use wind, fire, thunder, a variety of powers to destroy a naval branch in the East China Sea. Presumably he is a capable person. There is a girl beside him. Smoker didn't hide anything and reported all the information he knew to warring states. Smoker, I don't blame you for failing this time. You go back to the Navy branch first, and I will send the Navy Admiral to deal with this member of the Akatsuki organization. Warring States simply said a few words, hung up the phone, and then said to the messenger at the door. Inform Kuzan and ask him to come to my place. A new member of the Akatsuki organization appeared again, and as soon as he appeared, he destroyed the Navy's important plan. 
this was really a great threat to the Navy. In order to deal with this threat, Sengoku plans to dispatch the Admiral of the Navy to deal with this member of the Akatsuki organization, and preferably capture him alive. After a while, Kyuzen walked in with a lazy look on his face. Mr. Waring states, I don't know what you want from me, Kyuzen asked. Kyuzen, members of the Akatsuki organization have appeared in the East China Sea. Go and take a look, Waring states said to Kyuzen. Xia organization? Is this the organization that defeated Akainu? After hearing what Waring states said, Kyuzen also took it seriously. You must know that members of this organization have defeated Akainu, and they are admirals like him. Yes. This person is very powerful. You bring a naval battleship with you. It's best to capture him alive. We need information from the Akatsuki organization, Waring states thought for a while and said. I see, Kyuzen responded. Soon a naval warship left the Navy headquarters and headed towards the East China Sea. On the East China Sea, a small boat is sailing with the wind. Hey, little girl, have you found a way to make money, Zhang Yu asked looking at Nami. A week has passed since the naval warship was destroyed. And because Zhang Yu destroyed the naval battleship, Zhang Yu can no longer obtain bounties by killing pirates. So Zhang Yu now needs new ways to get money. Kakuzu-sama, the last way to get money is to become a pirate hunter, but you destroyed the navy warship, and now we may be on the navy's wanted list, Nami said a little embarrassed. Although Nami is known as the little thief cat, she is just a newcomer to the sea. Her method of making money is cheating. As for other methods, she simply doesn't know how to do it and doesn't have the strength to do it. What a trouble, Zhang Yu couldn't help but frown. Now Zhang Yu plays Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization, and Kakuzu is a money-oriented person. Therefore, the only way to improve Kakuzu's acting progress is to make money, lots and lots of money. But now that I have destroyed naval battleships and killed a large number of navy, it seems that the method of killing pirates in exchange for bounties cannot be used anymore. Woo ho ho! At this moment, a very gorgeous ship sailed over in the distance. This ship is very huge and looks very gorgeous. There is a hoof-like flag hanging on the ship. What's more important is that the ship rushed directly towards Zhang Yu's boat without any intention of avoiding it. No, this is a world government ship. Let's get out of the way of the ship escorting gold from the sky. Seeing the ship, Nami looked panicked and immediately controlled the ship to avoid it. Nami is also very aware of the status of the Celestial Dragons. If she offends the Celestial Dragons, she will be in trouble. Celestial Dragons Heavenly Gold You said this is a ship escorting gold from the sky, Zhang Yu asked with stars in his eyes. Yes. Lord Kakuzu, every year this ship comes to our East China Sea to collect gold from the sky. Wait, Kakuzu-sama, what are you going to do? You don't want to rob the Tianlong people's ships, do you? Looking at Zhang Yu, whose eyes were shining, Nami seemed to have remembered something, and looked at Zhang Yu with a look of panic. Robbing the celestial dragons is really crazy. This is something Nami never dares to think about. No, no, this is a celestial dragon, absolutely not, Nami looked at Zhang Yu and stopped her loudly. Hey, what's wrong? There is nothing in the entire ocean that we, the Akatsuki organization, are afraid of, not even the celestial dragons. What Zhang Yu needs now is gold coins. How can Zhang Yu not want the gold coins that are delivered to his door now? Sail the boat for me right away and go aboard. Otherwise, you will die. Zhang Yu looked at Nami and said with a cold tone. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Nami trembled all over. Although she was reluctant, she still controlled the ship and rushed forward. Although the celestial dragons are very scary, Nami is even more afraid of death. On the world government ship, a celestial dragon with a glass cover was looking through a telescope. Soon, they noticed the boat speeding past in the distance. Hey, there is a small boat and it finally found its target. Hurry up and bring me the artillery. 
The Tianlong man shouted, and soon a cannon was carried over by several guards. The Tianlong people stood in front of the artillery and aimed at Zhang Yu and their ships. Haha, go to hell! Boom! A cannonball quickly attacked Zhang Yu's ship. Humph, the celestial dragons are indeed a bunch of guys looking for death. Earth release hardening technique. Facing the incoming cannonball, Zhang Yu did not dodge. His right hand instantly turned into the color of rock. With a strong grab, the cannonball was directly caught in Zhang Yu's hand. How is this going? Why didn't my cannonball explode? Bastard, did you bring me broken shells? Come on, kill them all. Seeing that the shells were not exploded, the Tianlong people on the ship were very angry and kept yelling at the people around them. Haha, do you want cannonballs? Back to you. Zhang Yu threw it hard with his right hand, and the shell directly hit the world government ship. Boom! There was a huge explosion, and a big crater was blown out of the world government's ship. The gorgeous ship shook violently from side to side. Ah, no, the celestial dragons were attacked. Contact the navy headquarters immediately. The celestial dragons are under attack. We need the support of the admiral. Quickly, protect the Tianlong people and destroy the enemy. All the guards on the ship panicked, holding their weapons tightly. At this moment, Zhang Yu jumped onto the boat. Attack, destroy the enemy. All muskets fired. Seeing Zhang Yu, all the guards' muskets fired at Zhang Yu. But when faced with the attacks of these bullets, Zhang Yu did not dodge, but faced them directly. These bullets fell on Zhang Yu's body as if they were hitting rocks, without causing any harm to Zhang Yu. And every time Zhang Yu landed a punch, one of the guards would fly backwards, spurting out a piece of blood in the sky, and fall into the sea, most likely dead. In addition to being able to use the power of five attributes, Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization is also very powerful in physical skills. Soon, all the guards on the ship were killed by Zhang Yu leaving only this Tianlong man. You, what are you going to do? How dare you attack me? Don't you know that I am a celestial dragon? If you kneel down and be my slave, I might be able to forgive you, the Tianlong people didn't seem to realize their danger, but instead spoke nonsense to Zhang Yu. A guy who doesn't know whether to live or die. Zhang Yu grasped his right hand, connected his arm with the tentacle, and directly grabbed the Tianlong man. Nami, the celestial dragons should be very valuable. How much can this Tianlong sell for? Zhang Yu asked Nami who had just boarded the ship. Selling the celestial dragons. I don't think anyone in the world would dare to buy a Draco, Nami's expression twitched, and then she said. No one buys it. That means it's worthless. What a waste. Zhang Yu casually threw the Tianlong people into the sea. You, you, Kakuzu-sama, you actually killed the celestial dragon, Nami asked with white eyes and some disbelief. Worthless trash, it dies when it dies. Tell me immediately how much money is on board, Zhang Yu said indifferently. Zhang Yu killed Tianlong people not once or twice. Zhang Yu didn't care about a useless Tianlong man at all. Lord Kakuzu, we have calculated that he has a total of two billion belly. Nami searched the entire cabin and said to Zhang Yu. Two billion berries, great, hearing Nami's words, Zhang Yu's eyes showed an excited expression. Seeing Zhang Yu's excited eyes, Nami kept complaining in her heart. I have never seen someone who loves money so much. Could this be a member of the Akatsuki organization? Want money rather than life. But is Zhang Yu really excited about the money? Obviously impossible. When Zhang Yu Zhang Yu just got two billion belly, the voice of the system came in his mind. Ding, congratulations to the host, the playing progress has increased by 20%. As the sound of the system fell, the system panel in Zhang Yu's mind also changed. The most powerful world playing system. Host, Zhang Yu. Possessing characters to play, Akatsuki Organization Pain 6 Paths, Playing Progress, 
Akatsuki Organization Kakuzu, playing progress, 45%. Possessing character extraction opportunities, 0. He only robbed the heavenly gold once, and it actually made Kakuzu's playing progress all of a sudden increased to 45%. From the looks of it, as long as you rob the heavenly gold a few more times, you can start a new role. Just when Zhang Yu was excited, a biting cold air suddenly came from a distance. Click, click. The cold air blew over the sea surface, and the sea water froze directly, turning into sheets of ice. The ice continued to spread, freezing everything around it, instantly turning the place into a land of ice and snow. Ah, uh, what's going on? Dear Kakuzu, why is the surrounding area suddenly frozen? Nami looked at the changes in the sea and screamed. Ice. Could it be? Zhang Yu seemed to have thought of something and looked towards the sea in the distance. In the world of One Piece, there is only one person who can use the power of ice. That is the current admiral of the navy, the user with the frozen fruit ability, Aoki Kyuzen. Sure enough, not far away, I saw a man wearing a navy uniform, his whole body covered with cold air, walking over from a distance. This is the admiral. Kakuzu-sama, we are finished, the admiral is here, Nami watched Kyuzen appear here with a look of fear on her face. Although Nami is just a new pirate, she has not been idle following Zhang Yu during this period. She is also studying the power of the navy, because she knows very well that if she destroyed the navy branch, the navy will find them sooner or later. But what Nami didn't expect was that the first time she was hunted down, she would be directly attacked by the admiral. Nami felt that she was really finished this time. It seems I'm late. The celestial dragon should have been killed by someone, Kyuzen glanced at the world government ship that had changed beyond recognition and said. He's just a piece of trash, just kill him, I want to say it without caring. In this case, there is no other way. All I have to do is arrest you. Ching Pheasant looked at Zhang Yu and Nami and said, feeling cold all over his body. Although Kyuzen looks very lazy at ordinary times, when he actually performs tasks, Aokiji is still very serious. When the world government's ship was attacked, he rushed over immediately. Unexpectedly, it was a step too late. The gold in the sky was robbed and the dragons died. This was a big deal. Therefore, Kyuzen must arrest the member of the Akatsuki organization in front of him. If you want to catch me, then you have to see what you are capable of, Zhang Yu looked at Kyuzen and said without fear. Although the admiral is very powerful, as a member of the Akatsuki organization, Kakuzu is not weak either. Frozen, time capsule. With a generous hand of cold energy, Kyuzen took the lead in attacking Zhang Yu. The ice condensed and rushed towards Zhang Yu quickly, freezing everything in its path. Fire escape head hard. Facing the attack of ice, Zhang Yu immediately rushed forward with a fire escape. The roaring flames collided with the ice like huge waves, making bursts of collision sounds. A flame type user? Looking at the flames released by Zhang Yu, Kyuzen couldn't help but think. But is Zhang Yu really just a person with fire abilities? Thunder Escape Pseudo Darkness After the flame attack, Zhang Yu launched another attack, and a dense thunder and lightning quickly attacked Kyuzen. What? Ice Wall Seeing these thunder and lightning attacks, King Z was obviously stunned, but his reaction was also very fast, and he quickly formed a wall of ice in front of him to block the thunder and lightning attacks. Wind Escape Pressure Damage At this moment, Zhang Yu's attack came again. The high pressure wind swept across and easily defeated this ice wall. Fire Wind Thunder What kind of ability is he? Facing Zhang Yu's repeated attacks, Kyuzhen also frowned. At the same time, his body was filled with cold energy, and he controlled the ice to continue attacking Zhang Yu. Facing Kyuzen's attack, Zhang Yu showed no sign of weakness, manipulating five powers to continuously attack Kyuzen. For a time, no one could do anything to anyone. 
Kuzan is a naval admiral and a user with the frozen fruit ability. He is very powerful, there is no doubt about it. However, Zhang Yu now plays the role of Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization, who can control five powers, and his strength cannot be underestimated. Boom boom boom! The ice kept splashing, various energies kept erupting, and bursts of huge explosions kept ringing on the ice. Amazing! I really didn't expect that Kakuzu-sama could actually block the attack of the Admiral. Nami's trembling beautiful eyes looked at Zhang Yu who was fighting somewhere in disbelief. This is a Navy Admiral. The strongest combat power in the Navy. Not to mention fighting, other pirates would not be able to resist even if they heard the other party's name. And now this member of the Akatsuki organization actually withstood the attack of the Admiral. To Nami, this was simply unbelievable. But this incredible thing actually happened in front of her. Flames, thunder, and lightning, land, fire, wind. Is this the strength of the members of the Akatsuki organization? After a fierce battle, Kyuzin's expression became serious. Because Kyuzin found that Zhang Yu was very powerful, even he was not confident that he could defeat him. This was already equivalent to the strength of a naval admiral. What surprised Kyuzin even more was that the member of the Akatsuki organization in front of him could actually control five powers at the same time. Could this be the strength of Akatsuki organization members? Each one has the strength of a general. However, Kyuzin soon rejected the idea. Even the Yonko pirates cannot have such power. You are really powerful. It seems I can't capture you alive today. Since I can't catch you, I have no choice but to kill you, Kyuzin stood in the ice, looked at Zhang Yu and said. Kill me. Ha ha ha, so funny. Come if you can. I am an immortal existence, hearing Kyuzin's words, Zhang Yu laughed out loud. Do it. Kyuzin suddenly shouted. What? Zhang Yu suddenly felt that something was wrong. A black shadow suddenly appeared behind Zhang Yu, and a sharp blade passed through Zhang Yu's chest. This. When? How can this be? Zhang Yu looked at the man who attacked him in disbelief. Because Zhang Yu didn't feel the presence of this person at all. Zhang Yu didn't notice when this person came behind him, as if he appeared out of thin air. I am the sneak attacker who ate the fruit of the sneak attack. I can launch a sneak attack on the enemy in an instant, and no one can escape my attack. The sneak attacker said very confidently, and slowly pulled out the long sword from Zhang Yu's body. Zhang Yu's body lost strength and fell directly to the ground. Both the Navy and the world government attach great importance to the terrorist organization Akatsuki. When the Navy headquarters dispatched the Admiral, the world government was not idle either and also dispatched the CP organization. Among them, the one who attacked Zhang Yu was a member of the CP organization. As Zhang Yu fell, seeing the end of the battle here, the Navy and world government troops in the distance also rushed over from the ice. General Kuzan, how was the battle? The battle is over, Kuzan returned to his usual lazy self again. People from the CP organization also rushed over and surrounded Nami. Members of the Akatsuki organization are dead. Now it is your turn. After the sneak attacker from the CP organization dealt with Zhang Yu, he looked at Nami again and said. You, you, how could this happen? Lord Kakuzu is actually dead, what should I do? Facing these approaching members of the CP organization, Nami also fell into despair. Just when this human attacker was about to capture Nami, a black shadow suddenly approached and kicked him away. Rumble. The attacker flew backwards and made a big hole in the ice. What? How can this be? This person? Isn't he dead? How is he still alive? The huge movement instantly attracted everyone's attention. Everyone looked at everything in front of them with their eyes wide open in disbelief. There is no doubt that the person who knocked away the attacker was Zhang Yu, who had just died. How can this be? Isn't he already dead? Even Kyuzin saw the laziness on his face wiped away when he saw Zhang Yu standing up again. 
because he was also very sure that he had indeed killed the person from the Akatsuki organization in front of him just now. And from the damaged clothes on the chest of the Akatsuki man, it can be seen that they did succeed in the sneak attack just now. Kyuzen is also a little confused now. Kakuzu-sama. You are not dead. Nami looked at Zhang Yu in surprise and exclaimed. Hum, little girl, didn't I already tell you? I am an immortal existence. Zhang Yu said something, and then looked at the many navy ships in Kyuzen. Feeling Zhang Yu's gaze, all the navy felt terrified. It's so weird that a dead person actually came back to life. Zhang Yu slowly unbuttoned his clothes and took off his hood, revealing his body full of stitch marks. Come out, a tribute mask. The body behind Zhang Yu split open, and a face monster composed of three black tentacle groups emerged. This is the power of Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization. The heart in the body can turn into a mask monster. Each mask monster represents a kind of power. Among them, the water type heart remained in Zhang Yu's body to maintain life. There are still wind attribute mask monsters, fire attribute mask monsters, thunder attribute mask monsters, and earth attribute mask monsters. Just because of the sneak attack by the CP organization just now, the masked monster representing the earth attribute had just taken shape, and its body collapsed directly. Looking at the broken earth mask, Zhang Yu suddenly flicked out his right hand and directly caught the person who sneaked up on him. Ahem, you, what are you going to do? At this time, the attacker also became frightened and struggled in Zhang Yu's hands. As a sneak attacker, he has attacked various enemies before, but this was the first time he encountered someone who could not be killed. Since you destroyed my heart, fill it with yours. Zhang Yu's right hand pierced directly into his chest, and a living heart appeared in Zhang Yu's hand. Then a black tentacle surrounded the heart, condensing into a masked monster. And this heart also inherited the ability to sneak attack fruits. Now let you see the true power of the Akatsuki organization. Under Zhang Yu's control, the wind attribute mask monster and the fire attribute mask monster merged together. Compound ninjutsu, strange face explosive flame. The power of both masks activates at the same time. Wind assists fire, fire assists the power of wind and wind and fire merge. A huge wave of flames rushed towards all the navy. Hey, boom! The violent flames rushed towards the navy quickly. Under the blazing flames, the surrounding temperature suddenly soared. This, what kind of power is this? Ah, help! These attacks are simply not something we can resist. Facing the oncoming flames, all the navy's eyes were filled with fear. Freeze, huge ice wall! At this moment, General Aokiji took action. The ice quickly condensed and turned into an ice wall that stood in front of many navy. Boom boom boom! The flames and wind waves hit the ice wall, making roaring collision sounds. Blocked, great! General Ching Pheasant blocked the enemy's attack. Admiral Aokiji is the general of the Navy headquarters. Even if the Akatsuki organization is very powerful, he cannot be the opponent of Admiral Aokiji. Looking at the ice in front of them, all the Navy breathed a sigh of relief. But their joy was a little too early. Don't forget, Zhang Yu is releasing no ordinary flames now. It is a flame that combines wind and fire. Under the power of wind, the power of fire expands to the extreme, which is not something that simple ice can resist. Click. There was a crisp sound, and a crack appeared on the huge ice wall in front of me. Click, click. The area of the crack expanded rapidly, covering the entire ice wall. Boom. Finally, the ice wall reached its limit and exploded. Boiling flames and wind waves spewed out directly and attacked these naval forces. Ah, help! Amidst the screams, all the navy turned into ashes in the flames. Damn it, why did his flames suddenly strengthen so much? It actually defeated my ice and destroyed the entire naval fleet, Kyuzen's expression also became serious. But at this moment, a black shadow suddenly appeared behind him, 
and a black sharp blade stabbed towards his chest. Bad, elementalization. Cusin's reaction was also very fast, his body quickly shattered into a piece of ice, and he luckily escaped the sneak attack. Then in another place, they quickly assembled. This is... The ability to sneak attack fruits. Could it be that he can still take away the power of the devil fruit? Looking at the black masked monster that sneaked up on him, and feeling the power of the sneak attack on him just now, Cusin thought in horror. Is it a natural devil fruit? What a trouble. However, I just don't know that your ice blocks the fire. Under Zhang Yu's control, the wind mask and fire mask monsters attacked Cusin again. The blazing flames and wind swept towards him with blazing heat. Hateful. Facing this kind of flame attack, Cusin did not dare to resist forcefully and could only dodge quickly. Although Cusin is a user with the frozen fruit ability, he has the power to restrain fire. But this kind of restraint also depends on what kind of flame it is and how powerful the flame is. In the face of ordinary flames, the power of frozen fruit does have a very powerful restraint ability. But when faced with a flame that was more powerful than him, this power of restraint would be reversed. Now the fierce flames have completely restrained Cusin's frozen fruit ability. Cusin had no other option but to dodge. But don't forget, in addition to the flames, there are also thunder and lightning mask monsters. Thunder escape pseudo darkness. An extremely fast lightning struck Cusin, who had just avoided it. At this time, Cusin had just dodged the flames and had no time to dodge, and thunder and lightning are famous for their speed. Tear, blast. Ah. Cusin was directly hit by lightning and couldn't help but scream. His whole body was scorched by the electricity, and the navy commander on his body also became scorched black. Damn it. This guy is actually so powerful. The strength of the Akatsuki organization behind him is probably even more amazing. With such a powerful member, and hiding it so deeply, things in the Akatsuki organization may become more and more troublesome. It may even be beyond their navy's guess. It seems like I have to use all my strength this time. Kyuzen's face became solemn, and he grabbed the charred naval commander with his right hand and flicked it hard. The burnt navy commander turned into powder in mid-air. At the same time, Cusin's whole body was filled with cold air, and the biting cold air suddenly caused the temperature around him to rise to more than 10 degrees. Ice Age With Cusin as the center, the surrounding cold air erupted. The cold air turned into biting ice and spread rapidly towards Zhang Yu. Along the way, even the air turned white, as if the air was frozen. Welcome. Wind, thunder, fire, final shot. Facing Cusin's fierce attack, under the control of Zhang Yu, the three resentful masks of wind, fire, and thunder merged together. Three completely different powers of wind, fire, and thunder merged together. The strong wind swept the flames, mixed with thunder and lightning, and turned into a violent impact, rushing towards Cusin's ice. Boom, boom, boom. The two collided together, and a huge roar sounded continuously. The powerful attack between the two caused the entire area to shake. Countless terrifying thunder and lightning and flames mixed with ice erupted in all directions. Countless ice, flames, and thunder and lightning are raging here. Huge visual impact, making people feel scared. Boom! Finally, there was a huge explosion, and the impact between the two ended. Ahem, is it over? Nami, who was hiding in the dark, felt that the battle here was over, and then she dared to come out. Who's winning? He should be an admiral. That's an admiral. Can I take advantage of the opportunity and run away? Nami thought inwardly. However, someone unexpected appeared in front of her. Little girl, what are you doing here? It's time to go. Keep making money with me. It's, Kakuzusama, Nami responded and immediately followed. Malinfando, Navy Headquarters. In the highest conference room, the three generals of the Navy, Navy Marshal Sengoku, Navy Heroes, 
and senior officials above Vice Admiral all gathered here. The entire conference room was filled with a solemn atmosphere, which made people breathless. Everyone, look at me and I look at you. Everyone's face is very solemn. Even Garp, who is usually calm, his expression became very serious at this time. They still can't believe that the most powerful admiral in the Navy, Admiral Aoki Pheasant, was actually defeated. Some time ago, General Akainu was defeated and his mission failed. Unexpectedly, General King Z was defeated again, and the mission also failed. What's more important is that the two people who defeated them were both members of the Akatsuki organization. Among the three Navy generals, two have been defeated by members of the Akatsuki organization. This is a serious blow to the Navy. In the solemn atmosphere, Navy Marshal Sengoku was the first to speak. Looking at Ching Pheasant, he asked with concern. Ching Pheasant, your injury doesn't matter. I saw that although Ching Pheasant had changed clothes at this time, hideous scars could still be seen under the clothes, and blood was constantly seeping out. Just a little injury. Ching Ji said nonchalantly, but the laziness on his face had disappeared, and instead he looked solemn. Zhang Yu's final attack was so powerful that not even his eyes could block it. If he hadn't run faster, he might not be sitting here now. Aokiji, what do you think of the member of the Akatsuki organization you met this time, Warring States asked Ching Pheasant. This person is called Kakuzu, a member of the Akatsuki organization, and he is very powerful. Able to use multiple powers at the same time, and more importantly, he cannot kill. Possess the ability to steal other people's devil fruits. King Zi briefly explained the battle process. After hearing what Ching Zhi said, everyone present frowned. What does it mean to be unkillable? Plunder devil fruit abilities. Everyone was a little shocked and looked at Ching Pheasant in confusion. That's right, it just can't be killed. I saw with my own eyes that members of his CP organization were killed in a sneak attack, but they came back to life again. At the same time, he killed members of the CP organization and took away his devil fruit ability, Ching Ji said with great certainty. Can't be killed. The ability to seize the devil fruit. After confirming King Z's words again, everyone present was in an uproar. Are there any unkillable people in the sea? Get the devil fruit. This is too unbelievable. You know, in the Navy headquarters, many of the Navy's strongest men are devil fruit users. The three generals of the Navy are natural devil fruit users. Even the current Navy Marshal Sengoku is a devil fruit user himself. If this person really has the ability to capture devil fruit, this is too great a threat to their Navy. Could this be the power of Akatsuki members? Each one has a general, even as powerful as the four emperors, Lieutenant General he said in a deep tone. Yanko. Everyone in the conference room took a breath of cold air. The Admiral of the Navy Headquarters corresponds to the four emperors in the pirate world. Except for Whitebeard, any general in the Navy Headquarters can fight against the four pirate emperors. And now that Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization can defeat General Aokiji, there is no doubt that this is the strength of the four emperors. In this sea, except for the Navy and the world government, even the pirates of the four emperors do not have a combat power exceeding the level of two generals. But now, the Akatsuki organization has at least two general-level combat capabilities. Thinking about it, they all feel terrified. What's more important is that this Akatsuki organization is hiding in the dark and is carrying out ulterior conspiracy. When I thought about it, an Akatsuki organization with the strength of at least two generals was hiding in the dark and peeping at everything on the sea. Even Sengoku, the naval marshal, couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. Damn the Akatsuki organization, we must not let him continue like this, this organization must be eliminated immediately. Akainu stood up from his seat with a gloomy expression, the rolling lava in his hand ready to move. Akainu was once defeated by pain of the Akatsuki organization, so he hated the people of the Akatsuki organization. The Akatsuki organization is really too mysterious. 
we still haven't figured out the information about the Akatsuki organization. And this organization has the strength of at least two generals. A single general cannot defeat the members of the Akatsuki organization, warring states looked serious and said in a stiff tone. Should we just let this organization wreak havoc on the sea, Akina roared with anger flashing in his eyes. Whether it's killing a celestial dragon or robbing heavenly gold, this is an unforgivable crime. We must catch this member of the Akatsuki organization as soon as possible. Find out everything about Akatsuki organization. Warring states rubbed his sore eyebrows and said firmly. The emergence and powerful strength of the Akatsuki organization has seriously threatened the navy and the world government. Moreover, the Akatsuki organization is full of mystery. The navy has no clue how many members, how many people there are in the Akatsuki organization, and what their purpose is. In order to investigate all this, they must also capture this member of the Akatsuki organization. So what if this person is powerful? Since he cannot be defeated with the strength of a naval admiral, then send more troops. For the sake of justice for the navy, the members of the Akatsuki organization must be defeated. He was offered a reward for killing the celestial dragons and robbing the heavenly gold. Bounty of three billion berry, while spreading his ability to take away devil fruits. Kizaru, you lead eight vice admirals and two generals as substitutes to capture this person. A substitute for an admiral is a person in the navy who has the strength of an admiral but cannot become an admiral due to lack of merit. Two generals are sent as substitutes, which is equivalent to the strength of two generals. The navy with the strength of three generals was dispatched at the same time, which shows that the navy attaches great importance to the members of the Akatsuki organization. A wanted notice quickly spread throughout the sea. The contents of this wanted poster once again caused the sea to boil. Are you offering a reward for a new member of the Akatsuki organization? Akatsuki organization Kakuzu. Holy shit! Did I read that right? Three billion berries. Am I dazzled? This is the world government getting kicked in the head by a donkey. The people in the Akatsuki organization are too bold. Killed the celestial dragon again, and now robbed the heavenly gold. Everyone who got the wanted order felt incredible when they saw the wanted content on it. Some time ago, they had just seen the wanted order from the Akatsuki organization with a bounty of five billion. Unexpectedly, just one month later, another wanted order for members of the Akatsuki organization appeared. Although the bounty this time is only three billion belly, it is still shocking enough. In addition to representing the danger of this person, the bounty also represents the strength. The bounty of three billion berries is already close to the bounty of many Yonko, which means that this new member of the Akatsuki organization at least has the strength of a general. More importantly, this member of the Akatsuki organization actually killed the Tianlong people again and robbed the heavenly gold. This is something that even the Yonko pirates would not dare to do easily. Could it be that the target of the Akatsuki organization is the world government or the celestial dragons? Otherwise, how could it attack the celestial dragons three times and four times? The Akatsuki organization is really awesome. I want to join the Xia organization. You're right. Our pirate team will also join. As long as we can be protected by the Akatsuki organization, no one on the sea will dare to provoke us. You're right, I want to join the Akatsuki organization too. The costumes of the Akatsuki organization seem to be red clouds and black clothes, and we also wear this kind of clothes. I want my pirate flag to look like this too. In the world of One Piece, as long as you are strong, many people will follow you. For example, the Yonko of the New World are very powerful, so many pirate groups are attached to the Yonko pirate group. Now that the Akatsuki organization has shown super strength, many pirates want to join the Akatsuki organization. But they can join the Akatsuki organization if they want to. After defeating Admiral Ching Pheasant, Zhang Yu is still looking for ways to make money on the sea. Lord Kakuzu, Look, this is your reward order. The bounty is three billion belly. That's a lot of money, 
Nami looked at the bounty in the newspaper and said in surprise. Three billion? Not bad, Zhang Yu took one look at the reward order and lost interest. But at this moment, a group of ships suddenly appeared on the distant sea. There were more than a dozen ships, each of which was flying a black flag with red clouds. Lord Kakuzu, look, there are many ships coming ahead. Red cloud and black flag. Could this be the power of the Akatsuki organization? Nami asked Zhang Yu. Haha, our Akatsuki organization is not something that these rubbish can join, Zhang Yu glanced at the rapidly approaching pirate group and said with disdain. These pirate groups were very fast, and soon they all stopped in front of Zhang Yu. Countless pirates swarmed in front of Zhang Yu. You must be Kakuzusama. We want to join the Akatsuki organization. Yes. Lord Kakuzu, please let us be your companions. We have even prepared the clothes of the Akatsuki organization. One by one, the ferocious pirates came to Zhang Yu and said. The world of One Piece is such a world where the strong are respected. For example, Luffy in the original book gained countless fans just because he defeated several Shishibukai. The character of the Akatsuki organization played by Zhang Yu now directly killed the Celestial Dragons, robbed the Heavenly Gold, and even defeated the Navy Admiral. This kind of powerful power and strength has been admired by countless people. Do you all want to join the Akatsuki organization? Zhang Yu looked at the people in front of him and said with great disdain. Yes, Kakuzusama, please let us join the Akatsuki organization, one by one, the pirates looked at Zhang Yu and said urgently, as if they were afraid that Zhang Yu would disagree. The Akatsuki organization is not something that ordinary people can join. It depends on your strength, Zhang Yu said looking at the sea in the distance. I saw a group of naval warships appearing on the sea in the distance. These naval warships were all chasing these pirates. Now the Akatsuki organization has become the Navy's number one target. Therefore, if there is any information about the Akatsuki organization, the Navy will take quick action. Now that so many pirates are wearing the clothes of the Akatsuki organization, how can the Navy not pay attention? This is the Navy. Boys. I'll get on board and let these navies see how powerful we are. That's right, destroy these marines and join the Akatsuki organization. One by one, the pirates quickly boarded the ship and attacked the pursuing navy warships. Attack, eliminate these pirates. Seeing the approaching pirates, the navy warship also immediately launched an attack. For a time, artillery roared on the sea, and various explosions continued to sound. Although the number of these pirates is very alarming, no matter in terms of combat power or ships, these pirates are no match for the navy at all. Soon these pirates collapsed, and they kept running away one by one, calling for help from Zhang Yu. Help! Kakuzusama, help me! We are members of the Akatsuki organization, hurry up and save us! Faced with these calls for help, Zhang Yu did not take action but was very disdainful. What rubbish! With such strength, you are not qualified to join our Akatsuki organization. You'd better go to hell. Fire escape head hard. Zhang Yu ignored these pirates and launched an attack directly. The blazing flames boiled on the sea, swallowing up the pirates and rushing towards the navy. Ah, help! No, why did Kakuzusama want to kill us? Amidst the screams, all the pirates and navy turned into ashes. However, at this moment, a system voice sounded. Congratulations to the host, the Akatsuki organization has achieved 50% progress in role-playing, and the companion summoning quota has been activated. A system sound suddenly sounded, making Zhang Yu stunned. Zhang Yu never thought that killing these pirates would actually improve his acting progress so much. But it makes sense to think about it, Zhang Yu is now playing the role of the Akatsuki organization. In addition to his love for money, Kakuzu also has a hobby, which is often killing companions during missions. Kakuzu's proficiency has improved, his strength has become stronger, and he has the ability to summon a companion. 
Companion call. What does it mean? Zhang Yu asked strangely in his heart. Ding, every role-playing character will receive a quota for companion summons when the role-playing progress reaches 50%. The system's voice rang in Zhang Yu's mind, and he explained to Zhang Yu. Extract related characters from the role-playing characters. Summon and play? The sound of the system fell, and Zhang Yu had a general understanding of this companion summons. In his previous life, Zhang Yu had read countless novels. Zhang Yu was no stranger to this summoning ability. In general, Zhang Yu's performance progress had increased to 50% and he had received a summons. Companion Opportunities if it looks like this, the system has become more powerful. Just when Zhang Yu was excited, Nami next to Zhang Yu looked at Zhang Yu in horror. Lord Kakuzu, you actually killed these pirates. Aren't they your companions? Companion. Haha, <laughs> how can this kind of trash be my companion, Zhang Yu said with great disdain. These pirates are not good at all, so kill them. But Nami didn't know that her whole body trembled when she heard Zhang Yu's words. Nami is following Kakuzu now, and she is also afraid that she will be suddenly killed by Kakuzu. And Nami wants to leave, but she can't leave now. In Nami's hand, she holds a high-value arrest warrant with a bounty of 100 million, and this warrant is her bounty. Wanted, Nami. Charge assisting members of the Akatsuki organization to kill the celestial dragons and rob the heavenly gold. Bounty, 100 million berry. The first time a bounty was offered, a bounty of 100 million was obtained, which is also very amazing. If it were an ordinary pirate, he would probably be excited by now. But Nami couldn't be happy at all. Because she is just an ordinary person, with no fighting ability at all, and her only specialty is navigation. The only way Nami could think of was to join the Akatsuki organization and get the protection of the Akatsuki organization. But now seeing Kakuzu killing these pirates without hesitation, Nami became uneasy again. Will Jade City suddenly kill her? Haha, <laughs> little girl, don't worry. You are still of some use to me now, and I also prefer people who like money, seeing Nami's worried look. Zhang Yu said with a smile. After hearing Zhang Yu's words, Nami finally felt relieved. It seems that I don't have to die without knowing why. Kakuzu-sama, I don't know what kind of companion you need, Nami looked at Zhang Yu and asked again. Well, if you want to be my companion, you must at least be unkillable, Zhang Yu went on to say. Can't be killed. How can this be? Do you think everyone is as weird as you are? Nami thought inwardly. Nothing is impossible. My companion has arrived, Zhang Yu looked into the distance and said, while using companion summons. Ding, congratulations on using companion summons. Obtain Haydn from Akatsuki organization. As the sound of the system fell, a figure walked over from a distance. Wearing the clothes of the Akatsuki organization, he has a grey slicked back hair and holds a huge scythe in his hand. There is no doubt that this is Haydn of the Akatsuki organization. As soon as Haydn appeared, the information on Zhang Yu's system panel also changed. Companion call. Akatsuki Haydn. Current play progress, 5%. Possessing abilities, immortality, spell and death based on blood. Now Zhang Yu feels like playing a game with both hands open. Although Zhang Yu is now playing the role of Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization, everything about Haydn of the Akatsuki organization is also under Zhang Yu's control. Haha. <laughs> Kakuzu, you are indeed here waiting for me. Let's go quickly. I want to preach evil gods. Everything on the sea has been dedicated to the evil god. Haydn came to Zhang Yu chattering like a chatterbox. Haydn, you talk too much nonsense. A long sword appeared in Zhang Yu's hand and slashed directly at Haydn's neck. Tear apart. There was a tearing sound, and Haydn's head flew backwards. Ah, Kakuzu-sama killed another comrade, Nami screamed in surprise when she saw Zhang Yu directly chop off Haydn's head. 
but what happened next made Nami even more shocked. Haydn's head fell to the ground and rolled around a few times before he started yelling at Zhang Yu. Bastard, Kakuzu, what are you doing? You don't know this hurts. Seeing Haydn's head still pointing at Kakuzu-sama as if nothing was wrong, Nami had a look of panic on her face. This. How can this be? My brain actually spoke. Nami looked at the talking head in panic. Even Zhang Yu was secretly amazed when he looked at Haydn's head. Is this the ability that Haydn can't kill? It is indeed very magical. Haydn cursed a lot, but after realizing that it had no effect, he immediately changed his tone. Kakuzu, I was wrong. Kakuzu-chan, hurry up and push my head back for me. Snort, Zhang Yu grabbed Haydn's head and pressed his head to his body. At the same time, a black tentacle appeared in his hand and sewed his head to his neck. Still have a comfortable body, after attaching the head, Haydn moved his body and said. There are really people who cannot be killed, Nami's eyes widened and she looked at Haydn in disbelief. Nami originally thought Kakuzu was joking when he said he wanted to find an unkillable teammate. But she never imagined that there are really people who cannot be killed. Let's go, keep making money. Zhang Yu said something and walked away. Haha, I want to dedicate everything in the sea to the evil god, Haydn said with a laugh while holding the scythe. Akatsuki organized the immortal duo and officially appeared on the sea. Since Zhang Yu destroyed these pirate groups as Kakuto, other pirate groups have also understood that the Akatsuki organization is not something they can join if they want to. No one dared to wear the clothes of the Akatsuki organization without permission anymore. At the same time, information about Kakuzu was quickly spread to the New World and appeared in the hands of the four emperors. Oh my god! Look! The Akatsuki organization appeared in the newspaper again, a new member of the Akatsuki organization. Akatsuki's Kakuto, with a bounty of three billion berry. Marco, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, looked at the wanted notice for Kakuzu in the newspaper and shouted in shock. His voice quickly attracted the attention of other squad captains, and all of them looked towards the newspapers. Akatsuki Organization Is that the guy who offered a bounty of five billion belly some time ago? Another member of the Akatsuki Organization actually appeared, and the first bounty was three billion berries. Killing the celestial dragons and robbing the heavenly gold, this is too bold. Could it be that the purpose of this Akatsuki organization is the Tianlong people? The other squad captains also looked at the information in the newspaper in shock. They had just seen the wanted notice for members of the Akatsuki organization some time ago, with a bounty of five billion belly, which had already caught up with their father Whitebeard. Unexpectedly, not long after, another wanted order for a member of the Akatsuki organization appeared. Although it is not as exaggerated as 5 billion berries, the bounty of 3 billion berries is enough to shock them. You know, even their squad captains only have a bounty of over a billion. In other words, the current strength of the Akatsuki Kakuzu members has completely surpassed all their division captains. Look, the Kakuzu ability of this Akatsuki organization seems to be the devil fruit ability that can plunder other people. A squad leader seemed to have discovered something interesting and shouted. What? Steal other people's devil fruit abilities. A man suddenly jumped out from the crowd, grabbed the newspaper and read it. What's wrong? Teach, are you interested in members of the Akatsuki organization? Seeing this person coming out, Marco asked curiously. Ahem, I'm worried about you. You are all devil fruit users and may become targets of Akatsuki members, this person said with a harmless look on his face. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, although the Akatsuki organization is very powerful, our whitebeard pirates are not vegetarians either. Dad is an invincible being, Marco and the others said nonchalantly. Marshal D. Teach, the future blackbeard. It's just that he is still hiding his strength now, hiding himself from the whitebeard pirates looking for a powerful devil fruit. Teach has read the devil fruit encyclopedia, so he knows the shapes and abilities of various fruits. Among them, 
Tiki most wanted to get the dark fruit, because this fruit can take away the abilities of other fruits and can restrain the abilities of other devil fruits. Possessing the power of the dark fruit is equivalent to having the power to restrain those with all devil fruit powers. But now that he heard that the Akatsuki organization can take away devil fruit abilities, the first thing Teach thought of was whether this person had obtained the darkness fruit ability that he had dreamed of. It really can take away devil fruit abilities. After reading the wanted notice from Kakuzu, Tikai could not help but frown, and started to make a new plan in his mind. Dad, Xiao's organization is really too mysterious. Moreover, Every member of the Akatsuki organization has such strong strength, shouldn't we also pay attention to it? Teach looked at Whitebeard and said. Um. Such a mysterious organization suddenly appeared on the sea. You should really pay attention to it. Now that Teach is interested in the Akatsuki organization, you should investigate it. Whitebeard said it indifferently and continued drinking there. It's, Dad. Teach received the order and left the Whitebeard Pirates. Not only the Whitebeard Pirates, but also several other Yonko Pirates also sent investigators to investigate the Akatsuki organization. First, a strong man with a bounty of 5 billion appeared, and now another man with a bounty of 30 appeared. It can be said that with the strength of these two people alone, the Akatsuki organization has surpassed the power of the Yonko Pirates. Now that such a powerful force suddenly appeared on the sea, even the Yonko pirates had to pay attention. As for what Zhang Yu was doing to cause all this. At this time, Zhang Yu was still making money, or to be precise, he planned to steal the money. Lord Kakuzu, are we really going to find the Golden City? It is said that the Lord of the Golden City is the Golden Emperor Gilder Tizalo, and he is very powerful, Nami said worriedly. After several battles, Nami is no longer a novice pirate, and has a certain understanding of the major forces in the sea. Humph, what qualifications does the Golden Emperor have to have so much money? This money should be mine, Zhang Yu said with gleaming eyes. After robbing the heavenly gold, Zhang Yu found a new target for robbery, and that was the Golden Emperor Gilder Tetsalo. The Golden Emperor Gilder Tizaro, a user with the Golden Fruit ability, is said to control 20% of the berry in the world. If I get this money, I might be able to instantly increase the proficiency of Akatsuki organization Kakuzu to 100%. And Zhang Yu is also very interested in the power of the Jinjin fruit. Kakuzu can just dig out his heart and get this devil fruit power. Nami, navigate to the Golden City immediately, Zhang Yu said to Nami. It's, Kakuzu-sama. I hope we can get out of the Golden City alive, although Nami was reluctant, she still followed Zhang Yu's order and determined the route to the Golden City. Although Nami's strength is not very good, her navigation skills are still very good. With Nami as a navigator, we soon arrived at the Golden City. This is a huge ship, an extremely huge ship that looks like a moving island from a distance. This is the Tetsalo of the City of Gold. It is as golden as if it were made of gold. This, is so big. Are these all made of gold, looking at the golden city in front of her, Nami said with shining eyes. It sure looks like it's all made of gold. This city will be mine soon, Zhang Yu also said excitedly. If you get all this money, you can definitely improve your proficiency a lot. Money is no good, I want to dedicate everything here to the evil god. Haydn said with an enthusiastic look on his face. Haydn has an immortal body, and apart from that, he is very fanatical about evil gods. Therefore, the way to improve flying Dan proficiency is to sacrifice. Haydn's Shiji relies on his blood to continuously kill enemies. Each time you kill an enemy, your proficiency increases by a few points. As Zhang Yu and their ships slowly sailed into the Golden City, Golden rain fell from the sky, and at the same time, the surrounding sea water turned golden. This, this is all gold dust. This is really a golden city, I'm rich. Looking at the gold around her, Nami's eyes turned into money. Just when Zhang Yu's ship entered the golden city, a huge pirate group rushed over. Hurry up and hand over your money. 
the pirates on the boat shouted loudly at Zhang Yu. You actually want to rob me of my money, you are just looking for death. Fire escape head hard. Seeing the pirate ship rushing towards him, Zhang Yu directly used fire release to greet it. Hey, boom. The powerful flames directly turned the pirate ship into ashes along with the pirates on the ship. The huge explosion here quickly attracted the attention of other ships. Look. The clothes of the two men on that ship. Red clouds and black clothes. Could it be that they are members of the Akatsuki organization? That's right, it's him, Akatsuki organization Kakuza with a bounty of three billion berry. What are the people from the Xia organization doing in Golden City? Are they going to attack the Golden City? This is impossible. The owner of the Golden City is the Golden Emperor. He is a master of both black and white. He controls 20% of the berry in the world. Even the four emperors dare not take action against him easily. The Akatsuki organization is now the most famous organization on the sea. Killing the celestial dragons, robbing the heavenly gold, and defeating the navy admiral are all difficult for anyone who doesn't know the Akatsuki organization. The emergence of the Akatsuki organization quickly alarmed the people in the Golden City. As soon as Zhang Yu landed in the Golden City, a tall and sexy beauty with orange-red hair appeared in front of Zhang Yu. This person is none other than the receptionist of the Golden City, the lucky fruit user, Bakala. The three of them should be members of the Akatsuki organization. Welcome to Golden City, let me receive you, Bakara said very respectfully, and at the same time, a gold vehicle stopped in front of Zhang Yu. Everyone, please get on board. Wow! a car made entirely of gold. This is so luxurious. There are actually drinks, Nami got into the car excitedly, and Zhang Yu and Haydn also got in the car. Along the way, Bakara introduced the Golden City, and Nami kept exclaiming along the way. But Zhang Yu and Haydn didn't have any interest. Because in Zhang Yu's hands, the entire Golden City's gold will belong to him sooner or later and Haydn is only interested in sacrificing to the evil god. Under the leadership of Bakara, Zhang Yu and the others quickly arrived at the central VIP area. This is the first time we have members of the Akatsuki organization here. I wonder if you need help, Bakala looked at Zhang Yu and the others and asked. Haha, no need. Because the entire Golden City will soon be mine, Zhang Yu looked at everything golden in front of him and said. Hee <laughs> hee. Are you really good at telling me that the entire Golden City belongs to the Golden Emperor? Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Bakala smiled and said. The Golden Emperor will no longer be there soon. Fire escape head hard. Zhang Yu launched an attack directly. The huge explosion echoed throughout the Golden City, and the powerful impact destroyed everything around it. What are you doing? In the Golden City, force is strictly used. Guards stopped them. At this time, Bakara also realized that something was wrong, her face suddenly turned ugly, and she immediately notified the guards of the Golden City. A group of guards rushed towards Zhang Yu and the others. Ahaha! I'm about to take action. I'm going to sacrifice all of you to the God of Death. Haydn held his scythe and attacked these guards. At the highest point of the Golden City, the Golden Emperor Gilder Tizalo is sitting. At this time, the Golden Emperor lost his usual arrogance, and instead looked very serious. Because sitting in front of him was a naval admiral, Admiral Kizaru. Behind General Kizaru, there are two substitute generals, Lieutenant General Chato and Lieutenant General Momo, as well as several vice admirals. Admiral, I don't know why you come to my Golden City. The Golden Emperor looked at Kizaru and asked warily. Although the Golden Emperor believed that he was powerful and could even use the power of the world government, he still did not dare to be arrogant in front of the Admiral. Gilder Tetsalo, don't be so afraid. We are just waiting for someone in your Golden City, Kizaru said lazily with a wretched look on his face. Who? Golden Emperor asked. Member of Akatsuki Organization, Kizaru said. Akatsuki organization. How could they come back to my golden city, 
the Golden Emperor frowned. He also knew something about the Akatsuki organization. This is a powerful and mysterious organization. According to our Navy's analysis, Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization likes money very much. Sooner or later, you, the Golden Emperor, will be targeted by people from the Akatsuki organization, Kizaru said. Akatsuki organization. Hum, the Golden City is my territory. If people from the Akatsuki organization dare to come. Before the Golden Emperor finished speaking, a huge explosion sounded, and the surrounding area shook violently. Damn, what happened? The sudden movement made the Golden Emperor furious. Report sir, the Golden City has been attacked. It was done by people from the Akatsuki organization. The guards of the Golden City, the people with the ability to penetrate the fruit emerged from the ground and reported to the Golden Emperor. What? Akatsuki Organization Bastard, you actually dare to come and cause trouble in my Golden City, the angry Golden Emperor walked out with heavy steps. Golden City is your own territory. No matter what Akatsuki Organization it is, you must abide by its rules as long as you come to Golden City. Anyone who dares to violate the regulations of the Golden City will pay the price. General Kizaru, the Akatsuki organization has appeared, should we take action too? Lieutenant General Chato asked Kizaru. Hey, it's too early to act now. Let the Golden Emperor fight him first. We need to understand the power of the members of the Akatsuki organization, Kizaru stood up and walked towards the window. Although Kizaru looks very lazy and shrunken, his strength and combat experience are very rich. He also knew very well that to be able to defeat Akainu and Aokiji, the Akatsuki organization was very powerful. Before figuring out the power of the Akatsuki organization, let the Golden Emperor try out the power of the Akatsuki organization. It would be best if the members of the Akatsuki organization can defeat both sides of the Golden Emperor, so that their navy can reap the benefits. Boom boom boom. A series of explosions continued to sound, and Zhang Yu had completely entered a fighting state. Four masked monsters emerged from the body and were destroying the Golden City. Haydn, on the other hand, also waved his scythe towards the rushing guards. Damn it, people from the Akatsuki organization, how dare you destroy my Golden City? Anyone who dares to destroy my Golden City will die. Looking at the Golden City that had changed beyond recognition, the Golden Emperor was also very angry. Because of his anger, the Golden Emperor also activated the power of his Golden Fruit, and the surrounding one-year gold surged like liquid. Are you the Golden Emperor? Control the power of gold. Hand over all your abilities and money, Zhang Yu looked at the Golden Emperor and said with gleaming eyes. Wow, your whole body is golden. I must sacrifice you to the evil god, Haydn also stared at the Golden Emperor with excited eyes and said. Bastards, you two, go to hell, seeing Zhang Yu and Haydn staring at him as if they were commodities, the Golden Emperor was immediately angry and controlled the surrounding gold to launch an attack. Golden Ocean The surrounding gold boiled like liquid, forming a golden ocean and rushing directly towards Zhang Yu. The Golden Emperor is a user with the Golden Fruit ability, and has developed the Fruit ability to the point of awakening. Therefore, everything around him can be turned into gold for attack. Fire Escape Head Hard Facing the huge wave of flames, the masked monster representing the fire attribute rushed forward. A sheet of boiling flames directly blocked the oncoming sea of gold. Thunder Escape Pseudo Darkness After the fire attack, the thunder attribute mask rushed over again. A cloud of thunder and lightning attacks the Golden Emperor. Ah! The violent thunder and lightning hit him directly, and the Golden Emperor screamed and flew backwards. Although the Golden Emperor with the ability to awaken the fruit is very powerful, Kakuzu's power is even more powerful. Therefore, after just a few moves in the fight, the Golden Emperor was already at a disadvantage. Damn it! How is this possible, the Golden Emperor struggled to stand up from the ruins and looked at Kakuzu in disbelief. Ever since he obtained the Golden Fruit, he has never been so completely defeated. 
now your ability is mine. Sneak attack fruits, earthly resentment. The masked monster representing the ability of the sneak attack fruit suddenly appeared behind the golden emperor, and the black blade pierced directly into his chest. Ah! With a scream, the black blade in the masked monster's hand turned into a tentacle, directly breaking open the golden emperor's chest. A beating heart was dug out. Then countless black tentacles wrapped the heart, turning it into a monster with a golden mask. Gold Fruit Ability Successful Plunder The characters played by Zhang Yu all gained the power of the golden fruit. And seeing Zhang Yu kill the golden emperor so easily, the navy who were watching the battle from a distance were all shocked. What? The golden emperor died like this. How can this be? The golden emperor has the same power as the Shishibukai. These navy were also very surprised when they saw the completely dead golden emperor. Although the golden emperor does not have the strength of a general, he is still a strong man on the sea, at least as powerful as the Shishibukai. Even they, the vice admirals, had no confidence that they could defeat the golden emperor. And such a powerful golden emperor was actually killed by Zhang Yu in an instant. Moreover, Zhang Yu's speed is so fast that even the navy like them would not be able to rescue the golden emperor in time. General Kizaru, what should we do now? The golden emperor was actually beheaded like this, the other marines looked towards Kizaru. Is this the power of the Akatsuki organization? It's really scary. And it looks different from the intelligence. This time there are two members of the Akatsuki organization. Kizaru looked at Kakuzu and Haydn and said with fear on their faces. According to the intelligence, Kakuzu has the ability to die. Let's deal with another member of the Akatsuki organization first. Clear. All the navies moved quickly. Seeing Zhang Yu directly kill the Golden Emperor, Haydn was not happy and started yelling somewhere. Kakuzu, what are you doing? Why did you suddenly kill him directly? I want to sacrifice him to the evil god. But at this moment, a figure suddenly appeared behind Haydn, and a stream of light struck directly at Haydn. Haydn didn't even have a chance to react, his head flew straight away. The members of the Akatsuki organization were killed by us so easily. The Navy substitute, Vice Admiral Mamoto, looked at Haydn's headless body and felt very surprised. From its emergence to the present, the Akatsuki organization has been known for its power and terror. When Peach Rabbit and Chato attacked Haydn secretly, she didn't think she would succeed. She was already prepared for a fierce battle. But what she never expected was that she could cut off the head of this member of the Akatsuki organization so easily. It seems that not everyone in the Akatsuki organization is strong. The Navy substitute, Lieutenant General T. Dolphin, also said with some surprise. Just when Peach Rabbit and T. Dolphin took action, the other Marines were not idle either and directly surrounded Zhang Yu. Navy? Looking at the people surrounding him, Zhang Yu frowned. Yo-yo. People from the Akatsuki organization, now you have no way to escape, and your teammates are dead. Can you surrender? Kizaru looked at Zhang Yu with a confident look on his face. Haha, I think you got the order wrong. The last thing you should do is attack Haydn first, Zhang Yu looked at the surrounding navy and said indifferently. Um. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, all the navy around them frowned. It was obvious that they did not understand what Zhang Yu meant. Another member of the Akatsuki organization has been killed, and their navy has gained an absolute advantage. Ah, bastard. It hurts so much. You damn things. At this time, a burst of curses started, and Haydn's head was yelling at the navy. What? How can this be? Isn't he dead? The head can actually talk. All the navy looked at Kakuzu in shock as he was yelling curses. Although in the world of One Piece, there are various magical devil fruits. But this was the first time they had seen someone who could still curse after his head was cut off. Kakuzu, don't stand there in a daze. Come on, save me, I'm going to sacrifice these bastards to the evil god, Haydn's head screamed somewhere. What a trouble, 
Zhang Yu complained, and attacked the tea dolphin and the peach rabbit, forcing them back in an instant and grabbing Haydn's head. Ah, it hurts so much. Don't pull my hair. My hair is messed up, Haydn's head was in Zhang Yu's hand and he shouted. Shut up. Zhang Yu cursed and pushed Haydn's head directly onto his body. This was not the first time for Zhang Yu to install Haydn's head, so he was familiar with it, and soon Haydn took control of his body again. You two bastards! How dare you sneak attack me, now I will sacrifice you two to the god of death! Haydn moved his body, holding the scythe, and looked at Momo Yusajai and Otani angrily. As for the navy, when they saw the intact Haydn, they were all shocked. This, could this be the strength of the Akatsuki organization? Are they all immortal beings? How to fight this? Are everyone in the Akatsuki organization monsters? Now all the marines' forehead's were covered with sweat, and they looked at Kakuzu and Haydn in shock. According to their intelligence, Kakuzu is a person who is difficult to kill. Unexpectedly, another person who cannot be killed appears now. For a moment, the Navy really didn't know how to fight. Even Kizaru now has a huge headache when facing these unkillable enemies. Go to hell! Wielding his huge scythe, Haydn attacked Momo Yusajai and Otani. Peach Rabbit and Tea Dolphin are Navy substitutes, and they can be said to be very powerful. Among them, Dao Tu holds a famous sword and is a powerful swordsman. Every time he attacks, there will be a fierce sword energy. The Tea Dolphin is a master of physical skills, and is very skilled in the use of the sixth form of the navy and the armed color Haki. The powerful attacks of the two fell on Haydn's body, blood spattered and left a series of hideous wounds. If an ordinary person suffered such a violent attack, he would be seriously injured even if he did not die. But Haydn acted as if nothing was wrong and continued to attack the two of them with his scythe. On the other side, Zhang Yu, who played Kakuzu, also fought with Kizaru and other vice admirals. Zhang Yu controlled four black masked monsters and launched a fierce attack on the navy. Fire escape head hard. Wind escape pressure damage. The strong wind swept the flames, like a huge wave of flames, sweeping towards the navy. Everything along the way was swallowed up by the flames and turned into ashes. What a powerful attack! Hurry and dodge! Is this the power of the Akatsuki organization? It's really amazing! Faced with such a fire attack, the navy quickly evaded. Want to run? Golden Ocean! Seeing the navy that was constantly dodging, the monster ability of the Golden Mask was activated immediately. All the gold around surged up, instantly surrounding these navy. This is the ability of the Golden Emperor. How is this going? Isn't he dead? Damn, this person from the Akatsuki organization can indeed plunder other people's devil fruits. He took away the power of the Golden Emperor. Just when these navy were surprised, the Thunder Mask monster rushed up. Thunder Escape Pseudo Darkness the violent thunder and lightning, accompanied by the golden ocean, tilted towards these navy. A series of screams rang out, and all the vice admirals were scorched to death by electricity. Only Kizaru was left with fighting ability. On the other side, the battle between Haydn, Momo Rabbit, and T Dolphin has also made new progress. Damn it, this is the power of Akatsuki members. How to fight someone who cannot be killed? After the attack, Momotu held the famous sword and frowned at Haydn who had scars all over his body. It is indeed very weird. This is some kind of fruit ability. This is too abnormal, the tea dolphin also frowned. While the two were distracted, Haydn swung his scythe over. Tea dolphin, be careful. The reaction of the tea dolphin was also very fast. He quickly ducked but the sharp sickle still scratched the tea dolphin's arm, leaving a wound. Tea dolphin, are you okay? Peach Rabbit asked. I'm fine, it's just a small wound, tea dolphin wiped the blood on his arm and said nonchalantly. Haha, everything is ready. Now I'm going to sacrifice you to death. After cutting the teal's arm, Haydn did not continue to attack. 
Instead, he began to draw a curse formation on the ground while soaking in the blood that was constantly falling from his body. What is he going to do? Seeing Haydn's movements, both Otani and Modisa were very wary. The strength of the members of the Akatsuki organization was too weird, so the two of them did not dare to move lightly unless they found a way to kill the person in front of them. After finishing the formation, Haydn licked the blood on the scythe. Haha, you have been cursed by me now. Now I want to sacrifice you to the evil god. Haydn laughed wildly, and at the same time his whole body turned dark and entered a cursed state. Baffling. Go to hell. Seeing Haydn's body turning black at this time, Momotu didn't think much and went straight towards killing him with a sword. The powerful slash hit Haydn's chest directly, and a huge wound appeared there. But Haydn didn't react at all. Instead, the tea dolphin next to him screamed. Ah! As the tea dolphin screamed, blood splattered on his body, and a wound appeared on his chest. Tea dolphin, what's going on? Who attacked you? Seeing the suddenly seriously injured tea dolphin, Dao Tu asked in surprise. I don't know either. I feel like I just got slashed by a swordsman, T. Dolphin covered the bleeding wound and said. The swordsman's slash. Could it be me? How can this be? She was the only swordsman here. The person she attacked just now was clearly a member of the Akatsuki organization, so how could it be that Chato was seriously injured? Could it be that this member of the Akatsuki organization is responsible? Haha. <laughs> It's painful. Scream. This is the best sacrifice to the evil god. Haydn yelled crazily, and at the same time, a sharp black blade appeared in his hand, stabbing hard at his thigh. Poof. The thigh was pierced, and blood spurted out. Haydn is immortal, and any injuries have no effect on him, but the same cannot be said for the Oga, he is just an ordinary person. Ah. With a scream, a huge wound appeared on the tea dolphin's leg, which directly turned it into a disability. Damn it, how could you have such a weird ability? What to do now? Now Dao Tu is also in a dilemma. For a moment, he didn't dare to attack Haydn and wanted to seek support, but on the other side, Kizaru was also held back by members of the Akatsuki organization. Haha. <laughs> now I will sacrifice you to the evil god. Laughing wildly, Haydn held the black sharp blade and was about to stab his chest. Not good. Seeing Haydn's movements, Momoto quickly rushed forward and blocked Haydn's movements. If Momomo wanted to kill Haydn just now, then Momomo is doing everything possible to prevent Haydn from committing suicide now. Bastard, no one can stop me from sacrificing to the evil god. Haydn brandished the scythe and the black blade in his hand and stabbed himself continuously. Although Peach Rabbit is very powerful, attacking and blocking are two different things. Now that Momotu is trying his best to prevent Haydn from committing suicide, he is unable to use his power at all. In the end, Haydn succeeded, and his sharp scythe easily pierced his chest. Ah, it's so comfortable. Haydn's body was gushing with blood and he looked like he was enjoying it. On the other hand, the tea dolphin screamed, several big holes appeared on its body, blood spurted out, and it lost its movement. Hearing the screams of the tea dolphins here, Kizaru, who was fighting Zhang Yu on the other side, was no longer interested in fighting. This time, in order to capture members of the Akatsuki organization, the Navy Headquarters has dispatched a combat force equivalent to three generals and eight vice-admirals. This kind of combat power is more than enough to go to the New World to capture the Cotters of the Four Emperors. Now, the attempt to arrest the members of the Akatsuki organization was not only unsuccessful, but also damaged the Navy's combat power here. All the Navy vice-admirals were killed, and even one of the Navy substitutes died. On the other hand, the members of the Akatsuki organization were not damaged at all. It can be said that this operation of the Navy has been completely lost. If you continue to fight, you might die here. The power of the Akatsuki organization is truly amazing. Peach Rabbit, let's retreat. Kizaru shouted to Peach Rabbit in the distance. 
Hum, want to run. Leave me here. Seeing Kizaru trying to escape, Zhang Yu immediately controlled all the monsters and attacked Kizaru in front of him, hoping to stop Kizaru who was escaping. However, Kizaru, who has the shining fruit, has no other abilities, but his escape speed is top-notch. A golden stream of light flashed, and Kizaru disappeared without a trace. Did he run away? It's a pity that he was not left behind. This is a sparkling fruit, Zhang Yu said with some pity. If Kizaru really stays, he might be able to snatch away the power of the shining fruit. Although it's a pity that he didn't get the ability to get the shining fruit, Zhang Yu got the golden fruit. Now all the gold in the entire golden city belongs to him. Gold, return it all to me. Zhang Yu immediately activated the power of just the fruit. All the gold in the entire golden city was seen surging up, like a tide, all gathering in front of Zhang Yu. The gold in front of me is constantly increasing, and Kakuzu's performance progress is also improving rapidly. Soon it exceeded 90%. Ding, congratulations on the host's role-playing progress exceeding 90%, and getting a chance to draw a role-playing character. Whether to draw new role characters. The system's voice sounded in Zhang Yu's mind, which immediately made Zhang Yu feel happy. Finally, we can draw a new role character. I don't know what kind of role character I can draw this time. Perform related summons and continue to draw characters from the Akatsuki organization. Ding, let's start extracting role players. Not long after the system's voice fell, a red haired, handsome boy wearing an Akatsuki organization appeared in Zhang Yu's mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for picking up a new character, the Red Sand Scorpion of the Akatsuki organization. Red Sand Scorpion Akatsuki Organization, one of the artistic duo Abilities, Human Puppet Transformation Technique, 4th Generation Kazakage Human Puppet, Poison In the Navy Headquarters, the highest meeting, all the top leaders of the Navy gathered here again. This is the third time during this period that the Navy Headquarters has held such a top meeting. The content of this meeting is still the Akatsuki Organization. Kizaru, what exactly is going on in this mission? Why failed? Sengoku looked at Kizaru with an ugly expression. Sengoku's face was as solemn as ever before. They never expected that even after dispatching three navy generals and eight navy lieutenants, the mission still failed. The Warring States period also knew that the matter was serious, so they immediately convened a supreme naval meeting. Marshal, our intelligence is wrong. This time there is not only Kakuzu from the Akatsuki organization, but also a person who calls himself Haydn from the Akatsuki organization. Kizaru also put away his usual wretched appearance, and instead his expression became serious. Although Kizaru is very wretched in normal times, he is also lazy in various ways when performing tasks. But that was because Kizaru didn't want to do it, and this time he was really defeated by people from the Akatsuki organization. Haydn of Akatsuki Organization Could this be a new member of the Akatsuki Organization? Everyone present took a deep breath. Although the Akatsuki Organization has just emerged, it is known to the Navy for its mystery and power. Currently, based on the Navy's intelligence, the only information we have about the Akatsuki Organization is Pain of the Akatsuki Organization and Kakuzu of the Akatsuki Organization. Both of them are very powerful possessing the power of a general or even a yonko. Unexpectedly, these two members of the Akatsuki organization have not been resolved yet, and now there is another member of the Akatsuki organization. How can they, the top brass of the navy, not be surprised? Momoto, you have fought against this Haydn, how is his strength? Warring states asked Peach Rabbit. Hmm. This person's strength is very weird and he can't be killed at all. And he can transfer injuries to other people, Momotu immediately gave a brief introduction to Haydn's abilities. Can't be killed. How could he have such a weird ability? Could it be that he has an animal devil fruit ability? After listening to Peach Rabbit's introduction, all the navy present murmured. In the world of One Piece, 
when the animal devil fruit is developed to the extreme, it can also have powerful recovery capabilities. For example, Kaido, one of the four emperors, developed the animal devil fruit to the extreme and is known as the immortal Kaido. So now that they heard that they couldn't be killed, the first thing they thought about was whether this Haydn could be an animal type devil fruit user. No, it shouldn't be an animal type fruit ability user. I chopped off his head and stabbed him through the heart, Peach Rabbit said with great certainty. As a substitute for a general and a vice admiral, she has fought against various powerful animal devil fruit users. But no matter what kind of devil fruit ability users are, they are still within the scope of humans. As long as the head is cut off and the vital part is hit, even the most powerful devil fruit user will die. But when facing Haydn, Momotu slashed at his vital points more than a dozen times. His whole body was covered with wounds, blood spurted out, and even his head was chopped off. Haydn still acted like nothing was wrong. A completely unkillable person. Immortal Duo Looking at the information about Kakuzu and Haydn in his hands, Sengoku also felt a headache. Kakuzu of the Akatsuki Organization Haydn of Akatsuki Organization The Immortal Duo Are there any other combinations within the Akatsuki Organization? Just the tip of the iceberg of the Akatsuki Organization has already caused their navy to be overwhelmed. How powerful is the Akatsuki Organization? Now warring states simply can't believe it. The Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization have the ability to seize devil fruits. Now the power of the golden fruit falls into his hands. The Akatsuki organization now controls a lot of money in the world, we must stop the Akatsuki organization, warring states said with great certainty. A powerful and mysterious organization now controls a lot of money. Sengoku really can't imagine what this Akatsuki organization can do. Warring states, how can we stop it? With the current strength of our navy, it is too difficult to fight against the Akatsuki organization. The strength of the members of the Akatsuki organization is really amazing. Each one of them has the strength of a general. Staff officer he also frowned and said. In order to fight against the Akatsuki organization, the three generals of the navy have already been deployed, but they all ended in failure. If the navy wants to deploy its combat power again, the only one left is the legendary navy hero Garp. As a naval hero, Garp has not been deployed for a long time, and the navy has not been so nervous for a long time. I remember the last time the navy was so nervous, it was because Roger became the pirate king. Unexpectedly, now because of the Akatsuki organization, the Navy has become nervous again. What? Let me catch people from Xia organization. I'm not interested, I have to teach my grandson a lesson. This bastard actually wants to be a pirate, I must train him to become a Navy, Carp refused outright. Seeing Garp's appearance, the surrounding Navy executives had no choice. Although Garp is very powerful, his character is like this. Otherwise, he would not be a naval admiral and instead become a vice admiral. Well, our navy must improve its strength. First, the four emperors of the New World firmly controlled the New World, and now there is an Akatsuki organization. If this continues, our navy will gradually decline. Akainu suddenly stood up and shouted angrily. Akainu is a hawk in the navy and his behavior is very radical. His philosophy is to fight against pirates with all his strength. In the past, Sengoku and others in the navy might not agree with Akainu's philosophy. But things are different now. A powerful Akatsuki organization has appeared on the sea. This Akatsuki organization first killed the celestial dragons, then robbed the sky gold, defeated the admiral, and now robbed the gold gold fruit. It can be said that the Akatsuki organization has now become the navy's number one enemy and the biggest threat on the sea, even surpassing the four emperors in the new world. Therefore, now that I heard Akainu's words, the senior navy officials around me not only did not stop them, but actually agreed with them very much. Admiral Akainu is right, our navy should indeed improve its strength. Yes, our navy must improve its strength. Our navy cannot bow to pirates. 
I also agree with General Akainu's suggestion. One by one, the top Navy officials said immediately, and they all agreed with Akainu's words. Hmm, Akainu is right. Our naval headquarters really needs to improve its strength. I will immediately contact the world government and the five old stars to expand the power of the navy, Sengoku thought for a while and agreed with Akainu's words. Because of the emergence of the Akatsuki organization, the navy began to change. The navy wanted to change, and Sengoku, as the marshal of the navy, was also very fast and immediately contacted the five old stars in the world government. After hearing Warring State's request, Wulaoxing agreed after some discussion. Members of the Akatsuki organization killed the celestial dragons and robbed the heavenly gold, and now the Akatsuki organization has such a powerful evil force. World governments also feel threatened. In order to improve the strength of the navy, the world government began to conduct global conscription to supplement the navy's combat power. It can be said that because of the emergence of the Akatsuki organization, the situation in the entire sea has undergone major changes. And what is Zhang Yu doing who caused all this? At this time Zhang Yu is playing the role of a new member of the Akatsuki organization. The Great Waterway, the Magical Triangle. This place is surrounded by fog all year round, and the sun cannot penetrate. It is always dark and humid and it is so dark that you can't see your fingers. Many pirate ships sailing into the sea area will soon lose their way in the fog and eventually be trapped here. As many as hundreds of thousands of people disappear in this area every year. The sea water is flowing, and the pirate ships, which have long been in decay, are drifting with the current. The skeletons on the boat were so terrifying that they had been dead for who knows how long. Countless bugs were eating on these corpses and crawling on the white bones, which was simply numbing. Known as the largest pirate ship in the world, the terrifying three-masted ship is located in this sea area. At this moment, a small boat broke into the sea area, knocked away the broken boats around, and headed towards the center of the fog. On the boat, a figure came out. This is a handsome red-haired young man wearing red clouds and black clothes with a pair of eyes looking into the mist. This should be the place. There should be a lot of materials I need here. They can help me complete great immortal art. Zhang Yu said with excitement. There is no doubt that Zhang Yu is playing the Red Sand Scorpion in the Akatsuki organization at this time. As an artistic duo of the Akatsuki organization, the Red Sand Scorpions are interested in puppetry, which is known as the immortal art. Therefore. The best way to improve the proficiency of the Red Sand Scorpion is to make puppets, and make various powerful human puppets. Making puppets requires materials, so Zhang Yu came here to find materials for making puppets. If Zhang Yu remembers the plan correctly, Moonlight Uelia, one of the seven martial arts under the king, is here, relying on the power of corpses and shadow fruits to create the so called zombie army. Among these zombie legions, there are many corpses of strong men. Zhang Yu plans to snatch all these corpses and make them into his own human puppets. If possible, turn Moonlight Moria into a collection of your own puppets. Although Moonlight Moria's strength is not that great, he is still the king of the Shishibukai, so he can still be a collectible. Boom! The boat hit the land, and a dark forest appeared in front of them. But Zhang Yu knew very well that this was not a piece of land, but a huge ship. A ship that stretches as far as the eye can see, like a small island. When Zhang Yu stepped onto the land, his eyes were dim and he couldn't see his fingers. Here, because of the surrounding fog, the sunlight is completely blocked. There is no day or night. 24 hours a day, it is a completely dark scene. Zhang Yu walks slowly in the forest surrounded by mud, tombstones, stone tablets, and other things. The breeze blows and the trees sway constantly. The scene is horrifying and makes your scalp numb. But now Zhang Yu is playing the Red Sand Scorpion, and his body has long been transformed into a puppet. Therefore, I don't know what fear is and what fear is at all. There is only art in his heart now, immortal art. In the center of the island, a tall figure is wandering here. 
This figure has long hair like green onions, looks like a demon, has double horns on his forehead, sharp teeth and ears, cross-shaped sutures on his neck to suture wounds, and wears a shirt with a bat-shaped collar and a gothic art clothing. This person is really Zhang Yu's target this time, one of the seven martial arts under the king, Moonlight Moria. Interesting, really interesting. An Akatsuki organization actually appeared on the sea, killed the celestial dragons, robbed the celestial gold, and caused the navy to suffer losses many times. Moria looked at the newspaper in his hand and said with a laugh, his voice was weird and frightening. Kill the celestial dragons. This Akatsuki organization is so bold. Next to Moria are his subordinates, Hogbark, who is known as a genius doctor, Absalom, Princess Perona, etc. They were also very surprised when they heard that the Akatsuki organization killed the Tianlong people. Lord Moria, what should we do now? After reading the report about the Akatsuki organization, others asked. Haha, of course to create my zombie army. As long as I have a zombie army, I can conquer the sea. Neither the Akatsuki organization nor the Yonko are my opponents. Moonlight Moria let out a unique high-pitched laugh. The permeating laughter echoed continuously in the huge castle. Zhang Yu is walking in the forest. At this moment, the ground became loose and a zombie crawled out from the ground. Zombies. Zhang Yu curiously looked at the tattered zombie in front of him. After the zombie climbed out, it looked at Zhang Yu dully, roared, and rushed towards Zhang Yu quickly. Zhang Yu waved his right hand, and five chakra lines appeared on his fingers. He swept them towards the zombies, and the zombies fell apart. Then Zhang Yu started to observe these zombies, but soon Zhang Yu lost interest. It's rubbish. It's a waste of material. Zhang Yu said with great contempt. Through observation, Zhang Yu quickly figured out that these zombies were formed by Moonlight Moria's Devil Fruit ability. The corpse was forced into the shadow and gained the ability to move. But the power of these corpses was not exerted at all. If these corpses are given to Zhang Yu, Zhang Yu can completely turn them into powerful human puppets with the abilities of their previous lives. It can be said that the so-called zombie army in Moonlight Moria is simply a joke in front of the Red Sand Scorpion played by Zhang Yu. Moonlight Moria was once a person who ventured into the New World. Unfortunately, he was unlucky and encountered Kaido, one of the four emperors. All the crew members were killed, and only his own luck survived, and he escaped from the New World in embarrassment. Then, he accepted the call from the world government and became the king of the Shishibukai. But Moonlight Moria never gave up fighting back to the New World. Therefore, he is reaccumulating strength, and the way Moonlight Moria accumulates strength is to rely on the ability of his shadow fruit to create various powerful zombies. I want to rely on the power of these zombies to conquer the sea. Zhang Yu continued to walk deeper into the fog, and more zombies rushed towards Zhang Yu. But these zombies hadn't gotten close to Zhang Yu yet. Zhang Yu waved his hand, and a chakra line appeared, and the zombies fell apart. These zombies are too weak to even let Zhang Yu use puppets. After dozens of zombies died in a row, the remaining zombies already knew that Zhang Yu's strength was extraordinary and they were not something they could fight against. Run! Monster! There's a monster coming! Go and inform Lord Moria that a terrible monster is coming! Countless zombies fled in all directions with fear on their faces. These zombies were made by Moonlight Moria relying on the ability of the Shadow Fruit. Although they are zombies, they also retain their consciousness during life. Normally, I just bully passing pirates, but now I really meet a super strong man like Zhang Yu. They serve no purpose other than running away. Seeing these fleeing zombies, Zhang Yu did not pursue them. Because these zombies are so rubbish, they are not worthy of Zhang Yu turning them into human puppets. Tap tap tap. The sound of footsteps came, and a single zombie not only did not run away, but walked towards Zhang Yu. Seeing this zombie, Zhang Yu also stopped and became interested. I saw this was a zombie swordsman holding a sword, covered in white cloth, 
with a blue scarf hanging around his neck and pure white hair. From this swordsman, Zhang Yu felt the aura of a strong man. This is the swordsman Ryoma. Good material. Zhang Yuliao looked at the swordsman zombie in front of him with interest. Ryoma, the swordsman, was a powerful swordsman in the Wano kingdom. He was equipped with the Black Sword Akashui, one of the 21 skills of the Great Sword. Legend has it that he killed a dragon with autumn water, and he was known as the Dragon Slaying Samurai. If his body was made into a human puppet, it would definitely be a perfect work of art. You are strong. The swordsman Ryoma looked at Zhang Yu, moved his lips slightly, and said in a low voice. You are also very strong, but you can't use your strength at all now. Give me your body. I will make you into the most perfect work of art, Zhang Yu looked at the swordsman Ryoma and said. Although Moonlight Moria obtained the body of the swordsman Ryoma, he did not exert the power of the swordsman Ryoma at all. Swordsman Ryoma is a legendary swordsman from Wano country who can even kill dragons. But now Moonlight Moria has only stuffed Brook's shadow into his body, although it is very powerful and can sweep across the entire zombie island. But when compared to real swordsmen outside, there is still a big gap. It is obviously impossible for the mighty dragon-slaying swordsman of Wano country to have such strength. Such good material, just showing such strength is simply a waste. Want my body? It's really baffling. I haven't met a strong person for a long time, let me do some exercise today, the swordsman Ryoma held his long sword and looked at Zhang Yu with fighting spirit. As the swordsman Ryoma, what he longs for is fighting. But on the zombie island, they are all weak and cannot satisfy his fighting spirit at all. So now that he saw Zhang Yu, a strong man, appear, the swordsman Ryoma rushed over immediately. Take it. The swordsman Ryoma held his long sword and rushed directly towards Zhang Yu. Facing the attack of the swordsman Ryoma, Zhang Yu did not dodge at all, and did not even make any unnecessary movements. With a hook of the index finger of his right hand, a chakra thread appeared and wrapped directly around the body of the swordsman Ryoma. Ryoma, the swordsman who was attacking, suddenly stopped. What? What have you done? My body, the swordsman Ryoma suddenly found that his body was out of control. I said, I'm attracted to your body. I will transform your body into a perfect work of art. Zhang Yu came directly to the swordsman Ryoma and began to transform his body. First, Zhang Yu sprinkled a piece of seawater on the body of the swordsman Ryoma. A shadow appeared in the body of the swordsman Ryoma and the whole person lost movement. Without the support of the shadow, the swordsman Ryoma is now a complete corpse. Then, Zhang Yu began to transform the corpse. The Scorpion of Red Sand, the most powerful puppet master, even created human puppets. Human puppets can retain their appearance in life, and can use all the powers they had during life, including the Red Sand Scorpion itself, which is also a human puppet. This shows how powerful the human puppet is. After being busy for a long time, the corpse of the swordsman Ryoma had changed greatly. Now the swordsman Ryoma looks like a normal swordsman, and his whole body exudes a chilling aura. What a perfect piece of art! Zhang Yu clenched his right hand, and a chakra thread was connected to the body of the swordsman Ryoma. Zhang Yu's fingers moved slightly and the swordsman Ryoma slowly raised his sword and slashed hard. Whoosh, tear. A huge sword energy suddenly came out and hit a mountain in the distance. Boom. The mountain bag exploded directly, leaving a huge ravine on the ground that extended into the distance. This is the power of the human puppet, which can retain all the power it had during life. But now that the swordsman Ryoma has been made into a human puppet, he has completely inherited all the power of the great swordsman during his lifetime, and has undergone earth-shaking changes from just now. The swordsman Ryomaman puppet, the first puppet he made appeared in the One Piece world. At the same time, Zhang Yu looked at the system and saw that the proficiency of the Red Sand Scorpion had indeed improved a lot. Sure enough, making puppets is the best way to improve the proficiency of Red Sand Scorpion. 
the swordsman Ryoma has become a human puppet, so the next one is Moonlight Moria. Zhang Yu continued to walk towards the center of the fog. The swordsman Ryoma followed Zhang Yu like a guard. Boom! The birth of the swordsman Ryoma puppet and the huge movement quickly attracted the attention of Moonlight Moria and his group in the central castle of the fog. How is this going? Where is the sound coming from? Could there be an earthquake here? Just when Yueguang Moria was confused, a black shadow flew over from a distance and fell into Yueguang Moria's hands. Shadow! There is an enemy invasion. Someone killed the swordsman Ryoma. Moonlight Moria shouted. Moonlight Moria has the ability of the shadow fruit, and the shadows on the entire zombie island are under his control. He can know everything that happens on the island through the shadow. Swordsman Ryoma. Someone could actually defeat him. Others around Moonlight Moria were also very surprised. The swordsman Ryoma, a zombie, is also a rare strong person on the entire zombie island. Ha ha ha, just in time. I can just take his shadow and create a more powerful zombie, Moonlight Moria let out a burst of unique weird laughter. But his laughter didn't last long, a huge crash sounded again. Boom! The castle door exploded, and countless debris flew up. The voice of Moonlight Moria, who was laughing wildly somewhere in the castle hall, also stopped suddenly. The other people in the castle, the surgical genius Dr. Hogbark, the ghost princess Perona, and the transparent fruit ability user Absaros all looked towards the door. The four of them represent the current top leaders on the three-masted sailing ship. Following his gaze, Zhang Yu slowly walked in, and the swordsman Ryoma followed Zhang Yu like a guard. Who? So bold. Moonlight Moria narrowed her eyes slightly and looked at Zhang Yu who walked in, her voice was sharp and harsh. Swordsman Ryoma. Why has he changed his appearance? Perona has a clear voice, a smile, and looks very fresh and beautiful. Lord Moria, something is wrong. The swordsman Ryoma seems to be controlled by someone. Red clouds and black clothes. Isn't this the Akatsuki organization's clothes in the newspaper just now? Absalom and Hagubuk looked at Zhang Yu's clothes and screamed. Akatsuki Organization Haha, <laughs> people from the Akatsuki Organization actually dare to come to my three-masted sailboat. Now that you're here, hand over your shadow, Moonlight Moria was stunned, then laughed excitedly. Moonlight Moria has stayed in the magic triangle for too long, and Moonlight Moria has developed a sense of blind confidence. In his opinion, no one is as good as his own strength. This blind self-confidence made him misjudge the strength of the red sand scorpion in front of him. Are you Moonlight Moria? Looks good, I will turn you into my collection. Zhang Yu looked at Moonlight Moria's huge body carefully and said. The red sand scorpion can create powerful human puppets and realize his eternal art. Therefore, Everyone with special abilities is an exquisite material in the eyes of the Red Sand Scorpion. Moonlight Moria is a burly devil himself. In addition, he is a shadow fruit user. With his body, he can definitely create a powerful human puppet. Swordsman Ryoma Attack After sizing up Moonlight Moria, Zhang Yu directly controlled the Swordsman Ryoma to launch an attack. The Swordsman Ryoma was very fast. He rushed in front of Moonlight Moria in an instant, and slashed directly at Moonlight Moria with the long sword in his hand. Moonlight Moria was still laughing arrogantly at this time. She never thought that Zhang Yu would suddenly launch an attack, so there was no chance to dodge. Tear. Ah. With a sharp scream and a splash of blood, Moonlight Moria flew backwards. Lord Moria. Asshole, attack. Seeing Zhang Yu take action directly and knocking away Moonlight Moria, the remaining people were also shocked, and then they all attacked Zhang Yu. Transparent, Absalom's whole person is directly transparent and gradually disappears. Absalom is a user with the transparency fruit ability, and his body can enter a transparent state, making it impossible for people to see signs of his existence. Of course, 
now Absalom has not exerted the true power of the transparent fruit at all. His transparent ability is ineffective for hearing, smell and seeing and hearing Haki. Therefore, although his ability seems to be very powerful, in fact it is of no use against a truly strong person. Oh! Has it disappeared? Get out of here! Zhang Yu stretched out his right hand, and a flame spurted out. The body of the red sand scorpion played by Zhang Yu has been transformed into a human puppet, so there are countless mechanisms on his body. Hey, boom! Powerful flames spurted out and rushed directly towards the corner of the wall. And this place is Absalom's hiding place. Facing the boiling flames, Absalom was stunned. What's going on? My ability has failed. He actually knows my location. This is impossible. Absalom stared with big eyes, full of disbelief. Only the blazing flames remained in his eyes, and in the end the flames swallowed him directly. What? You actually killed Absalom? Perona and Hwagubik looked at Zhang Yu in surprise and fear. Because of the ability of the transparent fruit, Absalom is also the most powerful among the three of them. But he didn't expect that he would be instantly killed by Zhang Yu as soon as he started. Now it's your two's turn. After killing Absalom, Zhang Yu looked at Hwagubik and Perona. Perona. Attack quickly and kill him. Hogback yelled with fear on his face. Although Hogback was also one of the three weirdos, he was the scumbag one. Apart from being able to make zombies, he has no fighting ability at all. Hearing Hogback's words, Perona floated in midair and launched an attack on Zhang Yu. Negative ghost. A ghost-like object floated quickly towards Zhang Yu. Perona, a user with the ghost fruit ability, has the ability to generate spiritual bodies at will. If the body is penetrated by the spiritual body, it can make people feel extremely depressed. But Zhang Yu directly ignored these souls, and the chakra thread in his hand quickly tied up Perona in the sky. How can this be? How come my negative ghost has no effect? Perona, who was tied up somewhere, looked at Zhang Yu in disbelief with her big eyes wide open. This was the first time she met someone who was not afraid of the ghost of negativity. Haha, <laughs> negative ghost. There is only art in my heart, no one can stop me from pursuing eternal art, Zhang Yu said with great disdain. Not to mention that the red sand scorpion himself has turned into a human puppet and is not affected by the negative ghost at all. What's more important is that in the heart of red sand scorpion, there is only eternal art, and no one can stop his pursuit of eternal art. Damn it, how could he be so powerful? Actually, even Perona is no match for him. No, I need to escape from here quickly. Hagubik saw something was wrong and decisively chose to run away. Where to run, go to hell. Looking at Hagubik who was escaping, Zhang Yu stretched out his hand, and a blazing flame burst out. The flames directly swallowed up Hagubuk. Under the burning flames, Hagubuk turned into ashes, with no residue left. Trash like Hogback is not even qualified to be transformed into a human puppet. Ah, <laughs> how dare you attack me? I am going to kill you. At this moment, Moonlight Moria, who had just been beaten away, ran out of the ruins, staring at Zhang Yu with angry and bloodshot eyes. Although Moonlight Moria's strength is very poor, he is still the king of the Shishibukai. Although he was struck by the swordsman Ryoma, he did not die. However, even if he was not dead, he was already seriously injured at this time. On the chest, there was a huge wound across the entire body, and blood was constantly spurting out from the wound. It looked very ferocious. Hmm, what's going on? Where are Absalom and Hogbark? At this time, Moonlight Moria discovered why all his men had disappeared, leaving only Perona. I have already disposed of these two pieces of garbage. Now it is your turn. Zhang Yu looked at Moonlight Moria and said in a cold tone. At the same time, he controlled the swordsman Ryoma and got ready for battle. The famous sword in his hand flashed with sharp light. Lord Moria, Absalom and Hogbark were killed, Perona, who was trapped somewhere, 
shouted. What? You damn bastard, how dare you kill one of my men? I want to kill you. Hearing Perona's words, the originally angry Moonlight Moria became furious again. Moonlight Moria's former subordinates were killed by Kaido, so he values his subordinates very much. Now that he heard that his men had been killed by Zhang Yu again, leaving only Perona, the anger in Moonlight Moria's heart couldn't stop gushing out. Now he only has one thought, that is to kill Zhang Yu and avenge his men. Shadow Gathering Place Because of his anger, Moonlight Moria directly released his most powerful killing move, and countless shadows rushed from all directions, all entering his body. Moonlight Moria's body expanded rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. Her body became huge and she soon turned into a giant. Go to hell! After becoming huge, Moonlight Moria's power increased several times, and his huge fist quickly attacked Zhang Yu. Although Moonlight Moria is very powerful at this time, in front of a real master, Moonlight Moria's strength is simply not enough. Swordsman Ryoma Attack Zhang Yu moved his fingers slightly to control the Swordsman Ryoma to rush forward quickly. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Even though the Swordsman Ryoma is a puppet now, he is very flexible and easily avoids Moonlight Moria's attack. The long sword in his hand keeps slashing towards Moonlight Moria. Boom, boom, boom. The huge sword energy hit Yue Guang Moria's body, and with a series of explosions, Yue Guang Moria's body continued to retreat, and his body was also covered with scars. Ah! Damn it, how is this possible? How could the swordsman Ryoma have such power? Moonlight Moria shouted in disbelief. He had already obtained the corpse of the swordsman Ryoma, and stuffed a shadow into it, turning him into a relatively powerful zombie. But Moonlight Moria didn't take him seriously at all, and just regarded him as a relatively powerful zombie. But he never expected that the swordsman Ryoma would have such a powerful force, and he would injure himself three times and four times. You don't understand eternal art at all. You are just wasting material. Zhang Yu once again controlled the swordsman Ryoma to attack Moonlight Moria. Faced with this fierce attack, Moonlight Moria had no resistance at all, and soon he was covered in wounds all over his body. Damn it, this is impossible. How could I lose? Moonlight Moria roared unwillingly, and her body swallowed countless shadows again, and continued to expand. It's useless. In front of my eternal art, your only end will be failure. Looking at Moonlight Moria, whose strength had improved again, Zhang Yu took out a scroll. The scroll is opened, with the word three written on it. Boom! After a burst of smoke, the third generation of Kazakage puppets in the world of Naruto appeared in his hands. Although the attack power of the swordsman Ryoma's puppet is very powerful, Zhang Yu is also afraid of accidentally destroying Moonlight Moria's body beyond recognition. When making puppets, the more complete the corpse, the more it can unleash all the powers it had before birth. Therefore, Zhang Yu used the third generation Kazakage as a human puppet. Magnetic Escape Sand Iron Boundary Method Under Zhang Yu's control, the third generation Feng Yiying puppet spit out a piece of black iron sand from its mouth. Black iron sand collided in the sky and shot out in all directions like a spider web. The first of them is Moonlight Moria, who is now a giant. Ah, ah, ah. Amidst the screams, countless pieces of iron sand pierced into Moonlight Moria's body, causing him to let out a scream. You, you can't kill me. I am the king of the world government, Shishibukai. If you kill me, you will offend the world government. At this time, Moonlight Moria finally became frightened and looked at Zhang Yu shouting loudly with a sharp voice, while taking out a phone bug in his hand. As one of the seven warlords, Moonlight Moria has a phone bug that can directly contact the world government. Hum, our Akatsuki organization is not afraid of any force. You should become my collection. Zhang Yu squeezed his right hand hard and the black iron sand in Moonlight Moria's body exploded directly, spreading continuously in his body. Ah! After a sharp scream, 
Moonlight Moria, who was afraid of death, directly answered the phone call. Help, the Akatsuki organization is going to kill me. Members of the Akatsuki organization are on my ship. Ah. Unfortunately, before Moonlight Moria could finish his words, the black iron sand killed him directly, and his huge body fell directly to the ground. The phone bug in his hand also fell to the ground. Hey, Moonlight Moria, what happened? Akatsuki Organization Where is the Akatsuki Organization? Urgent inquiries came from the phone bug. Zhang Yu ignored the phone bug's voice and crushed the phone bug to pieces with one kick. You, you actually killed Lord Moria. You, what are you going to do? Do not come, Perona, who was tied up somewhere, looked at Zhang Yu who was walking over with fear on her face. Perona is the subordinate of Moonlight Moria, and in his heart, Moonlight Moria is the most powerful existence. But she didn't expect that the extremely powerful Moonlight Moria in his heart would be killed so easily. How could she not be afraid? What do you think I should do with you? It's to kill you. Or stay, Zhang Yu looked at Perona and said with a smile. But facing Zhang Yu's smile, Perona felt a chill all over her body, like a devil's smile. Ah, don't kill me. Sir, please stay with me, I can do many things, Perona looked at Zhang Yu and said fearfully. Now take me immediately to find the corpses that Moonlight Moria has collected over the years, Zhang Yu looked at Perona and said. Yes, sir, after hearing Zhang Yu's words, Perona didn't dare to resist now, and honestly took Zhang Yu to the place where Moonlight Moria stored the corpse. Zhang Yu also had his own purpose in keeping Perona. Perona is too weak, and the soul fruit is not suitable for making a human puppet. Secondly, now Zhang Yu has completely occupied the island, and everything on the island belongs to Zhang Yu. As the Red Sand Scorpion of the Akatsuki Organization, Zhang Yu also needs a few subordinates. Over the years, Moonlight Moria has been digging through graves in order to create what he calls a zombie army, and he has obtained the corpses of many strong men. Now with the death of Moonlight Moria, these things belong to Zhang Yu. What surprised Zhang Yu the most was that there was actually a super huge corpse here, the corpse of the giant, the demon ounce. In the original work, Moonlight Moria relied on this corpse to create Zombie No. 900, and also implanted Luffy's shadow. It's just that Luffy hasn't appeared yet, and Moonlight Moria, the corpse of Majin Ounce, hasn't been used yet. Is Ounce the devil strong? Very strong. He himself is a giant, and he is also a devil berserker, who created the country of luck. His descendant, Ounce Jr., serves under the Whitebeard Pirates. On the battlefield, with the power of one person, he did not show any weakness in the face of a hundred thousand navy. And now that Zhang Yu has obtained this corpse, Zhang Yu can completely make him into a human puppet and reproduce the full power of the demon ounce. After obtaining so many powerful corpses, Zhang Yu began to be busy in the castle, creating human puppets of eternal art. World Government Holy Land Marie Joya Reporting to the Five Old Stars, I just received a call from Moonlight Moria, one of the seven warriors under the king. Members of the Akatsuki organization appeared on Moonlight Moria's ship. A soldier came to Wulaoxing and reported respectfully. Akatsuki organization Members of the Akatsuki organization appear again. Hearing that the Akatsuki organization appeared again, Wulaoxing also paid great attention to it. You know, ever since the Akatsuki organization appeared, it has been destroying the world government. It is even said that the members of the Akatsuki organization are so powerful that not even the admiral can defeat them. It can be said that the Akatsuki organization has now become the number one enemy of the world government. In order to fight against the Akatsuki organization, the world government has begun a global conscription to expand the power of the navy. Now that members of the Akatsuki organization have appeared again, how can they not pay attention to it? What is he going to do? Could it be that his target is King Shishibukai? No matter what, we must pay attention to the emergence of Xiao organization. 
This organization has seriously undermined the peace of the sea and threatened the world government. If that's the case, then let Tyrant Bear investigate. After some discussion, Wu Liaoxing finally decided to let the Tyrant Xiong, who is also one of the Seven Seven Martial Arts under the King, investigate the affairs of the Akatsuki organization. Tyrant Bear, one of the Seven Warriors under the King, is a superhuman meatball fruit user. He is very powerful and his devil fruit abilities have been developed to the extreme. After receiving the order from the world government, Tyrant Bear directly activated his devil fruit and instantly arrived on the zombie island. At this time, Perona is wandering on the zombie island. Damn it, Mr. Scorpion, let me manage the zombie island. What's the point of managing this? They are all bare. There used to be zombies, but now there is nothing. Perona was suspended in midair, looking at the dark zombie island without sunlight, and muttered with a depressed expression. Since Zhang Yu killed Moonlight Moria, Perona took refuge in Zhang Yu in order to save her life. And Zhang Yu did not let her idle and asked her to manage the entire zombie island. However, with the death of Moonlight Moria, all zombies on the entire island disappeared. The entire zombie island is bare with nothing but darkness and silence. Perona also wanted to escape, but unfortunately she was too weak. Before she even left the zombie island, a chakra thread appeared directly and tied her up. After some training from Zhang Yu, Perona finally became honest and became Zhang Yu's subordinate with peace of mind. As for what Zhang Yu was doing during this period, of course Zhang Yu is making puppets somewhere. Whoosh! At this moment, Tyrant Bear suddenly appeared on the island. Who are you? What are you doing in Zombie Island? Seeing the sudden appearance of the bear, Perona immediately floated over and asked loudly. Um. Where is Moonlight Moria? I was ordered to investigate the affairs of the Akatsuki organization, Tyrant Bear looked at Perona and said. Looking for Lord Moria. Lord Moria is dead and now the entire island belongs to Lord Scorpion, Perona continued. Mariah is dead. Tyrant Bear was stunned for a moment and felt very surprised. The pirates who can be recruited as the king's Shishibukai are all very powerful. Even Moonlight Moria is the top existence among many pirates. But now someone actually solved him Moonlight Moria so quickly and quietly, which shows that this person is very powerful. Could this be done by the Akatsuki organization? You are a tyrant bear. King Shishibukai. Perona also recognized the identity of the tyrant bear at this time, her expression couldn't help but be stunned, and then she got into a fighting position. Lord Scorpion likes the corpses of strong men very much. If I offer your body to Lord Scorpion, Lord Scorpion will definitely be very happy. Negative ghosts, and special ghosts. Perona directly launched her most powerful attack, and a piece of soul quickly rushed towards the Tyrant Bear. But facing Perona's attack, Tyrant Bear did not dodge. Instead, he stretched out his hand and slapped her hard. Snapped. All of Perona's attacks were blown away by him like air. It seems that I can no longer get any useful information from you. I need to find information about the Akatsuki organization myself. The huge body of the tyrant bear appeared in front of Perona, and the huge palm with a flesh ball slapped Perona. When Perona was about to be shot away in front of her eyes, a piece of silk thread flew out and connected to Perona's body, controlling Perona to easily avoid the tyrant bear's attack. Who? How dare you attack my men? Zhang Yu slowly walked over from a distance. When Perona launched an attack on the bear, Zhang Yu felt the arrival of a powerful enemy. Zhang Yu rushed over immediately, just in time to see Tyrant Bear about to attack Perona. Therefore, Zhang Yu immediately took action and rescued Perona. Lord Scorpion, he is the Tyrant Xiong of the Seven Martial Seas under the King. Perona immediately came to Zhang Yu and said to Zhang Yu. Tyrant Bear. How interesting. I just killed a King Shishibukai and here comes another one, Zhang Yu looked at the tyrant bear with interest. Zhang Yu had just killed Moonlight Moria, the king's kibbutai, 
and made him into a human puppet. Unexpectedly, now there is another king, Shi Shibukai. Zhang Yu couldn't let go of the king's Kai Wuhei who came to his door. As for Tyrant Bear, he was stunned when he saw the chakra thread in Zhang Yu's hand. This is... Silk. Line Fruit. Da Flamingo's Abilities. The chakra threads released by Zhang Yu are indeed somewhat similar to the ability of the thread fruit. But Tyrant Bear quickly sensed something was wrong. There are no two identical fruits in the sea, and the power of the line fruit is now in Da Flamingo's hands. Could this be the power of the Akatsuki organization, which can use different devil fruit abilities? You are a member of the Akatsuki organization. I don't know if you are interested in cooperating with our revolutionary army. Tyrant Xiong was not in a hurry to take action, but looked at Zhang Yu and said. The Tyrant Xiong is a member of the revolutionary army. Although he has now become the king of Shi Shibukai, he still secretly helps the revolutionary army. After hearing that an Akatsuki organization appeared on the sea and was always against the world government, the Revolutionary Army has been looking for the Akatsuki Organization, hoping to cooperate with the Akatsuki Organization. Cooperate, not interested, Zhang Yu refused without even thinking about it. Akatsuki Organization, although you are very powerful, you do not understand the power of the world government. You cannot overthrow the world government by relying solely on your strength, Tyrant Xiong looked at Zhang Yu and continued. The Akatsuki organization has repeatedly opposed the world government and the navy. From the perspective of the revolutionary army, the Akatsuki organization must also be aiming to overthrow the world government. Haha. <laughs> I think you made a mistake. I have no interest in overthrowing world governments, I just want to achieve eternal art. Now that you are in front of me, turn it into my work of art. Zhang Yu took out a scroll and immediately summoned his puppet. Boom! After a burst of smoke, the three puppets of Feng Ying, Moonlight Moria and Sword Master Ryoma appeared in front of Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu had no interest at all in the invitation from the Revolutionary Army. Zhang Yu is playing the role of the Red Sand Scorpion at this time. For the Red Sand Scorpion, he is only interested in eternal art. And now the Tyrant Xiong one of the seven martial arts under the king, has arrived. How could Zhang Yu let such a strong man go? Attack! Under the control of Zhang Yu, the swordsman Ryoma was the first to rush towards the tyrant bear. Slash! The long sword in the hand of the swordsman Ryoma slashed hard, and a huge sword energy attacked the tyrant bear. Facing the attack of the swordsman Ryoma, tyrant bear took off the gloves on his hands, revealing the fleshy balls of his palms. Pressure Cannon Tyrant Bear's right hand slapped hard, and the surrounding air quickly compressed, turning into a huge impact, welcoming the swordsman Ryoma's slash. Boom! The slash and pressure cannon collided, causing a huge explosion. Shadow Horn Gun At the same time, Zhang Yu controlled the Moonlight Moria puppet to launch an attack. I saw the shadow behind the tyrant bear standing up, like a sharp spear, stabbing towards the tyrant bear's back. What? Space movement. Feeling the attack behind him, tyrant bear's body disappeared directly. When he reappeared, he was already not far away. How is this going? This is the ability of Moonlight Moria. Isn't Moonlight Moria dead? Could it be that members of the Akatsuki organization can manipulate corpses to retain their abilities in life? Tyrant Bear frowned as he thought. He was very sure that the shadow attack just now was definitely the ability of Moonlight Moria's shadow fruit. In the past, he also investigated information about the Akatsuki organization. It is said that the Akatsuki organization has the ability to take away devil fruits, and now it seems that this is true. Now that a member of the Akatsuki organization is attacking him, is this because he wants to take away his fruit ability? Did you escape it? He is worthy of being a strong man among the seven seas of martial arts under the king. Although the Shishibukai under the king are all powerful pirates, they are also divided into strong and weak ones. The tyrant Xiong is obviously the strongest among the seven martial arts under the king. 
Faced with such a strong man, Zhang Yu wanted to get him even more and turn him into an eternal art collection. Iron Sand Shijer Seeing that the tyrant bear had escaped the attack, Zhang Yu once again controlled the third Kazakage to attack the tyrant bear. A piece of black iron sand emerged, shooting towards the tyrant bear like raindrops. At this time, the tyrant bear had just finished his attack and had no time to dodge. He could only watch the iron sand attack him. Bang bang bang! The bullet-like iron sand shot directly into the tyrant bear's body, and a bloody bullet hole appeared. Successful! Seeing that the tyrant Xiong was hit, a smile appeared on Zhang Yu's lips. You know, the red sand scorpion is a puppet master. In addition to creating powerful human puppets, he is also good at using various poisons. The attacks of each of Zhang Yu's puppets have powerful toxins. It can be said that as long as one is hit by Zhang Yu's puppets, he has basically been sentenced to death. Sure enough, Tyrant Bear's face turned livid and his movements became stiff. This is... Toxin. Yin Healing Bullet. Tyrant Bear activated his Devil Fruit ability, and a red bear paw bubble was shot out of his body. All the injuries and toxins in his body were discharged from the body with this bubble. Tyrant Bear is a user with the ability of the Meatball Fruit. He can bounce away from anything. Moreover, with the development of Tyrant Bear, his body can bounce away the injuries in his body. What a powerful ability, he actually developed his Devil Fruit ability to this extent. I must turn you into my collection. Zhang Yu moved his fingers, and the three puppets attacked the tyrant Xiang He. Tyrant Bear is indeed very powerful, but don't forget that the three human puppets in Zhang Yu's hands are not ordinary either. Moonlight Moria, this is a person who belongs to the same king's Shishibukai as Tyrant Bear. Swordsman Ryoma, this was the former great swordsman of Ueno and a dragon-slaying samurai. The third Kazekage is even more powerful among the Hokages. The strength of these three human puppets is not weaker than that of the Tyrant Bear, let alone three of them attacking the Tyrant Bear at the same time. Soon the Tyrant Bear had fallen below, his whole body covered with wounds, and he began to feel a little invincible. Damn it, the members of the Akatsuki organization are too powerful. No, I have to retreat. He came here just to follow orders from the world government to investigate information about the Akatsuki organization, and by the way, invite the Akatsuki organization to join the revolutionary army. If you die here, the gain outweighs the loss. So now Tyrant Bear wants to retreat. Hum, want to run. Leave me here. Flying Bat The shadow of Moonlight Moria turned into a sea of black bats, immediately surrounding the tyrant bear. These shadow bats keep biting the tyrant bear. Iron Sand Prison The black iron sand released by the third generation Kazakage puppet rushed forward quickly and directly surrounded the tyrant bear. Finally, the swordsman dragon and horse puppet rushed up and stabbed the tyrant bear directly in the chest with his sharp sword. Poof! The sharp sword easily pierced the tyrant bear's body, and blood spurted out. The black iron sand took the opportunity to penetrate into the body of the tyrant bear. You do not. The tyrant bear stared with big eyes, revealing his unwillingness, and then his whole body fell to the ground with a crash. The tyrant Xiong, one of the seven martial arts under the king, died in the hands of Zhang Yu. Wow, Master Scorpion, so awesome. Actually defeated the tyrant bear. Seeing the end of the battle here. Corona floated up from a distance and shouted in joy. You continue to protect the zombie island. Zhang Yu said something to Perona and returned to the castle with the body of Tyrant Bear. Continue making the human puppet. The Kingdom of Dress Rosa, the territory of Da Flamingo, one of the king's Shishibukai. There is a huge castle in the center of the Kingdom of Dress Rosa. Ever since Da Flamingo defeated the Rika clan, this place has become the gathering place for the Da Flamingo family. At this time, everyone in the Da Flamingo family is holding a meeting here. Young master, this is this month's income. Our business income has increased a lot this month. Toribal, the sticky fruit ability user, 
reported to Do Flamingo who was sitting in the front seat. very good. After hearing the report from his men, Do Flamingo let out a unique laugh. Young master, Kaido requests to increase the supply of artificial fruits next month. There are other countries that also want to increase their purchases of weapons, Toripole reported again. Agree to their request, Da Flamingo thought for a moment and said. Although Da Flamingo is the king of the Shishibukai, he secretly has contact with many pirates. Privately, he runs an illegal human auction house, provides slaves to the celestial dragons and wealthy nobles, and kidnaps creatures of various races. Engaged in the arms business in the underground world, its power spreads all over the world. It is an intermediary in the underground world. It secretly supports the evil scientist M. Caesar Courant, produces the artificial animal devil fruit smile, and secretly sells the artificial fruit behind the navy government's back. Sold to Yonko Kaido. It is even said that there are spies of his in the navy. It can be said that Da Flamingo is a man who takes both black and white. He is the most powerful person among the seven warriors under the king. Young master, a powerful force from the Akatsuki organization has appeared on the sea. According to the information sent back by Virgo in the navy, the Akatsuki organization seems to be taking action against the king Shishibukai. Moonlight Moria, one of the seven warlords under the king, seems to have been attacked by the Akatsuki organization, Toribal looked at Da Flamingo and said worriedly. Hey, hey, how can that idiot Moria compare to me? That guy doesn't know the rules of the sea at all. Only by mastering the rules of the sea can one be able to navigate the sea. Da Flamingo said with a laugh, not taking this powerful Akatsuki organization into his heart at all. So what if the Akatsuki organization is powerful? At most, a force like the four emperors appears on the sea again. But no matter how many forces appear on the sea, the rules on the sea will not change. As long as you master the rules of the sea, you will be able to maneuver both ways, secretly improve your strength, and ultimately master the entire sea. The young master is wise, the young master is too powerful. After hearing Da Flamingo's words, all the men around him looked at him with admiration. But at this moment, a huge explosion sounded. How is this going? What happened? There was a sudden explosion which made Da Flamingo frown. Young master, I'll go investigate right away. A strong man wearing samurai armor stood up and rushed towards the direction of the explosion. This person is none other than Pika, the leader of the Da Flamingo family and the stone fruit ability user. At this time, at the dock of the kingdom of Dress Rosa, Zhang Yu and Perona landed on the island. Perona, is Da Flamingo on this island? Zhang Yu asked Perona next to him. Yes, Master Scorpion. The entire kingdom of Dress Rosa is the territory of Da Flamingo, one of the Shishibukai under the king, Perona, who was floating next to her, immediately said. Very good, then let this kingdom experience its eternal art, looking at the entire bustling city, a smile appeared on Zhang Yu's lips. After killing Moonlight Moria and Tyrant Bear, Zhang Yu set his sights on Da Flamingo, one of the seven sea warriors. Therefore, Zhang Yu came directly to the kingdom of Dress Rosa. Lord Zhang Yu, do you need my help to find Da Flamingo? Perona asked Zhang Yu. After this period of training, Perona, the ghost princess, has become Zhang Yu's most loyal subordinate. No, I'll let him come out on his own, Zhang Yu took out a scroll with a human puppet sealed inside. Come out, my eternal art. Bang, bang, bang. After a burst of smoke, three puppets appeared in front of Zhang Yu. They are the swordsman Ryoma puppet, the tyrant Ursine puppet, and the Da Flamingo puppet. Attack. Under Zhang Yu's control, the three human puppets launched a direct attack. Boom, boom, boom. Soon a series of explosions suddenly sounded in the kingdom of Dress Rosa. The strength of these three puppets is very powerful, and they all retain their power in life, 
so they are not something that ordinary guards of the kingdom of Dress Rosa can fight against. Soon, these ordinary guards were defeated and began to flee. For a time, the whole Dress Rosa became chaotic. How is this going? What's going on? At this time, Pika rushed over, grabbed a person and asked loudly. Lord Pika, someone is attacking the kingdom of Dress Rosa. The enemy is very powerful and we can't stop it at all, the guard said with a fearful look on his face. What a waste, Pika cursed and threw the guard out directly. I want to see who dares to attack our kingdom of Dress Rosa. Pika rushed directly towards the direction of the explosion without fear. You know, the kingdom of Dressro is the territory of their young master Da Flamingo. And Da Flamingo is one of the seven warriors under the king. He takes both black and white. He has a great reputation even in the new world. No one dares to provoke him easily. He wanted to see who dared to attack the kingdom of Dress Rosa. But when he came here and saw the people attacking Dress Rosa, he was dumbfounded. This is the Tyrant Bear, one of the seven martial arts under the king. Moonlight Moria, one of the seven martial arts under the king. As a leader of the Da Flamingo family, Pika thinks that he is not afraid of any pirate group in the New World. Coupled with his powerful stone fruit, he is confident of defeating any pirate group that dares to attack the Kingdom of Dress Rosa. But now the ones attacking the Kingdom of Dress Rosa are the Shishibukai, and there are two of them. This is a strong man of the same level as his young master Da Flamingo. He is not an opponent at all. If he were an opponent, he would no longer be a cotter in the Flamengo family. He would have been the king of the Shishibukai a long time ago. Oh no, the two kings of the Shishibukai actually came to the kingdom of Dress Rosa. They must have come with bad intentions and must report it to the young master. Thinking of this, Pika didn't hesitate at all and was about to turn around and run away. Want to leave? Now that you are here, please stay for me. Under Zhang Yu's control, the tyrant Ursine puppet instantly came to Pika and blocked Pika's way. Hateful. Looking at the tyrant bear blocking the road, Pika had sweat on her forehead. Show me your power. Is it eligible to become my collection? Zhang Yu directly controlled the tyrant bear and launched an attack on Pika. Although the red sand scorpion played by Zhang Yu likes to make puppets and collects eternal art. But not everyone is qualified to be his collection. Only those with strong strength and special abilities are qualified to be his collection. Damn, it was discovered. Facing the tyrant bear blocking the road, Pika knew that he had no way to escape but to fight. So he immediately activated his devil fruit power. Stone fruit. I saw Pika's body quickly merging with the surrounding buildings. Pika expanded rapidly and soon turned into a huge rock giant. The huge rock giant blocks out the sky and the sun. It looks very tall, almost like a hill. Go to hell. After turning into a rock giant, Pika raised his huge rock fist and smashed it towards the tyrant bear. Bear paw impact. Facing the incoming huge rock fist, tyrant bear quickly compressed his hands, and an air cannon like a bear's paw quickly condensed in his hands. When the bear paw air cannon was compressed to the extreme, it attacked Pika. Boom! There was a huge explosion, the bear paw air cannon exploded, and a powerful impact hit Pika's body. Ah! With a scream, Pika's huge body flew backwards, and at the same time, the entire rock giant's body was torn apart by the explosion. What rubbish! Such a person is not qualified to be my collection. Pika, who turned into crumbs at a glance, immediately lost interest in him. Such a trash person has no qualifications to become a collection of eternal art. Swordsman Ryoma Zhang Yu directly controlled the Swordsman Ryoma to rush forward and chopped Pika into pieces. Just when Zhang Yu was solving Pika, a dozen pairs of eyes were staring at Zhang Yu in the dark. It's such a powerful force, it actually defeated the Cotters of Da Flamingo's family so easily. Maybe he can save our kingdom of Dress Rosa. Rebecca, let's go and seek help from this strong man. A toy soldier with a broken leg said to a girl next to him. 
There were several short Lilliputians beside them. This girl is Rebecca, the subjugated princess of the kingdom of Dressrosa. As for the soldier with a broken leg next to her, it is Cyrus who was turned into a toy and Rebecca's father. Cyrus and the many humans have been looking for a way to overthrow Do Flamingo. But Do Flamingo is too powerful, and he is one of the seven warriors under the king. However, they did not give up and have been secretly planning the battle. But today, when they heard the explosion here, Cyrus and Rebecca came out to check the situation. When he saw Zhang Yu defeating Pika so easily, Cyrus immediately had a new idea in his mind. If we can get the help of this strong man, we will definitely be able to defeat Da Flamingo. Will he really help us defeat Da Flamingo? Rebecca asked softly. It must be possible. It can be seen from his clothes that he should be a member of the newly emerged powerful force in the sea during this period, the Akatsuki Organization. It is said that the Akatsuki Organization is fighting against the world government, and Da Flamingo is the king of the world government, Shishibukai. This time the members of the Akatsuki Organization came to the kingdom of Dress Rosa, it must be to deal with Da Flamingo. Cyrus was very confident in his analysis. You are right, members of the Akatsuki Organization can definitely defeat Da Flamingo. The few people from the small human race also said with excitement. In this case, we will seek help from this strong man, after hearing Cyrus' analysis, Rebecca quickly walked out. This strong man, please wait a moment, Rebecca stopped Zhang Yu. Um, who are you? Zhang Yu looked at the strange group of people in front of him curiously. A beautiful woman, a short-legged toy, and a group of people from a small tribe. This is indeed a very weird group of people. My lord, I am Rebecca. They are small humans. Please help us defeat Da Flamingo and save the kingdom of Dress Rosa, Rebecca looked at Zhang Yu and said pleadingly. I'm not interested in saving, Zhang Yu refused without thinking. Refused. How can this be? Isn't your Akatsuki organization meant to fight against the world government and defeat Da Flamingo? Hearing Zhang Yu's refusal, these villains said in disbelief. Haha. <laughs> I think you made a mistake. Zhang Yu laughed as if he heard some joke. I came to dress Rosa to collect materials for eternal art. For the sake of material, I don't mind destroying the entire kingdom of dress Rosa. Everything the Red Sand Scorpion did was for eternal art. He once even destroyed a village in order to obtain the needed materials. As for saving the kingdom of Dress Rosa, that's a joke. Cyrus, Rebecca and the people from the small human race just had a very good idea. As long as they get the help of Zhang Yu, a strong man, they can defeat Da Flamingo, overthrow Da Flamingo's rule, and save the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa. But when they were asked to play, Zhang Yu had no interest in saving the kingdom of Dress Rosa at all. How is this possible? Your Akatsuki organization is fighting against the world government. Da Flamingo is the king of the world government, Shishibukai. Why don't you help us defeat Da Flamingo? Rebecca and these little humans asked Zhang Yu loudly. Hey, I think you made a mistake. I came to this country just to collect material. Zhang Yu shook his right hand and grabbed a small human race and started looking at it. What are you going to do? Let Leo go, seeing Zhang Yu grab a small human, the toy man with a broken leg jumped up and slashed at Zhang Yu with the long toy knife in his hand. But when faced with the toy man's attack, Zhang Yu didn't even look at it. He waved his hand and flew away. The body is too weak and has no ability. What a waste, without any collection value. After carefully checking the small humans in his hands, Zhang Yu suddenly lost interest and threw them out like garbage. Meeting Rebecca and these little humans was just a small episode. Zhang Yu's purpose in coming to the kingdom of Dress Rosa was still for Da Flamingo, one of the king's seven sea warriors. At this time, everyone in the Da Flamingo family was still having a meeting in the castle, but the explosions outside still did not decrease. Damn, what's going on? Why hasn't Pika solved the problem, Torbal frowned, and then said to a beautiful woman next to him. Violet, 
look what Pika is doing now. I see, after hearing the order, the beauty made circles with her hands and placed them on her eye sockets in a very strange posture. A film of light appeared between her fingers. Violet, a superhuman stare fruit user, can see through all lies and observe everything within a radius of 4,000 kilometers. At the same time, her true identity is the princess of the kingdom of Dress Rosa. In order to save her father's life, she joined Da Flamingo's command. Staring at the fruit, clairvoyance. Through the light curtain in her hand, everything in the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa appeared in her eyes. This. Pika is actually dead. As a member of the Da Flamingo family, Violet is very aware of Pika's power. Although he is not the most powerful person under Da Flamingo, he is still a rare strong person. But now Pika was killed in an instant, which shows that the enemy is very powerful. This is Moonlight Moria, one of the seven martial arts under the king, Tyrant Bear. It seems they have lost their lives and are now puppets. Besides, the clothes that man is wearing. People from the Akatsuki organization. Is it possible that the Akatsuki organization plans to take action against the people of the seven warlords? Maybe we can use this opportunity to deal with Da Flamingo. Violet saw the situation in her eyes, and various thoughts flashed through her mind. As the former princess of the kingdom of Dress Rosa, she also wanted to kill Da Flamingo very much. It's just that Da Flamingo is too powerful, and he has never found a way to defeat Da Flamingo in all these years. But now it's different, people from the Akatsuki organization have appeared. It is said that every member of the Akatsuki organization is extremely powerful and can defeat even generals. As long as this member of the Akatsuki organization is willing to take action, he will definitely be able to defeat Da Flamingo. Violet, what exactly did you see? Reported to the young master immediately, Torbal asked, looking at Violet whose expression was constantly changing. Report young master, Pika is dead. Died. How can this be? Who is he? Kill Pika. Bastard, someone actually dares to kill our Da Flamingo family members in the kingdom of Dress Rosa. Upon hearing the news of Pika's death, everyone in the Da Flamingo family present was very angry. You know, the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa is under the control of the Da Flamingo family, and Da Flamingo is still the king of the kingdom of Dress Rosa. As a leader of the Da Flamingo family, Pika was actually killed. How could they not be angry? But Da Flamingo was not as angry as these cotters. Instead, he frowned. Who is it? It can actually kill Pika, Da Flamingo asked immediately. Dress Rosa is our own country, and someone actually dares to kill his own cotters in his own country. It is obvious that he has bad intentions. Young Master, it is Moonlight Moria and Tyrant Xiong who are both one of the seven martial seas under the king with you, Violet continued. Apparently she was afraid of the name of the Akatsuki organization, which frightened Da Flamingo and made him afraid to face the enemy. Both of them. How dare these two bastards come to my kingdom and kill my men? I want them to know what happens if they piss me off. Da Flamingo's expression turned ferocious. As they are both kings of the Shishibukai, it is obvious that Da Flamingo is not afraid of the two of them at all. And this is his kingdom, and he has no reason to be afraid of the two of them. Let's go, meet them both. Da Flamingo, with all the cotters of his family, quickly moved in the direction of the explosion. Da Flamingo was very fast and immediately discovered the Tyrant Bear and Moonlight Moria who were destroying the city. Tyrant Bear, Moonlight Moria. How dare you two act so recklessly in my country? After Da Flamingo saw the two of them, he directly launched an attack without any hesitation. Spring Line The thin line created by the fingertips was shot out at high speed like a gun attacking the two people. However, facing Da Flamingo's attack, the two men did not dodge. Their strong physical defenses easily blocked Da Flamingo's attack. Um, something's not right, Da Flamingo frowned. As one of the seven warlords under the king, Da Flamingo has strength and power. 
In addition to the powerful devil fruit, he also possesses three colors of Haki. Therefore, when Doflamingo attacked Moonlight Moria and Tyrant Bear, he realized that something was wrong with the two of them. There is no breath of any living thing on these two people at all, they are just like dead people. How is this going? Tyrant Bear Moonlight Moria What happened to you two? Doflamingo asked, frowning at the two of them. As both members of the king's Shishibukai, Doflamingo still had a certain understanding of the two of them. But the two of them are so weird today. You must be Doflamingo, Zhang Yu walked up, looked at Doflamingo and said. You. Who are you? At this time, Doflamingo also noticed Zhang Yu, who played the red sand scorpion. Red clouds and black clothes. People from Akatsuki organization. Seeing Zhang Yu's special clothes, Doflamingo quickly determined Zhang Yu's identity. Now the Akatsuki organization is a powerful force that has just emerged on the sea. There used to be many pirate groups who wanted to join the Akatsuki organization, and even wore the clothes of the Akatsuki organization privately. But soon these people who secretly put on the clothes of the Akatsuki organization were all destroyed by the members of the Akatsuki organization, or were arrested by the navy. Therefore, the only people in the sea who still dare to wear such clothes are members of the Akatsuki organization. People from the Akatsuki organization don't know what you are going to do when you come to my kingdom. Do you want to collaborate? Don't know what I need. After Doflamingo confirmed Zhang Yu's identity, he was not afraid and still walked over with a very arrogant pace. Although the Akatsuki organization's current reputation is very loud, whether it's killing the celestial dragons, robbing the heavenly gold, or defeating the navy admiral. When Doflamingo heard these things, he was also shocked. The people in the Akatsuki organization were so bold that they dared to do such a thing. Even Doflamingo, relying on his identity as a celestial dragon, only dared to hijack the heavenly gold, but did not dare to kill the celestial dragon. And now people from the Akatsuki organization appeared in the country he ruled. Although Doflamingo felt surprised, he was not afraid at all. The Akatsuki organization is a newly emerging force in the sea. Although this force has a lot of strong combat power. But if an organization wants to develop, it is not enough to rely solely on combat power. It also requires various resources, some things that cannot be bought on the market. And Doflamingo takes it all in black and white, there is nothing he can't get. Now this Ya organization came to me just to discuss cooperation, and even said it came to do business with me. These are the rules on the sea. As long as you master the rules, you will be invincible. Cooperate. It can also be said that, Zhang Yu looked at Doflamingo and said. I don't know what your Akatsuki organization needs. There's nothing in the whole new world that I can't get, Doflamingo looked at Zhang Yu and said very confidently. What I want is very simple, I need you, Zhang Yu looked at Doflamingo and said. I, what do you mean? Doflamingo frowned. I'm attracted to your body. King Shishibukai will definitely become my best collection, Zhang Yu stared at Doflamingo and said. Collection. What is this? Doflamingo asked. He felt that the members of the Akatsuki organization in front of him were not here to cooperate, but to cause trouble. Just like the three of them. I will make you my human puppet and become an eternal piece of art, Zhang Yu moved his fingers, and the three puppets surrounded Doflamingo. Although Doflamingo didn't know what a human puppet was, he now understood that Zhang Yu was planning to kill him. If you want to kill me, don't think that just because you are a member of the Akatsuki organization, you can act recklessly in my kingdom. Five Colored Thread Doflamingo launched an attack directly. Five almost transparent thin lines appeared on his fingers. His palms were in the posture of animal claws, and he quickly grabbed at Zhang Yu. Pressure Cannon Under Zhang Yu's control, Tyrant Bear rushed over quickly and the flesh ball on his palm erupted with a powerful shock wave, directly defeating Doflamingo's attack. Damn it! This is the power of Tyrant Bear, 
Doflamingo's expression was stunned. Shadow Horn Gun At this moment, Zhang Yu moved his finger, and Moonlight Moria also launched an attack. Doflamingo's shadow stood up, like a black spear, trying to stab him in the back. Not good, foot shaving line. Doflamingo's reaction was also very fast. He kicked out and a thin line appeared on his toes, easily blocking Moonlight Moria's sneak attack. This is the ability of Moonlight Moria. Could it be that the ability of this member of the Akatsuki organization is to control people? Doflamingo frowned as he looked at the tyrant bear in front of him. But don't forget, Zhang Yu not only has these two puppets, but also a human puppet swordsman Ryoma. Under the control of Zhang Yu, the swordsman Ryoma rushed up, swung the long sword in his hand and attacked Doflamingo with a huge sword energy. Tear apart! Ah! With a scream, Doflamingo was sent flying by the sword energy, smashing into dozens of buildings in a row. Little Lord! We are here to help you! At this time, other members of the Doflamingo family rushed over. Seeing their young master being knocked away, they all attacked Zhang Yu. A group of garbage. Push the pressure cannon. Facing the attack of these people, under Zhang Yu's control, Tyrant Xiong pushed out with his hands like a sumo. A pressure cannon like a bear's paw kept attacking these people. Boom boom boom. The huge explosion caused serious losses to these Doflamingo family members. Are the many leaders of the Doflamingo family strong? It is indeed very strong. Each one has a bounty of hundreds of millions. Even in the new world, he is already considered a strong man. But what they are facing now are the tyrants Yang and Moonlight Moria, one of the seven warriors under the king, as well as the swordsman Ryoma, and the Red Sand Scorpion of the Akatsuki organization who controls them. As a result, they went from strong to weak. However, they did not give up and continued to attack Zhang Yu. Bastard! you dare to attack our young master. Anyone who dares to act recklessly in the kingdom of Dress Rosa will die. Damn it, stop them, our young master is the one who will become the pirate king, we will definitely not lose. These cotters launched attacks on Zhang Yu one after another. But facing the attacks from these people, Zhang Yu was very disdainful. You're a bunch of trash, I'm not interested in you. Swordsman Ryoma, deal with them. Zhang Yu's hand moved slightly, and the swordsman Ryoma rushed forward. A huge sword energy attacked them. Boom! There was a huge explosion and the sword energy knocked them away. The gap between these people and Zhang Yu is really too big. Under Zhang Yu's attack, they have no power to resist at all. You all stand down! At this moment, Doflamingo climbed out of the ruins and walked over. I saw that Doflamingo was very embarrassed at this time, his clothes were in tatters, even his glasses were only half left, and there was a huge wound on his chest. Young master, are you okay? Looking at the embarrassed Doflamingo, the others asked worriedly. This was the first time they had seen their young master in such a miserable state. Silk Thread Healing Doflamingo immediately activated his Thread Fruit ability and a piece of silk thread appeared on the wound, quickly sewing it up. The strength of the Akatsuki organization is indeed very powerful. But you should never come to my country alone. Doflamingo looked at Zhang Yu and laughed, while raising his right hand towards the sky. Birdcage. Countless thin lines were sprayed into the sky. With Doflamingo as the center, the thin lines spread out in all directions completely surrounding the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa. At the same time, a phone bug appears in Doflamingo's hand and begins broadcasting nationwide. People from the kingdom of Dress Rosa, listen to me. Members of the Akatsuki organization are attacking the kingdom of Dress Rosa. Everyone takes up arms and attacks the people of the Akatsuki organization. Whoever can defeat the members of the Akatsuki organization will receive a high bounty. Now the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa has been blocked. If you want to survive, kill the members of the Akatsuki organization for me. Only by killing members of the Akatsuki organization can you survive. 
Doflamingo's voice spread throughout the kingdom of Dressrosa. Hearing this voice, the pirates in Dressrosa kingdom were stunned. A member of the Akatsuki organization. How is this going? I heard that the members of the Xia organization are very powerful. Members of the Akatsuki organization are actually attacking the kingdom of Dressrosa. No, let's leave quickly. Many pirates were shocked when they heard the news that members of the Akatsuki organization were attacking the kingdom of Dressrosa. Their first thought was to escape from the kingdom of Dressrosa quickly. But now they can't leave even if they want to. The entire kingdom of Dressrosa has been completely shrouded in bird cages. Damn, what is this? These thin lines block our way. It's such a hard thin thread that even a sword can't cut it. Bastard. What is this? Let us go quickly. Countless pirates slashed at the bird cages with their weapons, but these seemingly slender bird cages were extremely hard. Ah! At this moment, a pirate let out a scream. I saw the bird cage shrinking rapidly. A pirate couldn't dodge in time and was cut into pieces by the thin wires on the bird cage. This is finished. What should we do now? We are going to die. Seeing the pirates being cut into pieces, all the remaining pirates became frightened. Now there is only one way for us to survive. Any solution? That's the member of the Akatsuki organization. That's right, as long as we kill the Akatsuki organization, we can survive. But the members of the Akatsuki organization are very powerful. So what if you are powerful? Don't forget, there are many of us. That's right. With so many pirates, can't we still defeat a member of the Akatsuki organization? By killing the members of the Akatsuki organization, not only can we survive, but we can also get money, and maybe we can become famous in the sea. Boys, pick up your weapons and kill the people of the Akatsuki organization. Along the way, we killed members of the Akatsuki organization. In order to survive, for money, and to become famous in the world, everyone in Dress Rosa launched an attack on Zhang Yu. The dense crowd was attacking Zhang Yu like a tide. Is this your plan? Looking at the completely boiling kingdom of Dress Rosa, Zhang Yu still looked at Da Flamingo very calmly. Hey, hey, member of the Akatsuki organization, you are dead today. Da Flamingo laughed maniacally. So what if a member of the Akatsuki organization is powerful? Can he still be able to fight against the entire country? Now the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa is frantically attacking members of the Akatsuki organization. Doflamingo didn't believe that the entire nation could not be defeated by the Akatsuki organization in front of him. It's not over yet. Devil Fruit Awakening Then Doflamingo directly activated the power of his Devil Fruit Awakening. With him as the center. The surrounding large buildings turned into threads. Devil Fruit Awakening, this is the power that can only be obtained by developing the ability of Devil Fruit to a higher level. When the Devil Fruit is awakened, the Superman type Devil Fruit can affect the surrounding environment. And now Doflamingo has activated the power of the Devil Fruit Awakening, turning all the surrounding buildings into thin lines under his control. Today is the day you die, a member of the Akatsuki organization. Surrounded by thin lines like a tide, Doflamingo let out a burst of unique laughter. Is this the power of awakening? Only this kind of power is qualified to become my collection. I want your body even more now. Facing Da Flamingo's awakened power, Zhang Yu not only did not have any fear, but instead looked at Da Flamingo even more excitedly. As long as you get Da Flamingo's body and turn him into a human puppet, this power will be yours. Asshole, go to hell. Seeing that Zhang Yu still didn't take his own seriously, Da Flamingo suddenly became furious. Manipulating the title threads around him to attack Zhang Yu. Tyrant Bear. Swordsman Ryoma. Moonlight Moria. Under Zhang Yu's control, the three puppets quickly rushed forward. Boom boom boom. 
a series of explosions and crashes were heard. Doflamingo is also worthy of being a Devil Fruit Awakener. After activating the awakened power of the Devil Fruit, his strength became very powerful, and he actually blocked the attacks of three puppets for a while. But it is still a bit difficult for him to defeat these three puppets. Damn it, we can't go on like this. These three puppets are controlled by members of the Akatsuki organization, and they must be eliminated, Doflamingo thought of a plan in his mind. Although the power of the Devil Fruit Awakening is very powerful, the consumption is also very serious. Even Doflamingo cannot use the Devil Fruit to awaken for a long time. Therefore, now Doflamingo must defeat Zhang Yu quickly. God kills. Thinking of this, Doflamingo directly launched his ultimate move. I saw that the ground where Zhang Yu was suddenly turned into a piece of silk thread, and at the same time, the thread was wrapped with armed domineering energy, and it stabbed towards Zhang Yu quickly. Zhang Yu didn't check for a moment and was directly hit by these thin lines. The dense thin threads hit Zhang Yu's body like bullets, directly shattering Zhang Yu's body and scattering it on the ground. Hey, hey, are these members of the Akatsuki organization? But even so, you are not defeated by me. Looking at the broken Zhang Yu, Doflamingo burst into excited laughter. A member of the Akatsuki organization, a being that even the Admiral could not defeat, actually died in his own hands. He can take advantage of this opportunity to expand his power, and even use it to blackmail the world government and navy to obtain greater benefits. Just when Doflamingo was excited about defeating members of the Akatsuki organization, a voice suddenly sounded. Who did you beat? The sudden sound made Doflamingo's expression change. What? How can this be? Aren't you dead? There is no doubt that the person speaking is Zhang Yu, who plays the Red Sand Scorpion. Death, my eternal art is immortal. I saw Zhang Yu's broken body being assembled quickly, as if he was assembling a puppet. Soon an intact Zhang Yu appeared again. For the Crimson Sand Scorpion, his entire body is a human puppet, and only the chest area retains the regeneration core that controls the puppet. As long as the core is not destroyed, he is immortal. This is the immortal art of Red Sand Scorpion. Zhang Yu moved a bit, reassembled his body, and looked at Doflamingo with his eyes. I really didn't expect you to be able to attack my body. In this case, I will fight you with my body. Zhang Yu tore off his clothes in one fell swoop, revealing his puppet body. A steel cable appeared in the abdomen that continuously dropped the venom, and the waist was followed by a spiral slash. Now the entire Crimson Sand Scorpion no longer looks like a human being. It looks like a fighting machine. You, what ability do you have? Doflamingo was also shocked when he saw the Red Sand Scorpion's changed appearance. Take the move. Zhang Yu was very fast and appeared in front of Doflamingo in an instant, stabbing Doflamingo with the steel cable in his abdomen. Shield White Line Facing Zhang Yu, Doflamingo immediately controlled the surrounding white lines to condense in front of his eyes, turning into a white shield. But Zhang Yu was indeed very flexible. With the cooperation of the abdominal steel cable, he easily crossed the white shield. The extremely spiral slash on his body attacks Doflamingo. Bang, tear. After a collision, the two separated again, and Doflamingo cut off one of his arms. There is no doubt that Zhang Yu had the upper hand in this collision. Damn, thread healing. Doflamingo immediately relied on his thread fruit ability to sew his broken arm back together. But at this moment, there was a chaotic sound of footsteps in the distance. Countless pirates rushed over with weapons in hand. The members of the Akatsuki organization are here. Attack together. Only by killing the members of the Akatsuki organization can we survive. Go together. All these pirates rushed directly towards Zhang Yu. Baaaa, a member of the Akatsuki organization. You are indeed very powerful, but you will definitely die today. The entire kingdom of Dress Rosa will kill you. Seeing the arrival of these pirates, Doflamingo laughed wildly again. More than people. 
then let you see the true power of immortal art. A scroll appeared in Zhang Yu's hand. The scroll opened and countless figures flew out from the scroll. In the sky, puppet figures appeared quickly. Dense figures quickly filled the entire sky, covering the sky and the sun like dark clouds. Red Secret Technique 100 Machine Exercise The Red Sand Scorpion is a puppet master, a strong man who relies on puppets to fight. A puppet master's strength is measured by the number of puppets he can control. The number of human fingers is only 10, and even the most powerful puppet master can only control 10 puppets. But the Crimson Sand Scorpion can subvert the tradition and can control hundreds or even thousands of puppets at a time. In terms of puppetry, the Crimson Sand Scorpion has reached the pinnacle. He alone is an army. A super army composed entirely of human puppets. Zhang Yu opened his chest, and countless chakra threads were released from the regeneration core, which were connected to the puppets in the sky. The puppets in the sky seemed to be alive, each holding a poisonous weapon that shone with light. What? How can this be? What power is this? Facing the puppet that was blocking the sky and the sun, Da Flamingo's expression became ugly. The three puppets in front of him were already very difficult for him to deal with. He didn't expect Zhang Yu to have thousands of such powerful puppets. This, what is this? Is this the power of the Akatsuki organization? Can we really kill members of the Akatsuki organization? Even the pirates who rushed over with weapons in hand were now frightened when faced with the dense crowd of puppets. Originally, they thought that with only one person from the Akatsuki organization, with so many pirate groups united, they would be able to defeat the members of the Akatsuki organization. But he didn't expect that the members of the Akatsuki organization in front of him would actually summon so many puppets. The densely packed puppets that blocked the sky and the sun instantly made them lose their fighting spirit. All of them had scared faces, their legs were shaking constantly, and cold sweat broke out on their backs. Feel the power of eternal art. Attack. Under Zhang Yu's control, countless puppets directly killed people around them. Ah, help. Run away quickly. Do not kill me. The pirates who had completely lost their fighting spirit, had no idea of resistance when faced with these attacking puppets. Now they only have one idea, that is to run away and escape from here. They are so cruel that they gave birth to two legs. But can they really escape the puppets' pursuit? Obviously impossible. Whoosh. Ah. There was a flash of sword light, a scream, and a pirate was directly killed by the puppet. This scream was like a signal, and more screams rang out. Countless pirates were puppeted into soldiers without even the ability to resist. But some pirates did not sit still and waited for death. After finding that they could not escape, they rose up to resist. Just after he destroyed one puppet, more puppets rushed up and tore him apart. When Zhang Yu controlled the puppets to kill these pirates, Zhang Yu did not forget Da Flamingo. Da Flamingo is his target this time. Swordsman Ryoma, Moonlight Moria, Tyrant Bear, three powerful human puppets attacked Da Flamingo directly. Hateful. Facing the three attacks, Da Flamingo also looked very ugly now. He originally wanted to rely on the birdcage to threaten the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa, and at the same time launch an attack on the people of the Akatsuki organization. I didn't expect the members of the Akatsuki organization to be so powerful and weird. The birdcage now became his prison. Now he has nowhere to escape and is being chased and beaten by three puppets. Soon, Da Flamingo's whole body was covered with wounds, and the poison entered Da Flamingo's body along the wounds. His whole body became paralyzed and his movements became stiff. People from the Akatsuki organization, do you really want to kill me? I control the rules of the sea. If your organization can get help from me, it will definitely develop rapidly. Although Da Flamingo was now in a desperate situation, he did not give up his struggle. This is Da Flamingo, who is unruly, cruel, cold-blooded, aware of current affairs, and will do whatever it takes to achieve his goals. Haha, <laughs> I'm still interested in your body. 
Zhang Yu smiled disdainfully, moved his fingers, and the long sword in the swordsman Ryoma's hand pierced Da Flamingo's chest. You. Da Flamingo looked at Zhang Yu unwillingly. He really couldn't understand why Zhang Yu wanted to kill him when he had already spoken to such an extent. If it were another organization, after hearing Da Flamingo's words, they might really spare his life. It's a pity that he met the Akatsuki organization. There are many members in the Akatsuki organization, and each member has different powers. Therefore, if the Akatsuki organization wants to develop, it does not need Da Flamingo at all. Da Flamingo, the Shishibukai, should become Zhang Yu's collection. While Zhang Yu was killing Da Flamingo, Zhang Yu's other puppets were not idle either and also launched an attack on the Kingdom of Dress Rosa. Explosions, screams, and roars echoed throughout the country. With Da Flamingo's death, the entire Kingdom of Dress Rosa was completely reduced to ruins. The entire Kingdom of Dress Rosa was completely destroyed in Zhang Yu's hands. Ding, congratulations to the host, the Akatsuki organization's Red Sand Scorpion role play progress is 50%, and the companion summoning quota is activated. At this moment, a voice rang in Zhang Yu's mind. Hearing this voice, Zhang Yu suddenly smiled. If you want to improve the proficiency of Red Sand Scorpion, the best way is to make a puppet. Along the way, Zhang Yu also created a lot of puppets. In addition, Zhang Yu, like the Red Sand Scorpion, destroyed the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa. Therefore, the proficiency of Red Sand Scorpion has also been increased to 50% and it can summon a companion. Summon companions. Ding, congratulations to the host for using companion summons. Acquire Diadera from Akatsuki Organization. Companion call. Akatsuki Organization Diadera. Current play progress, 5%. Possess the ability, detonate clay. As the sound of the system fell, a figure wearing the costume of the Akatsuki organization appeared next to Zhang Yu. The artistic duo appears in the world of One Piece. The kingdom of Dress Rosa was destroyed, the king Shishibukai died, and he became a puppet in the hands of the Akatsuki organization. The news quickly spread across the sea. Upon hearing the news, many forces on the sea were shocked again. Unexpectedly, Members of the Akatsuki organization actually took action again. This time, the target of the Akatsuki organization is actually Wang Xiaokibudai. Moreover, this time the Akatsuki organization took action and directly eliminated the three kings of the Shishibukai. Moonlight Moria, Tyrant Bear, and Da Flamingo died directly and became puppets in the hands of the Akatsuki organization Red Sand Scorpion. Even the Kingdom of Dress Rosa one of the world government's participating countries, was directly destroyed by members of the Akatsuki organization. Everyone who saw this news had only one thought in their hearts. As expected of the Akatsuki organization, it does shocking things every time it appears. Ever since the Akatsuki organization first appeared on the sea, they had directly killed the celestial dragons and defeated the navy admiral. Immediately afterwards, they robbed the gold in the sky and robbed the gold and gold fruits. And now he has destroyed the participating countries of the world government and killed three kings of the Shishibukai in succession. It seems that the Akatsuki organization really wants to fight against the world government. At the navy headquarters, a navy man rushed to the navy marshal's office in a hurry. What's the matter? So anxious and fiery. Seeing the anxious intruder, Senguo who was working, frowned. As a Navy man, to be so careless about your manners is really an embarrassment to the Navy headquarters. Report to the Marshal, information from the Akatsuki organization appeared on the sea again, the Marine said immediately. What? Akatsuki organization. Hearing the soldiers' words, warring states, who looked calm, suddenly stood up, and the pen in his hand was directly broken in half by him. Come on, tell me, what did the Akatsuki organization do again? We can't blame warring states for being so excited. Now the Akatsuki organization has become the biggest threat on the sea, even surpassing the four emperors. 
Although the four emperors of the New World are very powerful, they all have their own territories and will not leave their territories easily. Moreover, the Navy and the World Government also planted spies among the Yonko Pirates. Every move of the Yonko Pirates is under the control of the Navy. The Akatsuki organization is different. This organization is not only powerful, but also mysterious. More importantly, every time a member of the Akatsuki organization appears, they will cause huge losses to the world government and navy. Now it has been confirmed that the Akatsuki organization is an organization that specifically fights against the world government. It is precisely because of this that Sengoku is so surprised when he hears the information about the Akatsuki organization again. Report to the Marshal The new member who appeared this time is the Red Sand Scorpion, who can turn people into puppets and manipulate puppets. The Red Sand Scorpion had just destroyed the Kingdom of Dress Rosa, and at the same time turned Da Flamingo, Moonlight Moria, and Tyrant Bear, one of the seven warlords, into puppets. At the same time, according to intelligence, there is an Akatsuki member who joins Deodara next to the Red Sand Scorpion. The two of them call themselves the art duo of the Akatsuki organization. The Marine reported immediately. As the strongest combat force under the world government, the Navy's intelligence capabilities are still very powerful. It can be said that as long as the Navy wants to investigate anything that cannot be found, and any disturbance on the sea, the Navy will be able to get it immediately. Damn it, new Akatsuki members. Artistic Duo is the Akatsuki organization's target this time the king's Shishibukai? After listening to the Navy's report, warring states also started thinking quickly. The king's Shishibukai is a system established by the world government to deal with the chaos of the sea. Although the Shishibukai are all pirates, they can also be regarded as a force of the world government. And now the Akatsuki organization has actually directly eliminated three Shishibukai. This is undoubtedly another attack by the Akatsuki organization against the world government. Bastard, Akatsuki's affairs must be dealt with immediately. Can't go on like this. If the Akatsuki organization is allowed to develop like this, the Akatsuki organization will definitely eat away at the power of the world government bit by bit. Thinking of this, the Warring States period held a naval meeting again. In the Navy meeting room. Garp walked in with a dissatisfied look on his face, holding a donut in his hand. I'm talking about the Warring States period, what's there to be anxious about? This is already the fourth naval meeting. I don't even have time for donuts now. A naval meeting is a major meeting that is only held when something big happens. In the past, the Navy headquarters would not hold a naval meeting once a year. With the emergence of the Akatsuki organization, this is already the fourth naval meeting. Not only Garp complained, but also other senior naval officials were very confused. Why was there another naval meeting? Did something big happen again? Warring states glanced at his old comrades helplessly, feeling a headache. Why can his old comrades be so carefree, but he is so worried about the affairs of the Akatsuki organization? The Akatsuki organization appears again, Warring States said with a serious expression. Akatsuki Organization What happened again? What did the Akatsuki Organization do again? Other senior Navy officials asked immediately. After hearing the information from the Akatsuki Organization, these Navy executives were also very excited. You know, among these high-ranking Navy officials, many have suffered losses from the Akatsuki Organization especially the three generals of the Navy, they were all defeated by members of the Akatsuki organization. The members of the Akatsuki organization who appeared this time are called the Artistic Duo. Red Sand Scorpion, Deodera The Red Sand Scorpion can turn people into puppets and manipulate. Deodera's ability is unknown, but being able to become a member of the Akatsuki organization, his strength cannot be underestimated. The Red Sand Scorpion killed Da Flamingo, Moonlight Moria, and Tyrant Bear in the Seven Seas of Martial Arts, and destroyed the Kingdom of Dress Rosa. Warring States said in a serious tone. After listening to Sengoku's words, the atmosphere in the entire conference room solidified. 